Hey guys, welcome to the stream. How y'all doing today? So this campaign has been a lot of fun. Let's keep going. So I've decided with the vampires, um, I just want to get Isabella's trait one more time with um, Volkmar the Grim. After that, I'll get rid of them. Not going to farm Isabella's trait infinitely. Because, oh, then again, they can help us get uh, Imperial Influence, which we need. I may need to cancel my treaties with uh, Marienburg. If they come over here, I'm going to have to declare war on them. Because they're obviously closer than than uh, these ones over here, but we'll just see what happens. Um, cool. Alright, what are we doing with girls? we got to get towards Arcane Conduit. Transmutation of Lesson Nevada. I don't think we need um, Earthing. But this is a good opportunity for Balthazar Gelt to get a bunch of levels up as well. Um, how are we going for growth? Okay, cool. We'll get one growth point next turn. Awesome. Get rid of all this. Finally. And we can switch the edict to being tax rate. Uh, da Wussel Dussel. Became a new member. Thanks, dude. I'm sure I butchered the name, but I uh, appreciate the Don't membership. My uh, get a couple of them with the Hammer of Sigma. They don't all need it. I was also thinking about maybe making some Warrior Priest stacks. Since I can get so much capacity of them quite easily. But we'll see. We'll see. Because uh, if we conquer um, Middenland, we'll be able to recruit them very easily, like high rank. Alright, so... Yeah. It'd be great if we could put a hero block here, but you need so many heroes to block that off. So that's why I've just got these guys here to, to block them if they come down this way. And on march. Yeah, that'll be fine. Cleanse the right. Empire. Let us forge our faith. Sing battle him. Just want to get an idea of where their armies are. Pick up the pace. Oh nope, that guy actually needs yes, to stay here. Son of Sigma. Maybe I'll just get another one just in case. What do you require? Would you give Volkmar a pre stack? Maybe, maybe. I'm not opposed to that. It is time. I'm not opposed to it at all. Tools of judgment ready. So hopefully Vlad goes and occupies Flensburg, that's what I'm hoping for. We will. Yeah. He should be able to do it. I didn't block him. We blocked we bl Okay. I didn't block them, I just um blocked their uh, ability to come over this way. Now they will be judged. Or did I? No, I don't. Oh, that's right. I assassinated Ready. one of the heroes. The Empire. So what I'm hoping for here is for Sterling to just stay right there. And maybe Hockland goes and occupies Needling, so I can tell it to go, uh, to go back to Sterland. Now, another problem here is that Sterland is um, 10 fealty, right? Oh, well, we'll just see. Which one do you prefer, commanding, army, archlector, or general? I, I don't know. I don't really have any preference. I don't think it matters that much. But maybe archlector is better. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure. Bring me to my men. I don't think it matters that much. Alright, we're just tidying up the last of the stuff. The what does the Emperor bid? Oh yeah, here they come. Bad idea. Oh god. Huntsman General! 
Uh, I'm not gonna actually fight this, I just wanna see what all their other units are. That's relatively tough. Okay. Okay, what I'm concerned is going to happen here is that this one's actually going to jump over the edge. You could stand back here and go into ambush dance to force it to attack, but... Uh, if it does jump... We're going to need some more troops. Mine is tight at the moment. We've got Gotrick and Felix with four more turns. Yeah, we need to we need to conclude some of this shit out here. Our money went from making absolutely tons to making next to nothing. Yeah, this is super annoying. They declared war on the dwarfs and came straight at me. Alright, I'm only going to build economic buildings because our finances right now are iffy at best. Yeah, only financial buildings. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hang on. This is definitely important. Because this will allow us to start researching this technology here. And then this one. This is uh, really important technologies. If we want to, you know, get them all by turn 100. Um, that'll, that'll be a big help. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, we'll see how we go. Alright, I'm actually a little bit concerned that this army here, like, I really want it to attack me. I think I might have too many troops. I guess what I could do, if it does make a jump over here, we won't be able to intercept it. If it does jump over here, I'll um, recruit some emergency units and make an attack. I should be able to get a full stack together. Yeah. Because these settlements over here are not well defended. Because I reckon they're just going for easy pickings. Alright, let's just move on to the next turn. Specifically, Paravan unlocks that attack. No, no, any tier 4 settlement. But that's the first one that we've gotten to tier 4, with the exception of Reichland. Doesn't work with Reichland. Do I buy a last stream religion? Had like 20k income? No, he has two. Well, that's because I only had like one army, but I had to raise a bunch of armies really quickly. You know, people often ask, Oh, you got so much money, why don't you recruit another army? I recruit them when we need them. We Right now, we need them. We got a lot of wars going on. Now occupy it. Occupy it. Occupy it. Don't just sack it. Occupy it. Occupy it. Oh, did you fucking lose? At least they occupied that. It looks like he's going for Kemper bad. Why is there's extra defenses there? Where are you going? Oh, are they gonna do it? Huh. Okay. I really didn't think I'd get those kind of results. Of course, I didn't really realize that we were still damaged here, but I'm glad that they made the attack because I feel pretty confident we can win this. How many minutes blows looking at? Just one. But legend, they have storm. Uh, yeah, storm vermin. Um. All right, let's do this. What are your favorite kind of landmarks? Any landmarks that make you rush across the map to get it? No, I never, never really. Um, 
there's no landmark in the game that is worth like beelining straight to right away unless you actually want it which you know I might but it's not optimal to do that but generally speaking the best landmarks either provide shitloads of money or some kind of global bonuses but there's none in the game that provide that much that it's worth beelining for and I can already hear some people say what about Nagashazar no it's not worth it like it's worth getting it's just not worth rushing to All right. Rex guard. Crossbows ready, general. Take aim. Swordsmen. We are sick. Kind of surprised it, g it gave us these kind of odds. Like we outnumbered them by a fair bit and I guess it is just the quality of their units. I'm just going to check aboard the melee infantry, which will create gaps in our line. Make it easier to shoot the storm vermin into the flanks. This guy here will harass them as they're making... Do they have any fast units? Yeah, but just one. That good there. If he charges that, it's good. Let's see if we can get the pistol is to annoy him. And these two just hang out over here. Oh! Okay, so do you see how there's trees here? It's as far as the game is concerned, there's actually no trees here whatsoever. There's no forested area. Because Creative Assembly didn't mark this area as forested. <laughs> uh Kalax at a five euro super jet, may I ask your favorite live stream campaign you did? Probably the this is Total War Ica Claw campaign was my favorite. Thanks for Super Chat. Yeah, that was so much fun. Yeah, so there's actually nowhere to hide on this map because there was nowhere marked with the trees. Even if there are trees there, the game actually has to have it marked on the map, which it didn't. Uh, yep, shooting at Storm Vermin there is good. Anything's good. Having some units run out this way is good. Uh, you guys move over this way. Would you recommend the Knights of More unit? No, not really. Uh, Action Hank did a five dollar super chat. Would it be broken if the dwarfs got a dedicated healing unit like Rev Crystal if they added a rune that heals? Uh, no, it would not be broken. That would be fine. <laughs> that really wouldn't make that big of a difference at all. Thanks, super chat. I get it, help them, but it's definitely wouldn't be broken. Alright, that was their one and only uh, menace below. Did a bit of damage there. Alright, which one's faster? Um, okay, when it comes to rattling guns, we want to confuse them as much as possible. You know it would be better? The um, pistol is to get at them. How about you go after the warp fire thrower? You hang back over there. These ones to take out those rattling guns. Alright, go for that. Uh, no, 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 not with those other single entities there. You just go for that one, yep. Uh, Captain Chukala, Chukala did a 20MX, 20, uh, 20MX 20 super chat. Uh, dwarfs need a bugman dispenser for the healing. Uh, yep, okay, cool. Thanks, super chat. Appreciate it. Okay, the problem with that is he'll put down warp lightning on top of us. It won't be worth fighting him. <laughs> the um, the Zintler's guard, they'll actually lose. No lingering. Eagle. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure Zintler's Reichsguard will lose against that dude, so just keep him running away. That way they're not casting spells over here. Good, clean up those warp fire throwers. Nice. Just leave that one not fighting, it's fine. Because it'll eat shit in this situation here. I'm trying to kill my lord with the fucking spells. Get over here and just stalk. Yeah. He needs to stalk, get away from this fucker. Type of guide in two dollars super chat. Someone recommend melee mod for amp magic to. Everything's looking pretty good here. That's it, just keep him out of it. Alright, we've absolutely smashed him here. If you can. Oh god damn. God rattling guns, they fuck. <laughs> no no no, why did you stop? Why did you stop? Don't bother shooting into those small single entities, that's not going to do anything apart from hurt our own units. <laughs> losing, <laughs> losing versus rattling guns. Uh, is that what happens at army losses. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, hopefully we're not going to see these guys show up again for a while because that was that was um iffy. We'll be able to run him down next turn. Come on, get him. I don't want to have to deal with that dude again. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Good. Good job. Cool. 
Still undefeated. Yeah, kill off all the heroes. So their lord got away, but I think pretty much every other unit got killed. Except for the uh, warp grinders there. But it's good to get rid of those heroes before they got too high level, became mortal. Same thing with this guy here. He is not the faction leader of Richter's Clan Nest. So I think he was rank 12. So killing him now would be really good. I'm actually really surprised these guys are still alive. Kalax became a new member. Alright, thanks dude. Appreciate the support. Alright, hopefully they don't run off too far because I need to catch them. I don't want this guy getting away. Good. Still zero defeats? Yep, still zero defeats. Tell the backland has no army. Don't know what Vlad is doing. I can't believe Vlad lost there. Ooh, okay. A war declared on Hockland. Nah, just stop the war. Yeah, always get uh, Imperial Authority. I don't need to be at war with any of these guys. Cool, we're at 11. No sign of them over here, that's good. Yeah, I didn't think we'd make it over here this turn. And Altdorf hits tier 5. Very nice. Cool. Greetings. You no doubt have a request, I'll hear. Hmm. I'll be able to get peace with them it. soon. Kick them out of where I needed to. Are they always Richter's Clan Nest? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, that was really weird, Richter's Clan Nest coming all this way over here just to get me. I think they jumped over from Dead Rock Gap. I'll see if I can get out of that war. I see you drop scat all over. I like them scared. Yes, yes. Now that I want to. Alright, well, let's kill this dude. Yeah, killing a rank 13 lord with a forbidden rod. Cool. Be good if we can steal it. What's the richest settlement in the game? Varies depending on what faction you're playing. This is what we train for. Are you hoping to get Marcus? It's not a priority right now. Marcus usually survives, so I'm not worrying about him. And then we'll just um, send somebody up here to just have a look. Okay, there's no more rats on the way, so all this can go. Cool. Big difference. I think what we should do is have a hero out here to keep an eye on things. So I'll need a... I'll need a um, witch hunter. Regal will be good to maintain public order. Nice. And that way, if in future they send more armies up this way, we can sort them out. Don't worry about cleanse corruption, it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, we'll be able to grow here within a amount of time. <laughs> okay, so. So, 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 what happened? What happened out here? What happened? It's okay. We know they came over to Krugenheim. We can. We can't reach it actually. That's okay. It's okay. Um. I can reach Needling. Seek out the heretics. Have a quick look. Forward. I don't think so. Cease. I will not. Fight if you're going to. Okay. Carl Franz can reach Needling. Good. So we can get him to blow that up. Yeah, he goes and blows it up. Or maybe just sack it. And that way, these guys here will be more inclined to occupy it. And if I block them... 
so you can't go anywhere. And get you the next turn. That way I don't need this army anymore. We need to get all these items off of um, Gotrick and Felix before they uh, before they leave. They're going to leave in a couple of turns. Where's the I don't know what Vlad is doing. It is time. I really have no Pick idea. I'm more than happy for him to take on Kemperbad, but how can he possibly expect to? Okay. Well, we'll see what happens. He picked up a few, few units, over here. Maybe there was corpse piles. I'm not sure. Are you doing the arch to chase? Of course. Who owns Mount uh, Mount Gunband right now? Um, dwarfs. Summon the Elector Counts. So yeah, I reckon we just come over here and sack this. Allow Hockland to take it. And that'll give us some Imperial Authority next turn. Godtrek, Yeah. Breaking yeah. ground by the comet. Well, maybe I should blow it up. So I won't take any attrition, but I don't think it really matters. Raise your weapons. Warrior of Sigma. Tools of judgment ready. Honored to Can't serve. reach there. Alright, this guy might as well get some experience with this. Why not? Victorious! Earth alive! Yeah, just sack it. Okay, now we can get rid of this army here. Actually, oh. as much as I'd love to put the Sunmaker in this army, this is fine for the time being because Vlad is mostly just recruiting garbage because he's relatively low tier. So, don't know if I should leave him with Vote Bad. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. Yeah, we want him to keep capturing settlements out here. Get rid of this. Let's get rid of the whole thing. Good. There we go. Getting our finances back under control. The Empire. We're not taking that much attrition, so it's fine. Okay. And get Carl Franz over here, but just to stay there. Hopefully, what'll happen is this one here will force march away, like out this way. So, because I don't want to wipe out the army, I want to. Um, I want it to keep capturing <laughs> shit settlements. So if we threaten it as much as Don't possible, I think it'll, it'll run away. Shun. Yeah. It's okay to put trash items like Crown of Command, EDC, on Gotrek so the item disappear? Yeah. Yeah, you, if, that's, if that's what you want to do, you can do that. Show me the accused. Tools of judgment ready. I am a supreme patriarch. Alright, I don't need to replenish, we'll be fine. I go where the winds howl. Let us forge our fate. Trying to find where their army is. Okay, there it is. Never. The nation calls. Another one over here. Cool. And what did we get this turn? Strategist? Okay. There is power within prayer. Oh. The nation calls. Oh. Oh, I just realized. Um, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. On march. I need the ones that are noble to get back over here. Come, men, forward. See that? Three turns. I think I've got another one. Let me just check. I'm actually not sure I'll have to go through them. Yeah, yeah, this one, this one. 
Oh, it was that dude. Okay. There is power within prayer. Oh, please don't tell me this one here was noble. <laughs> That'd be pretty yes, funny. No, it wasn't. Okay. Uh, I think I've got a lord that's available. That's noble. Yeah, I do. Awesome. Awesome. Warrior of Sigma. Oh, two turns. <laughs> I want to get it down to one turn. I know that there's another one, but we can't recruit another lord. Um, what? Uh, I'd have to disband a wizard. It's not worth it just for one turn. Just I'll I'll just take it in two turns. Whatever. That's fine. Yeah, and then just detach this guy in Ready. there instead. Shield of faith. Champion of the faith. Okay. Cool. Yeah, because we got that one done, which is really helpful. All right, what should we research next? Uh, volley, no, firing drills. I think I was working on that. All right. All right, all right. So what are we going to build here? At Ubersreich, let's build that. And we want to increase our global recruit rank. You could build this for 8% income from all buildings in the province. I don't, I don't really care that much about that. If you want to like get the income that high, it's not really cheese, but... Maybe do it at Grunberg. Okay, that's fine. Tier 5 taking 2 turns, not worth lol. No, it's not worth it to bring it down to 1 turn by disbanding a, a hero that we wanted. I just didn't have the capacity to get more. One of your hunters close by a noble. No, that guy's regal. Not the same thing. <gasps> oh, hang on. Is that in the region or province? Yeah, it has to be in the in the region. He has to get back to here. So, yeah, I could do it in one turn next turn. So it would be the exact same result. He, he wouldn't make it. Change it. He's in the province. I did. I already did. I trust no man. It's all good. It's all good. Doesn't matter. Two turns instead of one. No big deal. Show me the accused. All right, gotta keep blocking Sterland so that they don't come up over here. Keep them safe. Mhm. Mm keep an eye out over here. Forward. Bring me to my men. Cool. Ugh, that's pretty expensive for steel technology. Just, just hold off on that. Uh, okay. Can you please explain Gelt's army? And is it a meme or a really good thing? Uh, it, it was an emergency army. I just recruited whatever was available that I could get really quickly to deal with this. Th this is not a dooms... Like, it's not a perfected army or anything. It's just... That's what I had available. That's all. Yeah. It's just a cobbled together army that I recruited real quick. Don't, don't read into it too much. Okay, now with the other warrior priests... We could send them... Could send them over here to help grow the province a bit quicker. Yes. What do you require? It will be done. Now. Is that where heretics lurk? Yeah, just gotta hope this guy doesn't come running around over here wanting to ruin to all that. 
Because if he does, I'll have to I'll have to cancel the alliance. We we can't let them do that because we won't get the um, imperial authority if they do it. it. Has to be anyone but Marienburg. Yes. Oh, this guy's got a few levels up. All right. Don't think there's much more to do. We've got. Okay, we've we've minimized the number of armies that we've got now, so that's good. That's obviously improved our income significantly. Thou art unfit to govern me. If Isabella gets switched in over here next turn, which she might, I'll switch it out for Volkmar, because uh, Karl Franz has got the trait. We just need Volkmar to get it now. Because you can't switch it out for um, Gotrick. Gotrick can't be tagged out. Alright, Fort Obestire. Let's get walls up in there. Because we're still going to mess around with this stuff over here. Getting warrior priests over here to... Oh, only rank one, though. But yeah, getting some warrior priests over here could be good to get this uh, developed a bit quicker. Oh, I don't have the money to build that. We will have enough next turn. Alright, I don't think there's anything more I can do. Just um, keep working on it. <coughs> Excuse me. I am ready. Are you? You know, we should probably blow up Middenstag first because. See, so, yeah, they've got military presence that's relatively close by. We want them to come over here earlier rather than later. I don't need to blow up Weisman. He's not going to catch us in Force March, so. Yes, Let's do that. If I force march, hang on. If I force march to here, well, I can probably hit mid and stag next turn. Yeah, we'll bl go blow that up and then do Weisman because we want we want Hockland or Talabakland to come over here and start ruin dwelling these territories as soon as possible. And we'll see if this actually ends up working. All right. We've got some Imperial uh, some Prestige, but I think I want to save it up. Try to get to 12,000, because I want that campaign movement range. Uh, does Gilt have all of the uh, campaign movement range followers? I think he does. Messenger and was it Scribe was the other one? Cool, so that'll give him... What's that? 14% extra movement, that's pretty good. Ooh, 1%! Magic item drop trance isn't bad. Yeah, Tollkeeper, whatever. I think Carl Franz has got a Tollkeeper on him. Yeah, he does. Alright, cool. Uh, how much loot money do you think you would get from that quest battle? This one? Uh, I, I don't think we're ready to do with that right now. There's more important things to worry about. Like, we'll, we'll get to that eventually. Might, we might do that today. But... Let's just let's just see how we go first. Okay, um, let's move on. Thanks. Also, do your light wizard have immortality? I mean, he's probably a bad trait, and he's light wizard, but he's already level thirty-four. He's disciplined, and yes, he is immortal. Get movement range for 12k prestige. Yeah, yeah. Well, it'll probably happen today, so we just need to wait and see. Come on, win. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Damn coward. Ugh, when he encountered Warherd of the One Eye. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I'm more than happy to help them out here. Good. He's been a bad boy. Good. You just yeah, that's it. You just stay over there. All right, that's okay. Minnestag's not well defended. Income from trade faction wide, not that big of a deal because it only increases income from tariffs. And 
Everything that is a tariff is shit. <laughs> Alright, uh, that didn't leave that area. Be at peace, for that is all I ever. Um. Nah. Alright, so Sterland. Uh, sorry, um, Hockland took. Needling, and now we demand their return. Your reach grows yeah. yet further, great lord. Yeah, Your thank you. Your endless victories are changing the very fates themselves. The world falls before your incredible power. Oh, do you know what I just realized? Who's this over here? Show me the accused. Hunt them out. Oh, okay, Avalanche. Okay. By the comet. They will be judged. No, mortal. No. If we here. go over here in ambush stance with both armies, they might just retake Needling straight away. Which is good. It's good. We want them to take it back so we can keep doing this. Yes, that will work. Keep an eye on all this stuff. Alright, these guys here come over here for growth. Don't care too much about Montfort, but we want to upgrade Paravon. Get that to tier 5 so I can get rid of the growth buildings and wall this up because... Yeah, shit's happening. Outrider Doomstack, 10 out of 10? No, it's, it's good. Outriders are good, but I wouldn't say 10 out of 10. Seek out the heretics. Yeah, I gotta think about that one. No. Be gone. Keep blocking this army. Yeah, because we want them to keep doing this. Now we did we do lose some fealty with um with Hockland, but honestly, I don't mind like them seceding and I'll just conquer them instead. I don't mind if that has to happen. Yeah, see if I sack that then they won't take needling again. But if I sack that then We don't want the Von Karsteins to be defeated. That's really important. Are you at war with the Von Karsteins as well? Approach no, your friend and make your offer. Godtrek Gernishan! Never. Bring me to my men. Yeah, we have to make sure they don't go to the Griffinwood either. The nation calls. Also, there's no guarantee that these two armies here would even beat Hockland. Because they've got a lot of experience, and this is like garbage. For, for the most part. There's no guarantee. I guess we can just see how that plays yes. out. So I'll just come over here, go into ambush stance. And yeah, we'll just see how it plays out. Godtrek Gernishan. Let them come. Yeah. Godtrek Gernishan. Like I said, just we'll see how that plays out. Uh, don't block them. Uh, maybe block Marius Leetdorf. I don't want him interfering. Report. Show me the accused. They will be judged. Okay. Cool. Worst agent actions to affect your reliability? Oh, won't agent actions. No, no, no. Only if you do that to allies. We're not technically allies. If we have a look here. Yeah, all very high. If I do it to Marienburg, it will. Which is why I'll have to carry uh, cancel the defensive alliance if they come over here. I shall 
be victorious. Uh, okay, they're both on horses. That's a little bit of a problem, but we should be fine. Uh, they... Yeah, should be fine. Should be fine. Um, let's go over here. Wait, these two here weren't noble, were they? Yes, son of Sigma. Would you phase out crossbows for huntsmen and their stack stalk ability? No, not in the Empire, no. It's not that important right here. Um, if I was in Lustria, I would. But out here, I think crossbows are just fine. Now, what you want out here is guns because you're going to end up fighting like a lot of armored units. You know, Chaos comes down, they get a lot of armor. If you end up fighting dwarfs or greenskins, they tend to have a lot of armor late game. You want guns for those sort of situations. Got to get that darker. All right, we got to blow this off. Oh fuck, I hate this map. Why is this map 90% of the maps in the Empire? Oh, I hate this map so much. It's good if you're playing vampire accounts, because it gives you so much cover. Oh, it's so bad for artillery and missile based armies, because there's this fucking statue in the middle here. And I'm probably going to need a little bit of a heal right off the bat. They don't have any particularly fast units apart from the heroes. Wormer 3, they finally fixed the Arcane Surge on Cinch and just they made a clue about it. Cool, then it took them six months, and that's hardly the most pressing thing in Wormer 3 to fix. Yeah, I told them about that in early access. <laughs> Whatever, who cares. Trying to shout as much damage as oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Oh yeah. Kinda of missed a bit there. That's okay. Free company militia, short range and guns make him difficult to dodge. Oh yeah. yeah, 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 bomb in here, in here, come on, in here, make me come, come on, over here,
Oh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> that was shit. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Oh. That's what I wanted to see. Good stuff. Alright, it looks like we're going to be fine. Delicious. Alright, now we just gotta make sure that they get the armor losses as quickly as possible. Shouldn't be too difficult. I'm for that damn Empire Captain. Balthazar uh, guilt needs to get out of that. Too much damage. Do him out. Try to get some healing in before the battle's over. Just a bit. Because we've got a few guys here that are pretty badly damaged. Don't need to run them down. Yeah, this uh, life wizard here is still pretty low level, so... We're not going to get a lot out of it, but it's better than nothing. Since we're not going to get any replenishment out here, might as well. Yeah, he doesn't even have life bloom yet. Needs more experience. If we could just get one more heal, that would be good. Could Balthazar be potential good one man doom stack? Uh, potentially, yeah. Yeah, you could. If you have enough winds of magic and make him unbreakable, then yeah, I guess you could. get the right defeat traits, you could make him essentially impervious to missiles. Yeah, yeah, you could do that. Still zero defeats? Yep, still zero defeats. Kind of tempting to sack it. 
But we gotta get a move on with the uh, Imperial Authority, so it's not that much money in the grand scheme of things. Just blow it up. Oh, good, my lord. So yeah, we want, um, I, don't, I don't care who, but somebody else to come over here and ruin dwell it. Hockland might be the best option. It might be good to just like totally tank um, Hockland's rely, um, uh, fealty. Go to war with them as well, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I am the Supreme Patriarch. Yeah. Okay, I think Gelt ended up with more health at the end of the battle than he did going into it. There's Arcane Conduit, but should we... Hero capacity for Battle Wizards would be good. Ah, uh, he won't be able to get another level up next turn anyway, so just go with that. Cool. Alright, that all worked out pretty well. So yeah, curious to see what happens here. What I'm hoping happens is that they just go and recapture Needling. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping will happen. And I'm hoping Vlad goes and captures Flensburg, but uh, he'll need to recruit quite a lot of troops. Let's have to wait and see what happens there. I'm gonna go and block this army here. By the silver hammer. Doesn't matter if Sterland hates us because they will I've already be done that judged. this turn. Because their fealty is at ten anyway. They won't declare war. Cool. Well we gained some money out of all that, that's good. Feeling that sad Nippon is not in the map. Not in the map yet. Just you never know. Just be patient. You know, it might take a few years, but we'll see. Um there's more important things to worry about right now. Giga Johnson became a member for two months. Did you listen to Cody Bond's interview with RA? I did not, actually. I totally forgot about that. Thanks for Super Chat. But yeah, I had other things to do today. It's on my to-do list. But yeah, I totally forgot. Alright. Yep. Let us fall. And that guy needs to stay here, because we're going to be... Stuff. Out the heretics. Almost at my capacity for warrior priests. I'm gonna get Let this one to come over here. Just want to get extra growth into Paravon as quickly as possible. Show me the accused. Could search the ruins here, I suppose. Seek out the heretics. It shall be done. How did he know? How did he know what it was? I've just done this. I've played this game so many times. They're just memory. Show me the accused. Who is Are? Ra. Uh, Ra is the Egypt sun god. Cody Bonds did an interview with him. <laughs> that was such a troll. I get it from you guys. You guys are trolls. Uh, no, R is uh, Richard Aldridge, the... DLC guy for um, Warhammer 3. Do you think CA should have kept the Warhammer 2 engine with the adjustments instead of making a brand new one? Dude, that's a big assumption. They did not make a new engine. They Warhammer 3 does use the Warhammer 2 engine. They they uh, they just made some tweaks and stuff, which a lot of them were bad. Uh, so this guy here. Yeah, don't worry about getting growth. Just We don't really need like melee attack. Yeah, you gotta get that melee defense, because I have to hold the line, and replenishment's not gonna come into effect. Because, yeah, without stimulate growth here, uh, you can't quite see it, but we're probably reducing. Oh no, we're not reducing the growth, because we're not actually in their territory at the moment. That's fine. Yeah, the other one can do it. Whatever. I hope they add some more skills for some of these guys in Warhammer 3, because it's a bit bland. Alright, cool. Next stop is Ogres, and then Weissman, because I won't be able to make it there next turn. Unless I can make it there. Nah, do nothing. Need somebody else to do it in order to get the Imperial Authority. Right, money, money, money. I need money.
Was I going to put in this spot? All right, this one and that one. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Good, Temple Off is growing. Uh, Fort Obastar is the one most likely to come under attack from, from them. So we should get that properly walled up. Uh, no, we should probably wall up Karag Dramar, just in case these guys attack us and jump over here. This gives us global recruit capacity, which is good. If you had full credit control over how you, how would you adjust Warhammer? What would you do first? Um, honestly, I would revert a lot of the changes they made in Warhammer 3. Um, the Siege rework would be probably the first thing I touch. Mainly for major settlements. Uh, the first thing I would do is just get rid of that secondary um, capture point. Um, the next thing I would do would, in order to fix the minor city siege problem, I'd make it that tier 1 and tier 2 minor settlements are always field battles and only tier 3 settlements are minor city battles and then you can build walls if you choose to um also i would rebind all of the towers that are in really weird spots like in my opinion all of the towers and barricades should be bound to the closest supply point not the furthest away one some of it just doesn't make any sense um I would leave the... Okay, I would change a lot of the traits like knowledgeable so that you could increase the maximum capacity for Winds of Magic so that you're not hard capped at 100. I don't think that the new system is inherently bad. I just think it really needs a bit more like flavor. Currently, it's just really bland. Uh, and that's the thing. The Winds of Magic system in Warhammer 2 has lots of flavor. There's lots of things you can do. Um, anywhere where it says um, increase Winds of Magic... Sorry, increasing percentage winds of magic when increasing, I would change it to increase maximum capacity winds of magic. Or um, maybe half half it. Instead of having a percentage increase, like globally, say, plus one winds of magic per, uh, per turn, sort of thing. Um, so you can generate magic faster, except not when it's like in silly regions. Um, what's that? What else would I do? I would fix the vassal problem. Just make it so vassals can't. Be declared war on by other factions on um, they have to declare war on the parent faction um what else would i do i'd probably rework the economies to probably give you more money because it's a bit it's a they're sort of run on low economy system uh yeah so i would i would uh, add more ways to make money but i would also give the ai more cheats so that they would throw more at you, because currently I think the AI doesn't really throw much, as much at you as what Warhammer 2 does, and I prefer that. So I would empower the player, but also empower the AI, give them more cheats. Um, at least on higher difficulties. What else do I do? Uh, I don't think there's much else that needs to be done. Just like, oh yeah, I would change a lot of the defeat traits. I would basically make it so that no defeat trait in the game sucks. Like Karl Franz, Grombrindles, Belagars, you know, a lot of those defeat traits just absolutely suck. I would change all of those. Potato McWhisky, how's it going, dude? Uh, still blown away at the hard cap on magic, such a waste of potential. I agree, yeah, I totally agree. It's just a waste. It's The, the, the system has absolutely no potential whatsoever in its current form. Yeah, it's really bland. It's clearly been put that way for balance, but it's boring. It's boring. You know, you reach your maximum potential on turn five, and then that's it. It never gets any better than that. Stupid. Shouldn't you shouldn't do that in a game that we're gonna be playing for like a hundred hours, ideally. You know, three hundred turns. You don't want to hit maximum potential on turn ten. That's stupid. Alright, I think we're done here. Uh, let's have a good bit of diplomacy, see what we can find. Uh, trade yes. agreement with Marienburg. 
Only Sigmar's god Ulrich can judge. Honestly, we're probably selling off most of our goods, and I feel like I might have to go to war with them, so it might be a bad idea to do that. Look, I'm selling Yeah, I'm selling everything off, so all it would be with tariffs. So just just leave that be. Don't want to go to war with them just yet, but I might I might uh, kick their ass in a minute. Um, looking at other people we've got agreements with. The laws of chivalry demand I hear you. I don't have any... Oh, I do have an agreement with them. Uh, let me check with... Torgovan. Long have my people hunted your... Short-sighted. Okay. Alright, let's move on. What should Carl defeat trade be? Plus three public order, all provinces. No, plus three is a bit too much. Plus one, public order, all provinces. Plus three is ridiculous. But yeah, that's a good defeat trait. Plus one, public order, all provinces. That's worth getting a couple of times. That'd be really useful for Dark Elves, who have kind of bad public order. Yes, 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 do it. Win, win, do it, do it. Yes, win, do it. Do it, win, do it, do it. Yes! <laughs> oh, look, they have fealty with me. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Bow before your emperor. Fuck off, Toddy! Alright, so that's good, and we're gonna get another offer for Imperial Authority next turn. The Imperial uh, Authority farm is well underway. At least I think. Won't that be OP still? Mate, if you put me in charge of it, I will put OP shit all over the place. The, I don't care about whether something is OP. I, I don't give a fuck about balance. Not one bit. Not for single player. I would want to make it fun. The What you want to be doing is putting stuff in the game that's worth tracking down. You know? I don't give a shit about multiplayer or balance. You know? You wouldn't put me in charge to uh, to make the game balanced. I still can't accept this. Gotta wait a few more turns. Yes! Good. Good, 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 good. Okay. Demand mid and stag's return. Alright, now I need to create a backup save file here. I just don't know if me blowing this up again is going to cause um, a loss of Imperial Authority. So I just need to um, I just need to create a backup save file real quick. Because I don't know about this. Because I know that you lose Imperial Authority... If you, like, if you give them back a settlement, like if I was the one that gave it back, okay, that's done, um, and then attacked it again within five turns, then you would lose Imperial Authority. But I don't know if somebody else did it. I am the Supreme Patriarch. <laughs> oh my god. We didn't lose Imperial Authority. <laughs> it's working. It's working. We just we can only do it once per turn though. Servant they're they're going to get really pissed off at me. It's working though. What do you <laughs> want? So they go and occupy it and then I tell them to give it back. I didn't lose Imperial Authority. Nice. If this keeps up, we'll easily get the 27 that we need. Can you describe the Beastman recruit exploit for me real quick? 
Nah, we're not playing Beastman right now. Well, let's play another day. There's other people have made videos on it. Go watch their videos on it. Alright, now we can only get one of those events per turn. So... I trust no man. Um, what should we do about that? I would like for Avalon to actually um, provide me with uh, and a confederation option. Why twenty seven? That's the required amount to confederate all of them. Okay, I'm just I'm just thinking what to do here. Yeah, we got a new. We've got a. This isn't a fealty cheese. This is an imperial authority cheese, Ready. which is better. I just wish it wouldn't deplete all my Are movement you? when doing it. Are you? Why need twenty seven? Tw twenty seven is the amount needed to confederate all elect accounts. Okay. Uh. Isn't it 24 Imperial Authority if you're going to conquer Hockland? Maybe, maybe. But we'll see. I'm not even close to that yet, either. So let's just let's just keep generating more. Alright, so... So, 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 so. Alright, let's have a look here. We could blow up Krugenheim. But... Talabakland will probably come down here pretty quick. Um... I, I could blow up Needling. I could blow up both. Yeah, I'll send like... Oh, Gotrick won't be able to make it. This is the last time we got Gotrick. Oh, hang on. Isabella might be back this time. Let's go have a look. There she is. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Can't tag Gotrick out. Unless I tag Carl Franz out. I guess that's fine. The righteous hammer of Sigma. Go down the blue line first. Volkmar the Grim. Out of my way. I will. It's now 24 is your idea of guild? No, 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 no. It's it's 30 if you want guild as well. A good old scrap. Moving out. The instrument of Sigmar's will. Sigmar. All right, we got all of our legendary lords with Isabella's defeat trait. So we don't need to blow it up, we just need them to occupy it, so it's fine. Um, let's clear them out. Remove items off Gotrick? Yeah, I already did, but he might have more already. Yeah, I already did take him off him. Alright, cool, that worked out. We cleared out all of their armies. Uh, I want... I want Avalon to... Everyone needs to leave Vlad alone until he recruits some more armies. I don't think Hockland can make it back to here. But if anyone's going to do it, I want it to be Hockland. I don't want um, Avalon doing any of this. So I'll block him. And then eventually Vlad will come over and just beat his ass. Defender of the faith. Moving. Hawk Slayer! Where's the slaughter? Okay. So this is a good opportunity to level up um Volkmar as well. And we might as well just get I don't think we need this army anymore. Oh no no, we might, because Vlad can sometimes produce pretty strong armies, and this is not exactly a doomstack. Yeah, so we should be we should be careful about that. Then again, I could always just block him if it's that. No, 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 just just keep it. It's not that expensive. We'll be an extra supply line though. 
It's fine. Oh, I need to give Volkmar some... some things. Specifically campaign movement range. Oh shit, do I not have any more? Yeah, you don't need that. And then scribe. I guess I've only got two of them. Okay, that's fine. Cool, 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 cool. If he dies, he dies. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want Marius doing that because we're pretty close to getting a confederation offer with him, and I might just accept it. Because... Yeah, we don't need him to give us one Imperial Authority every 10 turns. We just don't need him to do that now. Alright, so let's let's get this relationship up above 50. Okay, and then we'll spend some Imperial Authority. So I'm actually I'm going to confederate Marius. Cause I don't want him um interfering with this. If anyone's gonna be getting tanked, let it be Hawkland. Alright, so let's let's improve things with Marius Leetdorf. I just needed to get to fifty. Which obviously that's a lot. But that's that's fine. We want to get it there quickly. I just want to confederate him. It is time. Yeah, confederate him and be done with it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Is the cheese working? Yes, it is working. When it's into here to Marcus for confed. Confederating Marcus Wolfheart right now would be a gigantic mistake because it wouldn't empower us. I'd have to disband all of his armies because of the supply lines, and I'd have to fight lizard men. Fuck it. Marcus Wolfhart usually survives on his own. Uh, if we have a look, we'll see if he's still alive. Marcus Wolfhart doesn't provide any global bonuses, so... Let me, let me just, yeah, he's still alive. Uh, uh, you guys can't see that, can you? Hang on. Turn off the face cam. Yeah. He's still alive. Um, it just He doesn't provide any value to me right now, so why don't we focus on this, and then when we go there, sometimes he's owning half of Lustria, so just let him do his thing. If the AI levels him up badly, I, it really doesn't bother me that much. Okay, it looks like we can tax... Oh, 60 gold, forget it. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Tools of judgment ready. Who calls? All right, cool. All right, let's uh, let's move on. I was just seeing what else we could do. All right, building. We've got a bit of money. Let's see what we can be built. Just focus on income stuff first. Uh, no, I just leave that. Okay, we hit tier five here. Cool. So building stuff here. Three turns. I know we've got a noble. In here already. Another one. Let us forge our faith. So that allows us to build in two turns, but now, okay, now I don't have enough money. And there's a lord that we can recruit. That's one turn. Two turns. One turn. Alright, maybe just build that this turn. And I reckon we can build this in one turn next turn, as long as I've got the money for it, which we should be able to get. But yeah, getting an extra 400 gold per turn there would be good. Tools of judgment ready. You summon me. But yeah, this will be funny. They'll just keep doing that over and over and over again. 
And every time, I'll just keep telling them to give it back. If that's the case, we don't actually need a full stack to sit here. So maybe I should just get a random lord to get over here. Because every time they do that, they only have like zero um, garrison. So I just need some random dude to go and do that. Rather than Balthazar Gilt's expensive army. And what I could do is maybe go and occupy mid and... No. No, I shouldn't do that because that'll lower the settlement level. I can just go besiege Middenland. Maybe. Alright, we'll recruit the the noble dude. We can always tag him out later. So yeah, what I'm going to do is send this guy over here so that he can do the exploding stuff. Time to tax the allies. Uh, I already did that a couple of turns ago. That's not, not going to do anything. This, this um, We won't get anything. I did that recently. Good idea, but we've already done it. Um, maybe I will disband Gotrick and Felix's army. Yeah, I, I need more cash. Just, we, don't, we don't need this. It's just excessive. Yeah, that saves... Not heaps, but it's going to increase our supply lines, so let's just get rid of it. Alright, cool. Yeah, I could go and occupy Middenheim, couldn't I? But I want to get it at high level, because I'm definitely going to confederate um, Toddy. Maybe not straight away, but eventually I will. In hindsight now, it doesn't really matter if Karaburg is occupied by by them because we only need one settlement to be exploded because I can only get that off at once a turn and they'll just keep ruin dwelling that over and over again okay cool let's move on I know you hate Norse guns but do you bother taking coastal outposts yeah because that way you prevent the enemy from capturing those settlements yeah it's still worth holding on to them as, as best you can you know, you can get some reasonably large garrisons in them. They're not there for making money. It's just to prevent enemies from capturing it. And also increasing chaos corruption in the area, which helps. If the wiki is right, there is fealty relations thresholds at 150, 194, and 212 relations. 1, 2, 3, respectively. Okay. Okay. He just loses constantly. You know what? We don't need Vlad anymore, do we? We don't need this. We only need the Middenland one. I guess we could use Krugenheim to get the fealty of Talabakland up because they're at 7. But I don't need the Sterland one. So maybe I'll occupy Needling for myself. Or maybe just let Sterland have it back. Or well, I guess give it back to Sterland. <laughs> it works. Yeah, there he goes, Gotcha and Felix. In the mountains, Madeline. Time to kill or be killed. With sword in hand, I follow. In the hope that I will live to finish my works. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this once every turn. It's working. 
It's working. Alright, you're best sailing up this way so that Midland doesn't catch you. Oh, fuck, I just realized I had to build something first. <laughs> it's okay, I got another noble dude there. Um, oh my god, it actually works. Oh, damn it, if I... Hang on, I'll blow it up from this direction. Step to it. Pick up the pace. Yeah, what? keep an eye on them. March. All right, if this keeps up, that means we only really need to do this for 10 turns. And then we'll probably have to go to war with them, because I can't see any way we're going to get their fealty up after this. Sterling's already at 10. Approach us, friend. Oh my god, I can't believe this works. If you load the game now, you can keep Gotrick and Felix forever. <laughs> really? I like cheese. Can you return Karaburg yourself without penalty? Yep. I guess I could, yeah. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> wow. Yeah, look. They're still here. <laughs> Good one. Oh, I like cheese. But you lose the event? Oh, fuck! Oh, no! Oh, no, we do. We lose that event. We'll get it again next turn, though. I am ready. Oh, oh you tricked me. <laughs> Okay, we'll get it again. It's not that big of a deal, but um Yeah, okay. We we also didn't give that back to them. God, CA do not program these games very well. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Alright, so Sigma grant me strength. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, just thinking what to do now. Gain a cheese, lose a cheese. Yeah, it, it really does seem that way, doesn't it? Alright, hang on. Over here, this can be built in one turn now. Let's do that. Praise be to Sigma. I serve the Heldenhammer. Let's go over here. They can't possibly reach us. Yeah, there's no way they can reach. Protector of the weak. I am the supreme patriarch. At least I can go get these ogres. Okay. Well, that was interesting. So I want Volkmar to get as much experience as possible. So what I'm thinking is if we sack Krugenheim and then force March back to here, that way we'll reinforce them when they take it next turn. Yeah, I got. I gotta say, it probably wasn't worth doing that. Change the fealty technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Where's the ale? Or I could get Gotrick and Felix to do it. I guess. My Sigma. So yeah, don't return to elect account. Just sack it. Onwards. 
put Gelt on water for healing? No, if I do that, then he won't be able to launch the attack on Middenstag. That's silly. We don't we don't need the healing. Uh, Scott Macabre to a five. Did a ten dollar super chat? Ogres, my lord. Yep. Thanks for the super chat, dude. Appreciate it. Okay, and uh, just keep standing over here. It is best to move. And yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, now Volkmar needs to force march to here. Because yeah, what I'm trying to do here is just level him up. Um, we don't want Marius Leapdorf to capture either settlement, so keep blocking him. I'll do the fighting. Slut and grab. Yeah, well, at least apparently we've got Gotrick and Felix permanently now, but we'll we'll see. We'll see about that. We will see. We will see. Yeah, it might be time to actually get rid of um, Vlad, because I can only get the event once per turn. If we've just got an endless loop of mid and stag, then I don't need this one here. At all. Show me the accused. Make sure that uh, Talabakland isn't coming down here to capture this. So yeah. Hockland captures Needling, gives it back to Sterland, leave it with Sterland from then on. Then they capture Krugenheim, leave it with Talabakland, then we capture Vertbad, end of the Von Karsteins, and then we can reshuffle these forces around somewhere else. Um, hopefully we'll get the offer for this one next turn. Um, otherwise, we're going to have to go blow up Viesmund, which is not a problem. It is time. Because I can reach it, but we'll just we'll just have to see. That's the problem here. I don't know how much this is uh, screwed us over. I just don't know. Get Gotrek regeneration for memes. All right, if if Isabella shows up, yeah, sure, we'll see. Firstly, we'll just see if we've got him permanently before we do that. All right, you just stay out over here. Try to catch any Skaven that come up this way. But at this stage here, we're well on track to actually getting all of them by turn 100. We're on track. Ugh. Maybe what we could do is uh, raise another army or something. Send another army to go deal with Clan Mulder, who's going to be a problem. But at the moment, everything is good. Just keep these guys out of the Onwards. way there. You come over here. I'm out of money, but that one will be available next turn as well, so that's fine. Cleanse the Empire. Cleanse the Empire. Consider yourself lucky that we... Yeah, I just don't have any money. Public order's fine. We can switch to growth. All right. All right, so next turn. Welcome, my countrymen. In the next turn or so, we should get a confederation offer from Averland, and I'm going to take it. I'm going to start taking confederations with elect accounts that I don't need to cheese, and Averland is one of them. The only problem with taking Averland is that it'll put me on a kind of border with... Um, with the greenskins, so we'll need to wall up Grenstad as quickly as possible. Or Tools of judgment. maybe I'll need to send a witch hunter over here, just in case any greenskins start getting any ideas. To buy me some time. But yeah, I think it's time for ending the vampire count's misery. <laughs> Alright, cool, let's move on. Save Kislev. Kislev's dead. That's Ostermark over there. Can you make Gotrick an elect account? Yeah, he is an elect account.
How long after being sent a disaster does it usually take to upload it? One day, two days, three days, depends. So which way do you go Empire? There's an Empire, Bretonia or Vampires? Uh, I usually take Paravon first. Oh, okay, I wasn't expecting them to go Krugenheim first. I'm fine with that. Yeah, keeping Gotrick and Felix is okay, but the timing of that wasn't great. Alright, hopefully it's mid and stag. Let's have a look. Okay, cool. Mid and stag will be returned to mid and lent. Good. Alright. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. That way, okay, that way we only need one dude to just keep doing that. Uh, we're not going to get the offer for Krugenheim. Because we can only do one per turn. Uh, at least until we're done with getting Imperial Authority. Then it'll just eventually happen. Um, if Gotrick gets regen, then leaves. You get him back, do you still have regen? No, I don't think so. Gotrick, yeah, we got Gotrick permanently. We didn't get the... Yeah, he didn't leave. It might be possible to get Gotrick and like another set of Gotrick and Felix, but I gotta wait the thirty turns or whatever. My knowledge is yours. Okay, if that's the case, we don't really want to wait around. So just give back Needling to Sterling now, and I'll go capture Vertbad. Hang on. Should do it this way. Should sack it with um with Volkmar. Sigmar has heard my prayers. Oh, why'd they drop down? Well, alright, I'll just attack it with Volkmar. I am preserved. Yeah, we'll re we'll return it to the elect account ourselves. Sigmar watches over. That way they're back up to ten. We don't get Imperial Authority for that. But I don't intend to lose it again. And I intend to have Volkmar take Vertbad next turn. Um, if you could stand here and go into Encamp Stance. Says here we'll make it there next turn. Onwards to death! Show me the accused. Heretic! Yeah, it's time to just put him down, I think. And then over here. What orders? Hmm. Uh, Henrik Nudson did a 50 DKK super chat. Revive Kislev, also Ogres, my lord. All right, thanks, dude. Thanks, super chat. Um, there's no benefit in rev oh god, in reviving Kislev. What? What for? Seek out the heretics. Alright, I need you to block this one last time. Speak. Come then. Okay, oh, Averland should God. confederate next turn, I think. Should. Maybe they didn't. Uh. The I don't know. Well, it's, it's, it's not urgent. It's not urgent. Uh, okay, so. No, no, stay still like that. This is why. Because it says, yeah, he'll be able to reach there next turn. Okay. You summon me. I serve. And then, yeah, just raise it again. Good, we don't lose Imperial Authority for that. And Guilt. 
could go and occupy Middenland, Middenheim. But yeah, it'll knock it down a level. We will confederate them. Let us forge our faith. So what I could do instead is just besiege the settlement. They'll probably sally out against us, but then we'll smash them. As long as we don't take um, take the settlement, it's fine. Because, yeah, what we'll do here is get the fealty up to 10 and then confederate them. Even if we're at war with them, we'll be able to do it. This is your first Reichland campaign I watched where you got Isabella's training all legendary lords. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. Ready. Obviously, uh, Marcus Wolfhard doesn't have it, but... Um, or Boris. Boris. Eh, Boris doesn't need it. It's fine. We got it on all the ones that matter. Okay, so... I could besiege this. He just... Wouldn't be able to do that much against us. Let us begin. He won't be able to reach mid and stag next turn. I, I could go and blow this up. Because what if he raises another army over here to send over this way? And that'll give me an opportunity to heal these guys up to full. Could occupy it myself. Not sure. Uh, Kyle Cheney did a two super chat. Love the hilarious Torox loves Weedy's campaign. I know it's do thanks super chat. Enric Knudsen did a twenty DKK super chat because it's Kislev. That's not a reason, but thanks super chat. All right, I'm going to pick up the pace. I'm going to occupy Vismond. Yeah, I'm going to occupy it. All right, and I want you to come up over here and get ready to go block Boris. I am ready. Alright, if we order resolve this, what kind of damage are we looking at? Ugh, I have to fight it manually. So I'm going to occupy Vismond. Does Boris have any unique traits or skills? Yeah, he's got one. It's not much. It's, it's not a big deal. But yeah, as far as I'm concerned, the Imperial Authority cheese 100% works. But, um... It can be a little bit tricky to set up. So you need an elect account to declare war on you. And then you need to blow up a settlement over and over and over again. And have another elect account constantly retake that settlement. Yeah. So yeah, what I'm doing here is also doing a bit of healing. But this shouldn't take long. We've got so much artillery. Let's just blow this shit out of them. What I might do actually is make a video on the Imperial Authority uh, exploit because uh, since I made a backup save file, I'll be able to do that. I might make that for tomorrow's video, maybe. That way, I can perfectly explain it for you guys how to do it, and it should work in Warhammer 3. I think they're hitting each other a little bit. Boris has a lot of heroes in his stacks, maybe assassinate them. Uh, uh it's fine. They should essentially just be fresh recruits. Oh, 
Oh, it's just artillery. No big deal. Cool. And we recovered on this battle. Don't need to heal to full because we'll get replenishment every end turn. Uh, what if you do it, then they nerf fun before IE? They got like a month to nerf the fun out of it. Well, then you can do it in Warhammer 2. They're never going to update Warhammer 2 again. Don't see how we'll fix it. Yeah, yeah see? Uh, yeah, because as soon as I made that Fealty Cheese video, they patched it almost straight away. CA so yeah, definitely do that. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of annoying. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, yeah, we'll see. All right, just stop the fight. I am ready. Are you? Cool. Great timing for that. The nation calls. So, in hindsight, now I shouldn't have blown up Karaburg. I'll just get somebody to go and occupy it. Um, hang on. Do I need that noble dude? Probably not this turn. Speaking of which, this guy here, who's noble, really shouldn't be here. Because that way he'll come back into circulation in five turns. So what I'm doing here is just getting this guy to ruin toilet, and then Balthazar Gelt will just besiege Middenheim, and just keep it under siege until we're done. I trust no man. Tools of judgment ready. Okay, so we'll tailor back then to come over here. Is that where heretics lurk? It's fine. Blessings of Sigmar upon you. Yeah, they're not gonna be able to capture Vert Bad. Okay. Does discipline stack? Yep. Speaking of which, I know there's another disciplined hero here. I'm gonna recruit that and send it up to Balth uh yeah, Balthazar Gelt's army. Alright, and over here... Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Here to serve. So that's good, that got built in one turn. Extra tax rate really helped. Uh, no issues on the border anywhere, which is great. Show me the acute. I am ready to parley. I hope your words are wise. My quest is doom. Praise be to Sigmar. Right, right, right. Got track, Praise Sigmar. Okay. Uh, right. What to do next? What to do next. Empire. What should be our next target for conquest? Marienburg is still pretty good at keeping these assholes away from me. Um, Lower Lawn Forest, maybe? Just get rid of them. Stupid, annoying dicks. Yeah, and Volkmar won't be too far away to come and assist. Okay. Because they, they don't like us. Uh, they don't, they're annoying. We should just get rid of them. It'll be tier, f yes, tier 5 by now. Um, and that won't make us discover Norska out here. These Skaven over here are really passive. Alright, cool. Cool, just leave all that be. Good. Alright, I don't think there's any more construction we need to do, but let me just check. Primarily just focusing on increasing our income, because we've got a lot of really expensive buildings that need to be done. Um, over here... Uh, there's no economic buildings that we need. I don't think we need to build walls, because Argwalon just doesn't come out and attack. And even if it did... Um, they'd beat the shit out of us anyway. Alright, doesn't seem like we're gonna need the walls. I'll just keep it there for one more turn. Actually, no, just block that. Make it not go anywhere. And then get rid of the walls in both these settlements here, because it looks like it's gonna be fine. We don't need it in Temple Hop either now. Public order... Mm. 
we need some characters here to get rid of the corruption. Don't, I don't ever attach these guys into armies, so that's fine. But if this guy comes over here, he'll stop the corruption from going any higher. Yeah. Karak Raziak, just leave that be for the time being. Uh, Jen, uh, Yen J, or Yenny, I think it is, did a PLN 25 super chat with Grombundal starting in Nagarond, northwest corner of the map. What's your take on early game dwarves versus dark elves? Mm. <laughs> Try to win some battles? Thanks for super chat, dude, appreciate it, but I haven't played it, so I don't know. Probably. Won't be that comfortable for either of them. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe you can ally with them. I, I just don't know. Depends on what Grombrindle's grudges are going to be and how much aversion Malekith is going to have and what other factors are going to be. But yeah, as I've always said, looking at a faction's location on a map that we haven't played tells us nothing. I just I can't comment on this stuff right now. Speculating on it is completely useless, so I'm not going to. I get that some people want to speculate on it, but again, I'll say this again. I've already said it so many times. I don't want to do that, so. It's just, it's just not helpful. I am a supreme patriarch. Alright, so with Balthazar Gelt, we'll give him a Steam Tank Doomstack eventually, but we also need to get that stuff going. Do not waste my potential. Yeah, like I said, this is too early to tell right now. So getting all this growth here will help us to develop this province a lot quicker. And wherever we go after that. So much hype over stupid site locations. Yeah, and look, that's fine if people want to get hyped about it. It's not a problem. It's just that, like I said, I focus on gameplay, not on speculation. Um, whenever I speculate on something, I'm usually wrong. So I just don't want to participate. <laughs> if, if, I wish people would respect that. Um, but and yeah, I just don't want to do it. Godric no longer an elector. Uh, we don't want, we don't need him to be an elector. But yeah, we can make him an elector. I just, I don't see the point. Um, okay. I guess we could make him the elector count of Sylvania. It won't do anything for him. Cause fear and terror, who cares? So yeah, I reckon we get rid of Laurelorn Forest, and then maybe we come over here. Start cleaning up this shit. Of course, scaven can be a pain in the ass to deal with. Steam Tank Doomstack would be good for that, which we're almost ready for. Of Sigma. Steam Tank Doomstack. Hang on. What do you require? Yeah, we can almost start building his Steam Tank army up soon. Also, we've got to figure out something to do with um, Wissenland. Maybe I should get them to declare war on me. Because I'm never going to get that fealty up to 10. I should just outright conquer them. Because yeah, we're going to start planning ahead. If we want to get everything by turn 100, we still need to plan ahead. Um, and we need to get that fealty down... Wait, we need to get down a fair bit if this gets done so that they defect maybe not right now look they like us a fair bit can drop it yeah well we'll see how things play out because I don't want to outright declare war on them although if we've got enough imperial authority it won't matter 
All right, let's move on. So I think it's time to say goodbye to the uh, uh, the Von Karsteins. I've done what I want to do with them. Are you that reluctant to speculate because you were wrong with the Chaos Wolves? No, it's because I don't want her. Just don't want her. Look, look, I, I'll, I'll tell you why I don't want to speculate. Because, um, I just don't want to jump on the hype train. That's all. So I just, I just want to wait. You know, if it was up to me, like, I'm not paying any attention to Creative Assembly's posts on social media, right? I just have to respond to them constantly because other people keep asking about it, but I'm not personally interested. You know, it's not my job to cover that shit. And I don't want to cover it. Use prestige to lower the rep with them. Yeah, but don't forget, we also want to get prestige. Oh yeah, we'll end up fighting uh, Hockland soon. I forgot about that. We'll need to be ready for that. Yeah, look, I don't really, I don't care about being wrong about stuff about predicting what's going to happen in the future because none of that stuff matters. Um, but yeah, I just don't want to jump on the hype train. The vampire's giving you trouble? Oh, no, no, no. I've been letting them live so that we could um, goof other factions around. But we just don't need them anymore. We could have wiped them out ages ago. And also, we got Isabella's trait on all the legendary lords, which was good. Right. Okay, so this... Okay, I won't be able to get the other one done this turn. That's fine. That's good. Forest of a media belligerent foe. Volkmar the Grim. Okay, now. Oh, please, this. Vlad's back. That'll make the battle a bit harder. Okay, uh, let's have a look here. Sigma forbids this. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Protector of the weak. Uh, Rivers Kaufman did a ten dollars chat. I don't know why everyone is getting so riled up about Warhammer Three IE yet. Honestly, won't care until IE is released and patched thoroughly. Everyone forgets how buggy IE was. Start with Warhammer Two. Yeah, yeah. It's just I just it's it's really frustrating because I just want to focus on this game and not focus on, on like oh what start position is interesting or whatever in Warhammer Three. I just I just don't want to talk about it. But people. Just keep coming here and talking about it over and over and over again. It's so fucking tedious. But yeah, let's just change the subject because it's so annoying. Anyway, thanks for Super Chat. You summon me. Alright. Do we want to put Vlad down for good? Because once he's gone, we can't bring him back. This will give us the elect account of Sterland position, How which... You? Yeah, that's alright. Untainted all provinces is good. Or cure. Eh, whatever. We're not going to give it back to Sterland. Such insolence. Yeah, I'll just take it for myself. I should be able to confederate Hello Backland without any serious problem. Next turn, they'll probably offer mid and stag, so I'll keep this... He won't be able to handle it on his own. I am ready. Are you? Cut them out. Onwards. Okay, and this guy here, um, you can just be disbanded. Not important. I 
am a supreme patriarch. All right. If I Boris wants to come and attack us, that would probably be best, just so that we get some some battles done. But do that about here. So, yeah. He he should come out and attack us because his army is technically stronger than us. And then this one. Just come over here and go into ambush dance. Completely off topic question. Was Skyrim your first ES game? Yes, it was. Yeah. The righteous hammer of Sigma. Godrick Gurnishak. All right, I was going to ruin dwell Karaberg. My journey begins. Yeah, don't return it to them. Awaiting orders. By Sigma. We shouldn't need walls here. Shouldn't need it. Because if all goes well, we'll get rid of his armies and just keep it under siege or something, so they're just not able to do anything. Seek out the heretics. On march. Keeping an eye on the borders. The Empire. Oh no no! This guy's supposed face. to come up this way. Whoops. I'm still just deciding on whether or not we should get rid of um, Vlad. I think it's time. We don't. We can only get one event happen every single turn. There's just no point keeping him around any longer. I think he served his purpose. We got the defeat traits that we needed, and it would be good to shift these guys around elsewhere to go capture territory that we need. Sigma has heard my prayers. Yeah, I figured it would say that. Find that. Random question, but did you ever used to play RuneScape? No, I've never played RuneScape. Probably right up my alley, just never got into it. Okay. Yep. Yep, time to go. Time to go, Vlad. Don't need you anymore. Yeah, that way we can shift Volkmar somewhere else. I just always feel bad to get rid of the Von Castlands because Isabella's trait's so good. But we got it. We got it three times on all of our legendary lords. We don't need it anymore. And, you know, other generic lords, we just don't rely on them so heavily. Like, having Carl, Carl Franz always gets the shit kicked out of him, so he needs that trait. Same thing with uh, Balthazar Gelt. Same thing with Volkmar, but everyone else, nah, don't rely on them that much. And it's just not worth keeping them around any longer. Like, job's done. And since we don't need Vlad for Imperial Authority... Yeah, it's just time to put him to rest. How hard would this... Hey, this is Total War B with Carl Franz. It's very difficult. Yeah, it'd be very difficult. One of Probably the, one of the more difficult This is Total War campaigns because you're completely surrounded and Reichland would be a very difficult province to hold. I've done... I did a um, Empire This is Total War um, campaign a long time ago as Balthazar Gelt, before Balthazar Gelt got his own faction. It made it impossible to get Carl Franz because you have to get one confederation in order to get Carl Franz, and I couldn't ever get a confederation. But that was, you know, a long time ago. Oh, uh, yeah, it, it would be difficult, but it definitely wouldn't be hopeless.
Yeah, you could do it. I think Anticity tried something along those lines. I, I think he eventually ended up winning. I know it took him a long time. I had to get off Wormer 3 and got back on Wormer 2. Love playing the Beastman. Yeah, I got off the Wormer 3 train. Yeah. Uh, we'll get back on it eventually. Just I just need a break. Just need a break from it all. I think my biggest concern, uh, this is nothing to do with star positions, but I think my biggest concern with Immortal Empires in Warhammer 3 is that it won't be as good as Warhammer 2. That's my biggest concern, like the actual gameplay. That's my biggest concern. Because like, what do we do if that's the case? Like, What happens if certain factions just are more fun in Warhammer 2? Why play them in Warhammer 3 then? But we'll just have to wait and see. This is why speculating is just not useful. Was casting the most difficult total war you did? Yes, that was the most difficult I did, but that was probably because I wasn't very good at it then. Like, if I was to do that again now, I imagine it would probably go down a lot easier. Because, yeah, in that particular campaign, um, I wasn't able to get any legendary lords, I think, because it was the old confederation method. That was before the rework, and I was recruiting Doomstacks, which, as we know now, Doomstacks is not the optimal way to go. Like, I was recruiting Arachnorok Spiders, <laughs> which, they're just not that efficient. Like, they're good units, but they take three turns to recruit, they're super expensive, I just couldn't maintain those armies. Um, and Nasty Skulkers, you could just spam out so many of them, and having that many enemies can actually help generate you more armies. Alright, that should be fine. Just, um, bomb away. Too bad we don't have his bombing ability there. The wolf heart this total was cool. Yeah, surprisingly that one wasn't actually all that difficult. Yeah. I thought that one was gonna be I thought I was gonna lose that campaign, but because I migrated to the Sentinels of Zeddy, um, you know, and just held onto that for a little while. Uh actually managed. But yeah, that that was That was difficult, but it wasn't the most difficult. I think if I had stayed at my start position, I probably would have lost that campaign. Because the start position that Marcus Wolfhart has on Mortal Empires is probably one of the worst start positions in the game. Temple of Kara is just a, such a terrible settlement if you're getting attacked on all sides. Uh, also, the settlement type itself, really, really, really shit. <laughs> anyway. And Santos of Zeddy is just so comfy. Alright, it's easy enough to take out the Vargulf here. Uh, what do you think about the SFO Grimhammer mod? Um, wouldn't be a Legend of Total War livestream without that being asked at least once per day. <laughs> um, I think it is a good mod, but some of the changes made in SFO are things that don't I don't personally find fun. I find that... I, look, I'm glad it exists because it definitely... Uh, increases the number of people that play Total War Warhammer, which is good for the game overall. So I think the existence of, of SFO Grimhammer is a good thing. However, it's not personally to my taste. I think that it slows down the gameplay a lot. Um, it makes battles a little bit more challenging, but the campaign side of things is less challenging than in SFO Grimhammer because the AI have less cheats.
So, a lot of people say that SFO is more challenging than vanilla, and I just don't agree. Whenever I've played SFO campaigns, they've gone fine. And that's usually with me barely knowing how it works. Like, I know vanilla like the back of my hand, but, and I don't know SFO very well as, at all. Throat this is Total War sounds fun. Didn't I do that? Didn't I do a Throat this is Total War? No, I don't think I did. I did. What this is Total Wars have I done with Skaven? Eshin. And Ikit Claw. Eshin was pretty comfortable. Yeah, Throat this is Total War wouldn't be that tough. Generally speaking, with Skaven, it's not that tough to do this Total War because they benefit so greatly from mass amounts of shit enemies being sent at you in the early game. Uh, you'll have a hard time expanding in the early parts of it, but at least you'll have tons of food. You just have to bite and hold. But then once you really get going, once you got your weapon team Doomsnack going, then it's super easy. But it's fun. Um, I think Skaven really do thrive in a This Is Total War scenario. SFO is great for people who enjoy that type of gameplay, and it's great it exists for people to enjoy the game. Yeah, I agree. Oh, hey, Arthur. How's it going, dude? Um, yeah, so just to reiterate on that, I think it's really important with, with a game like Total War Warhammer is to not gatekeep, right? The more variety of play styles that the game has available, the better it is for the game overall, because if you want this game to be supported well by CA, people need to buy the DLC, even if they're buying the DLC to be activated on a mod, right? So some people hate vanilla, right? They'll just never touch vanilla, but they'll buy DLC because of SFO. Um, which is good, which is good for people who may hate SFO as well, which there are a lot of people that just, like don't want to touch SFO at all, but it's a good thing that it exists. It's just really important not to gatekeep and to just allow people to play however they want. You know, you want to play on legendary difficulty campaign, easy battle difficulty? Great. As long as you have fun. Um, you know, you want to play with a thousand mods and make it look nothing like how it was originally? Awesome. You want to use cheat mods that make your faction overpowered? Awesome. You want to play on easy battle, easy campaign difficulty? Awesome. You want to play on legendary difficulty, very hard battle, and cheese the game like crazy. You know? Do whatever you want. And everybody benefits from there being more players. So that's why it's really important not to gatekeep. And everybody that goes around puffing their chest out and being like, Eh, you should play the game this way. Those people are bad for the community. They should shut the fuck up. Okay, I don't think Vlad's going to make his way over here. Now, he'll have Blood Drinker, so popping down Shem's Burning Gaze is going to be pretty much useless, but we can pop it down on these bats. Problem here is I don't have anything particularly good against Vlad. Even Gotrek will lose big time. Wholesome of Total War. Well, no, it's, it's not about being wholesome. It's about getting what I want. Like, I want the game to be supported, right? So, I, I'm not going to, like, force people to play my way. If Look, I would much rather for there to be 100,000 people concurrently playing Total War Warhammer 2 and none of them play the way I play than for the, the game to have 3,000 people playing it and everybody plays my way, you know? It's much better that there be a, uh, more players. Because that's how the game is supported. You know? I think people forget that a lot of the, a lot of time. Like, I think Creative Assembly forgets that as well. Because they tend to pigeonhole players into particular playstyles. They really shouldn't do that. Let the player decide how they want to play. You know? 
Because, you know, a lot, of, a lot of people, like, for example, with certain cheeses, they just won't do it. Like, a lot of people know about siege cheese, right? Like what I've done right here, but they just won't do it. Who cares? Just let them do it. Whatever. As long as it's fun for everyone. But aren't you gatekeeping the gatekeepers? Uh... No, I'm not really gatekeeping the gatekeepers. It's not gatekeeping to tell them to shut the fuck up. Like, whatever, whatever playstyle the gatekeepers want to play, I support that. But they should shut the fuck up about it. Was it one of the main reasons Total War Warhammer and Total War in general still alive? Yeah, yeah. So the modding community, even though I don't personally use mods, I would never advocate for mods to be removed from the game just because I don't personally like them. Like, for example, um, the fucking big titty, um, big titty, uh, Cathay mod. What's it called, dog? Big titty, <laughs> fucking, um, Miao Ying mod, model. Yuck. Just fucking yuck. But that's just my personal taste, right? I'm just not into weeb shit like that. But I would never advocate for that to be removed because for some people, they'll look at that and be like, wow, I really enjoy that. <laughs> All the more power to them. But for me personally, yuck. Keep that weeb shit away from me. But I don't want it to be removed from the game. As in the mod workshop. Because, you know, like I said, some people like it. Okay, looks like we need the dream team. Volkmar, the Grim, Gotrick, and Felix. To oh, never mind. Just inflicted the army losses then. Is he even taking damage? Oh god. <laughs> he's got the army losses. And he's crumbling. But he regenerates so quickly. Uh, Alright, let, let me see if I can pop this one down with one of these. That is so bloody strong. Uh, eventually he'll just run out of regen. All we gotta do is be patient. No sense in getting these guys killed over it. Albrecht or Fane Chantress is a total war. Probably wouldn't go so well. Oh, uh, I, I reckon you could handle it. You just had to have really low chivalry for a long time. That's all. Maybe we should do that as the next This Is Total War campaign. Bretonia. This Is Total War. I reckon I can handle it. Of course, I'd go full cheese. You'd expect that of me. Um, the thing is, the thing is, if we, if we did go This Is Total War with Bretonia, it'd be really difficult to do the Grail Vow cheese for a long time because we'd be so far under. That'd be interesting. Hmm, Bretonia, this is Total War. That could be interesting. I'll think about that. I'll think about it. Uh, Anthony Luck did a HK10 Super Chat. This can be one, I mean two reasons to buy Warmer 3. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, fair enough. Thanks, Super Chat. Handle it, sure, but will it be fun or just a slog? Look, all this is Total War campaigns are going to be a slog. They're always a slog. I don't know. I'll think about it. 
Alright, he just ran out of regen now, so... Just gotta wait for it to decay. Alright, let's see if... Okay, he's losing 10 hit points a second. If I move this out of the way... Yeah, it doesn't speed it up, so it's not technically magic damage that's being done to him. Or maybe the reduced... Yeah, I don't know. Just leave it. Uh, Luan would be the best for this total war because good starting units and he already gets attacks from all sides. Uh, no, disagree. Uh, Fey Enchantress would be best because of the casualty replenishment rate. You need to be able to replenish quickly. Also, out of the th the four different Bretonians, I probably enjoy the Fey Enchantress the most because at least it does provide replenishment. Like, plus 15% replenishment rate for them is really good. Longest army losses ever. Oh, no. You have not seen Luther Harkon with, um, with uh, army losses. <laughs> Losing one HP per second because of his magic resistance. Wouldn't you just win so many fights that chivalry should be fine? Eventually, yeah, eventually. But you would, um, you'd have to be fighting a lot of Bretonians right off the bat. And every time you declare war on a Bretonian, you lose 200 chivalry. So, that'd be a problem. You'd still be able to confederate them diplom uh, diplomatically. Actually, if I return to the elect account, it might remain at tier 3. Ah, nah, fuck it. Just go for it. Bye, Vlad. Good, senseless violence. Oh, well, I got the safe file preserved anyway. Okay, cool. So. With Vlad gone. I don't need that. I don't need that. Just gonna have him hover around. That way it's completely free. Um, with Vlad gone, what do we want to do? With this army. Yes, right, we want to bring him up this way to take out Lower Lawn Forest because they'll declare war on us randomly. Just, let's just get rid of them. Uh, happy to leave the rest of the Bretonians here. What's going on here? Who cares? Doesn't matter. Um, what's going on here? The laws of chivalry demand, I hear you. Hmm. Do you know who I am? Hail, Sigma We've Sun. hit maximum great power penalty, right? Or to cause trouble. I never know with Reichlanders. Well, I think we got time before they'll declare war on us. I think we got time. They might just randomly do it anyway. But we do have a trade now agreement with them, the which will buy us a little bit of time. Uh, but I think it's time to get rid of Lorelon Forest. Yeah. Show me the accused. Switch priest to Volkmar army from Balthazar just for memes. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll switch it up around because we also need to give um, Balthazar Gelt a steam tank doom stack, and then just send him to go fight Skaven because Skaven are pretty bad at dealing with that stuff. All right, we got a bit of money. Let's see what should we build. Massive or call? Oh, that's fine. Focus on money buildings. Paravon is fine for now. Yeah, let's get our um, capacity and recruit rank for wizards up. So, we need to recruit that noble here. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, I need shitloads of money, so let's just save it up another turn. What's this other slot going to be? Oh, that's right, this one here. Well, that only takes one turn. I'll just do that one now. Yeah, that's fine. And just save up the money for other things. Unless there's other income building. Oh, yeah, yeah, like over here. Some money would be good. How are we going for wood? Are we selling it all off? Okay, so we could get more wood. Nah, just, just get the basic building. Okay. Just leave the rest of that. So this guy comes over here, and he'll get rid of the corruption, because he's worth 24 untainted. 
Give him some public order followers. Cool. Yeah, we can tax this. Is there any factions you do not think can be able to do a total war with? I don't think there's any that I couldn't do a this is total war with, but there's definitely ones that'll be ridiculously tedious. Even Norska can technically do a this is a total war campaign. It'd just be ridiculously tedious. Like I wouldn't want to do it. Here to serve. Okay. So yeah, we've got Let's find out exactly how much fealty we need in order to start, well, to stop doing this this cheese here. Assuming that they declare war on us, these two here, that way it only requires two. We'll definitely want to confederate Toddy, so that'll be three. 20, 25, 26 fealty, um, Imperial Authority. There's also... Beck, uh, what's it called? Ostermark over here. What What's wrong with them? Why did they... Oh, because I made... I can give them a settlement by abandoning Essen and just, like, giving it back to them. Same thing with Karak Raziak. So there's two fealty right there. Can't give them Mordheim. That won't work. Speaking of which, Mordheim, there's a unique building there we should build. Um... So that'll get them to 7, then that'll get them to 8, and then just give them some other stuff. Tools of judgment okay. Oh, that's right. Oh, no, no, that's fine. Um, okay, alright, let's move on. You can select act account for Sterling. Oh, yeah, shit, I always forget about that. Just tell me right when I hit end turn. <laughs> Save one Imperial Authority for the buff? Yeah, yeah, you need to save one Imperial Authority for the buff, absolutely. Tomb King, this is Total War win. It seems like Tomb King's This is Total War would be best save for Warhammer 3. You know, Cetra. Cetra Thunderdome. What is the best way to get rid of Norsko's vampire counts? Uh, conquer them. <laughs> yep. Why have growth at Ostermark? Uh, that way when we take... Um, actually, you know what, that's a good point. I need to check what level uh, Beckhaven, Beckhaven is. Um, if it's at tier 5, we don't need the growth buildings. Friends of the Empire, come. I'm just trying to squeeze 100 gold out of me. Do you know what's not fair? The fact that the AI can ask for 100 gold, but the player can't. But yeah, that's a good point about growth at Ostermark. I'll have another look. Because they should be about tier 5 by now. Well, they'll definitely be tier 5 by the time I... Confederate them. Another thing that we could do with Wissenland is go to war with them and then just keep giving them back their settlements until their fealty gets back up to, um... Five. Oh, he didn't attack us. Okay, that's fine. When does the decision to establish trade spy guild show up? Is there a certain trigger? You need to have 12,000 prestige, then it will trigger. So we're really close to that. Yeah, demand mid and stag's return. Yep. Okay, that needs to go. This guy won't be able to do that on his own unless they're they're not with him. Praise be to Sigma. Cause yeah, that'll be back up to full strength. Um
Yeah, it's still tier 4, but it's pretty likely that... Yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out. Um... Thing, flesh yeah, we'll definitely need to deal with that straight away. But, you know, have Laurelon Forest first. Alright, so, yeah, okay, maybe maybe make um, Volkmar the Grim the Elector Count of Stirland. Which gives him untainted... Yeah, that's that's all fine. Cool. Sigma be praised. Lightning strike for him, good. Alright. Yeah, public order here should maintain. Knowledge is power. I'm just trying to think what to do. What do you require? What would you say the most unique campaigns of Wormer 2? Uh most unique. Throt the unclean on the va of of on the um, vortex campaigns, pretty unique. Same thing with snitch campaign. Anything that doesn't do the vortex campaign is usually pretty unique. I am a supreme patriarch. Yeah, we'll probably get the event for. Um, Having them killed soon. We need to blow up Mid and Stag again this turn. But notice how their fealty is coming back up. Low relations. But their relations should actually be improving because the hero actions has... Yeah, gone away. Just military actions now. Pretty calm on this front over here. The Empire. Onwards. Yeah, nothing's going on here, that's good. Could also be good to wait until Avalon gets to tier 5, it shouldn't take that much longer. If we have a look at other people, oh, Talabaklan did, did not do well there. This one got to tier 5. But yeah, we're probably... In order to confederate them, I would have to blow this up. And keep giving it back to them again, like friggin' ten times. <laughs> Demand is at about minus six. Yeah, they're gonna go to war with us. Eventually. I'll be able to use Imperial Authority to keep him at bay for a little bit. Nakai's pretty unique campaign. Yeah, that's true, but it's unique in a bad way. It is time. What? Ah, that's good. Okay, so what we do here, stand there, because he'll probably run away from us. The Empire. You summon me. Oh. Well, we won't be able to. Oh, okay. Wasn't expecting that. It's all right. Step to it. Last thing we want are those guys hanging around here. Okay, then he'll need to force march to here, which means we'll need to I block no Boris this turn. Report. And I'll need to fight the battle manually so that I can actually heal these guys. Oh shit, I didn't need to... Holy crap. I didn't need to um, send him over here. Oh, let's do it anyway because this will be an opportunity to heal. Just peace out when you're close to 12k with 
eight, you can get. Should be to, oh, okay, whatever. How to revive our wiped out factions, legendary lords? Um, I made a video on this a while ago. You should go check that out. I can't remember what it was called. How much for ranged only vampire counts campaign? Uh, I don't do bribes for campaigns, so it's just not gonna happen. Okay, just tell tell all the artillery to just leave. So yeah, I'm using this battle as an opportunity here to heal because we're not going to be able to heal otherwise. Possible to revive Thoric in late game? Can't manage to get a revolt at Karagzorn? Yes, Karagzorn is where Thoric Ironbrow comes back. He does come back from there. This is the worst map in the game. One of the worst maps. There's one in Lustria that's pretty common that I hate more than this one. It's really bad if you're on the attack and you get a missile based army. Really, really bad. Ocean map the worst. Yep, that's a good point. Yep. What about the landing? Just final transmutation then. Although I barely have any magic left. These guys here don't have any arcane conduits yet. Oh, damn it. If you have a lone lord near a rebellion army, can you lure it away to attack a minor city instead of a major city? No. A rebellion always targets the city from which it um, rebels against. It won't go attack a different settlement. Like, it'll go attack armies of yours, but then it will always go back to the city that it wants to attack. Who calls? Yeah. Toddy probably won't be able to make it down here. I see force marches. Ah, we'll see what happens. Alright, and what do you need? Yeah, yeah, so renowned scholar. That's really good. Hero action cost minus 20% for wizards. Research rate? Yeah, I'll take that. Cool. Get those reserves up. Yeah, once we get all these warrior priests level up then they'll be able to grow provinces that we conquer really quickly. Cleanse the Empire. Sp 
Sing battle hymns. The Empire. disciplined one would be better. Shield of faith. By the Thanks for the host yesterday, Leg. Surprised the crap out of me. No worries, dude. My pleasure. Okay. Alright, you come up this Show way. Alright, we got a whole bunch of money. We should have enough to build all of these. Let me just check. Alright, don't have enough for everything. Well, the only one I actually need to do... Okay. Okay, hang on. Um, get that arch selector that was noble. Yep, this one here. And then get that done in one turn. Get that done. And... Actually, do this one first. I'll get to that. That's going to be one turn with or without him. Protector of the weak. Okay, now, the Volkmar. Of what we want to do with him... Yeah, we wanted to go and take out Lorelorn Forest. Okay, and also fix up this army. Send me a champion. Alright, I want you I want to... Uh, be careful, because we could end up going to Making war with... Um, thingy soon. Sigma has shown us the path. Yep. Grand Theogenist. Alright, we need to start they getting followers up here to go and annoy Throt. Tools of judgment ready. So not followers, heroes. Tools of judgment ready. Seek out the heretics. If we can help out Ostermark to like just by constantly blocking their army so that Ostermark can deal with it. And Ostland, let me just check. They're not at war with it. Um, that would be good. That way I don't have to send armies out that way. We'll possibly get the event next turn as well. Is Administrator Trait only available in High Elves, Lords and Mages? Yeah, it's only a High Elf one. Show me the accused. Yeah, High Elves... Every single trait for the High Elves is all unique. They don't have any non-unique traits. And they're the only ones that get them. Alright. Cool. What do you require? All right, let's have a look at diplomacy and see what else is going on. Oh, has it been ten turns since we declared war on Zafbar? I don't think it has. <laughs> Look at that relation go up. Hmm. This is good. Karak Kedrin's actually going down here and attacking them. Good. Keep them off my back. Let me just see if I can get out of this war. Yeah, they got stronger. Hmm. Yeah, so Laurelon Forest first. Then we'll figure it out from there. Okay, moving on. Does Gotrick only don't add a supply line, or are units in his army not affected with him at all? No, no, no. Uh, Gotrick doesn't add to a supply line, but any units that are in his armies are still affected by supply lines that are currently existing. Yeah, so he just he just doesn't add to your supply lines. And he and Felix have no upkeep costs, so it's not a huge deal. You do take bribes for campaign though. We have to bribe you with viewership to keep this going. Right. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Do you think we'll be able to recruit high elf heroes playing as other races in Wormer 3 Mortal Empires? Uh it doesn't seem like it. Um I don't I don't know. Okay, 
might be able to, if you borrow their armies, get their hero to immortality, and then get them wounded. I think if you get them wounded, then they'll actually be yours permanently. It's a lot of effort, though. But in terms of hiring them for yourself, no. What if you lure a rebellion army into the zone of control of a minor city? I feel like the AI is hard code to attack in that scenario. I don't know. You'd, I've never tested it out, but I've never seen it happen. So maybe, but I've never seen it happen. You'd, you'd have to let me know. Alright, their armies are now too big for um, Balthazar Gelt to attack on his own. Carl Franz is back. <laughs> 17. This is, this is working. This is really working. Um, Horaja2266 did a CZK100 super chat. Hey, Legend, love your streams. As a Berstalin, so at Berstalin mentioned, Hochland is a German name for region. As someone living there, as it warms my hearts. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. All right, thanks. Thanks for the super chat, dude. Sorry, I, there's no way I pronounced that correctly. <laughs> but, Chosen yeah. Of Sigma. What? I'm sure a lot of the names in the Empire are ripped straight out of, um, uh, various counties in the Holy Roman Empire area. So... Like Marienburg, that is in Prussia. I know where that is. Yes, um, Games Workshop is not known for their originality. I am ready. Are you? Yes! Son of Sigma. Alright, it might be in our best interest to go into ambush stance here. Wait for them to come out. So. And we'll get them. Because, yeah, if I go attack that, I'm just. I'm not going to be able to win. It's too big. So, what we'll do is. We already got rid of the walls here. Just get. Try and get. Take them out one army at a time. So this army oh, here no, isn't... No, no. Let's get rid of Boris's army first. So, so block this one. What have you to say? And then I reckon... Ooh. He's bringing in the big guns now. Yeah. Get Boris to come down over here. Let us begin. Hang on. If I the stand Empire. here... 80% chance of ambushing him as he makes his way over here, which he might do in Force March. And yeah, you just keep an eye on them. Cool. Fun fact, Marienburg is pseudo-Netherlands in Warhammer. Yep. Cool. Someone plays EU4, lol. Also, Altdorf means old city or town, and there's loads of places in Germany named that. Yep. Um, actually, I know Marienburg from the Teutonic campaign in Medieval 2, not from EU4. Marienburg is your capital. Oh, well, I don't know. No, Konigsberg is your capital. Um, but Marienburg exists in Total War Medieval 2 uh, Teutonic campaign. Yes. Moving off. Yeah, this guy's just scouting around here. Alright, Volkmar is... Okay. Let's get him to Altdorf here. I didn't quite make it. Um, we need to put in... Some... Flagellants in order to complete his mission for... Hang on. Oh, who cares about that? Um, yeah, three of these... So we get rid of these three crossbows and the pop in for some flagellants. And that'll give Gotrick a chance to catch up because he's falling behind. So. All 
All right, that completes the Altdorf construction. Doesn't need anything else now. So on the way to down here to upgrade stuff, these noble guys will be useful. Stop by over here. And we should be able to build this in one turn now. Yep, cool. Too bad it doesn't reduce the construction cost. They just hit tier 5. Yeah, I don't want to sack the settlement because when I confederate them, I want it at tier 5. Nah, we're not going to do any of that. Just go money. 500 hours in Medieval 2. Didn't know that. Shows how much I played mini campaigns. It cool. doesn't matter how many um, hours you play in a game if you never play the particular campaign. Alright, so... We were sending some heroes up here to go and help Ostland and Ostermark conquer more territory. Because <laughs> why, why use my armies when I could just use this? Why did his fealty go down? Oh no, it was already at five. Right, right. Hmm. Alright, we got another one incoming. But uh, with only 10 units, I don't think it would actually defeat Grom Peak. Depends on what they've got. I, I still don't think they would be able to beat it. Okay, uh, anything else? Everything's pretty comfortable on the borders. Yeah, pretty comfy. The nation calls. But yeah, this... This Imperial Authority cheese, holy crap, that's so good. Really, really good. Oh, hang on, I haven't done it yet. I serve Sigma. <laughs> oh, that is so good. Basically just cost me a supply line. Well, actually, what when Gotrick comes over here, I can get rid of him. Just get Gotrick to do it. Oh, that's even better. That'll save me a bunch of money. Uh, Alessandro Salis did a two euro super chat. Have you ever considered doing a blind gameplay in IE3? Uh, typically speaking, uh, doing blind playthroughs are not good for the channel. Um, yeah, it's just not good. There's no upside to it for me. None whatsoever. Because it just, yeah, if I don't know what I'm doing, it, it people don't like that. People want to see what, when I know what I'm doing. So, the short answer to that is no. But thanks to the chat. The thing is, typically speaking with early access, you're given early access for like two or three weeks before you can record anything. So what am I supposed to do? Just not play it? Probably not going to do that. Why not send a dude to meet Marcus? Nah, nah, that would not help the situation. <laughs> uh, I guess I could. Seek out the heretics. Yes, I could. All right, fuck it, let's go. Is that where heretics lurk? Oh, I sent the regal, dude. Ah, I'll be fine. All right, we set up a trap for Boris. Hang on, I'm gonna tidy this up a little bit because it Follow looks messy. Sigmar's will. What brings you? I call there we go. That looks much tidier. Relics. Okay, and let's move on. What's a blind playthrough? Blind playthrough is where you play something for the first time and haven't had any practice or anything like that. So I've done blind playthroughs before and I've they've never been good for the channel. If you want to see an example of a blind playthrough, go watch my Rome 2, like the very first Rome 2 campaign I did. It was an absolute fucking mess. Um, cool, we got him. Yeah, it was just an absolute fucking mess. And it just it wasn't necessarily good for the channel. Blessings of Sigmar upon you. 
<laughs> I, can't, I can't help but laugh at this. Alright, I gotta get rid of these armies. Seek out the heretics. How the heretics. fucking dare you? I accuse. Didn't I have another one? Oh no no no, that was all I had. Old so Gotrick will head up this way to replace this guy Lord here. <laughs> oh god, it's so good! Look at the fealty of Middenland as well. You can't get the high prestige event when you have a different fealty event that turn. I know, I know. But we gotta keep doing this. We don't have to do it for that much longer. It, it'll eventually happen, so it's okay. Yes. Alright. Yeah, they're not reinforcing each other. No um, I don't think this is a very good order resolve army. I'm sure it'll give us a decisive victory. But considering what's coming, we should probably fight this manually. <laughs> Whatevs. Does Imperial Authority influence server function after all the factions have confederated? Nah, you just need to make sure you got positive Imperial Authority to get that bonus. Otherwise, you, um, you get negatives, which is not that big of a deal unless... Yeah, so basically, if you want to... After everyone's confederated or conquered, you either want to be on plus one Imperial Authority, which gives plus three growth, which is nothing, uh, but plus five tax rate, which is very good, or you actually want to have negative ten, so that um, there's no negatives. Because look at this one here, minus 10% tax rate, minus 4 public order, minus 5 leadership. That's really bad. Uh, a lot of disaster campaigns have been sent in before where they've confederated loads of elect accounts quite early. And they're at crumbling. And they can't get their imperial authority back up. You actually end up having to revive some elect accounts to, to, like, to get it going again. It is which is you know, detrimental. Well, if it isn't fucking Toddy. Alright, what are we going to do about this? Um... Uh, lightning Strike is pretty good. Yeah, we should work towards getting him Lightning Strike. Do not waste my potential. Alright, if I attack him in this direction, it might push him back to Middenheim. It's likely that he'll stand in fights. Yeah, he'll stand in fight because his army is strong. I am ready. Are you? You summon me. Yeah, he'll stand in fight. Uh, Lionheart UK. Did a five-year super chat. Hi, Legend. Any advice on how to get started with Skrulk? Struggle to gain momentum. Skrulk's initial start of his campaign is pure pain. Um, you just have to grin and bear it. My advice is hire Eshin units like Gutter Runners and Night Runners because if a Rite of Primeval Glory army does come at you, those units are pretty effective against them. Um, at least in the early stages of the campaign. Uh, Matthew Brooks did a $5 super chat. Hello, Jen. Enjoyed the stream. What's the prestige event you mentioned? Thanks. Uh, you'll see it soon. It'll happen soon. You'll see it. Thanks, Super Chat. Alright. Yeah, we need to fight this manually. Your channel is based on teaching the best way to play Total War games, so playing blind might not be a good idea. Yeah, it's just, like I said, I've played blind before. It hasn't been good for the channel. Um, I'm not incentivized to do it. Just because one or two people ask for it, it doesn't, I like, I don't enjoy it. Other people don't enjoy it. I get bad feedback from it. Well, I don't know why I do it. You know, what's the point in getting some early access if I don't spend that time learning what the fuck the game has to offer. Alright. For the twin tail comet. Let the woods awaken. Yeah, they're advancing on us. Oh, 
lot actually a lot of the units became hidden. A lot of the units became hidden. Except for this one here. It's fine. God, restrict camera can be so annoying sometimes. Would you hire war wagons? They dodged my Hellstorm rocket batteries. How dare they? Yeah, I can't keep taking on this fire indefinitely. I gotta pull back. He's done enough. So he's done his worth. But I'll just, uh, just take too much damage. Try to lure them back this way a bit. Keep their Hillstorm rocket batteries back here, because they're not doing much damage to girls. That's it. Fucking toddy. <laughs> they don't know which way to go. <laughs> the AI just doesn't know what to do. Having units at the back of their army can be really useful in making the AI just stumped in terms of decision making. They're just not advancing quickly. Giving us a great opportunity to smash them. So what I did there was just use a like a slowdown so the, my guys could catch him. Oh, actually, I don't think that's gonna do so well.
I didn't cast that. They must have casted that. Oh no! no. He can't do that much damage. Single entities don't do much damage to artillery. No, don't shoot at him. Anyway, there's the army losses. Alright, we'll try to get a bit of healing in. But we should be able to auto-resolve the next fight. No Have you played Warrior Priest in Vermintide 2? No, I haven't played Vermintide 2 in probably about a year. Uh, like, I like Vermintide too, I just haven't played it in a long time. Got, had other things to do. I think the Penumbral Pendulum looks the coolest. Uh, it is a cool looking spell, for sure. the guys who designed the Sintrum step on Lego every day. <laughs> That's not very nice, but... I honestly think they should just go to jail. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's obviously excessive. Um, yeah, that wasn't that wasn't uh, good design, was it? Yeah, that was pretty stupid. It is probably... I'd be very surprised if the guys that did the Cinch Realm didn't get a stern talking to from CA and like sit down and being like, okay guys, just want you guys to know <laughs> the Cinch Realm is probably one of the most criticized things about this game. And there's a lot that's being criticized about it. So yeah. Imagine, imagine being the guy at CA that designed the, the Realm of Cinch. <laughs> Go to like a, a uh, outing, and everyone's like, "Hey, yeah, this is my friend. This is my friend, um, Billy Bob. He designed the realm of Zinch. Ah, that realm sucks. <laughs> you wouldn't put that on your resume. It's like it's probably the most universally hated mechanic that Creative Assembly has ever made across any Total War game ever. Like." so universally hated. The first time I saw that, I was like, there is no way that this is for real. So universally hated. <laughs> Onwards. I am the Supreme Patriarch. Lady of the Azrae. Why are we taking... Oh, there's like swamp or something there. Yeah, there's a swamp. Uh, we should probably wipe him out. I don't have lightning strike. They will be judged. What other enemies do you have? Okay, it's just them. And they can't reach us, so it'll be fine. So... I am a... Alright, we need to fight this manually again, because if we auto-resolve it, it'll wipe out the garrison, which will disable us from being able to besiege the settlement. Because what we can do now is just basically keep Boris completely in jail, essentially, by just keeping the settlement under siege, until we're ready to confederate him. Seems like you'd have to be really out of touch to design something so many people dislike. Uh, look, there's two things about Realm of Cinch. Either the original design actually didn't didn't get put into the game, right? Like, may, may, it's quite possible that they designed the Realm of Cinch to be something completely different, and it, they just didn't have time to finish it. A lot of Total War Warhammer 3 seems like it was rushed out the door, right? Yeah. It, it, the, the more time that's passed... The more conversations I have with CA, the more it seems like Warhammer 3 was pushed out the door too early. 
Um, so that's one explanation. Or the other thing is that the people who were designing it had no idea about what works in a Total War game. Absolutely no idea. There's no other explanation because anybody could have looked at that mechanic and said, this is not right. This should not be in the game. Anybody. In fact, everybody did. Austin, when did a photo of Do you think Tomb Kings will have a harder time given the new star positions? I have no idea. It might be easier for them. Don't know. Thanks, Super Chat. Having lots of enemies or having lots of people around you doesn't necessarily make it a more difficult campaign. Let's go over here. Bomb them. Maybe don't shoot with this. It's not doing much. Yeah, Final Transmutation's pretty good against, um, War Wagons. Okay, let him go. Oh, we got the White Cloak of Ulrich. That's a good item. Uh, let's just take that. Okay. And now, since we didn't wipe out the garrison here, we can besiege it. By the comet. And essentially just preserve the faction so that nobody else can take it, because they are at war with these ones. Um, we're not going to confederate him. Yeah, if we confederate him while we besiege him, our lord will die. Well, all of our characters... Well, not die, but he'll get... All of the army will get wiped out. So we need to lift the siege when Volkmar shows up. Alright, so looking at Volkmar, the Jade Griffin, using a hero... Oh, fuck. <laughs> Musalon. Okay. Against what? Settlement. Okay. <laughs> I just wiped out the vampires. Oh, you did that. Okay. Staff of Volans. Nah, Beast Slayer. Nah. Okay. So, yeah, we just keep that under control there. Why doesn't he just take the city? Okay, cool. Alright, alright, alright. So, what do we need to do now? Volkmar needs to come up over here. He doesn't need to keep these. Yes, son of Sigmar. Volkmar the Grim. All right, we send Gotrick over here to replace this guy. 
and what? send Volkmar the Empire. by Force March this is up to here. Moving out. Yep. So, Sigma heals us. Okay, now this guy here, this guy will move up to this position and we'll use him as bait to try to draw out this one. So kill off their army and then take Laurelon Forest, as I've usually done. I'll need to assassinate all these heroes here because they'll um, cause us problems otherwise. Should I move you back around this way? Yeah, you come over here. I got a lot of assassinations to do. Seek out the heretics. Tools of judgment ready. So come on over here to help out um, Ostermark so they can uh, occupy all these settlements. So that when we confederate them, it'll be good. Do they like us? By Sigma's will. Uh, barely. What's the problem? Just great power penalty. Alright, Telebacklin, do you want to trade? Only Empire cool. blessings, yes. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Um, Averland is ready to confederate, but while we keep doing this, we're not going to get that offer. This'll... Mm. This event won't happen until I'm done with this. Because, yeah, we'll never confederate Hockland now. That's just never going to happen. It can't go... I don't think it can go into negative... Ready to serve. Yeah. So we need to do it at least three more times in order to get their fealty back up to um Hang on. What do you require? The Empire. Back up to ten. There is power within prayer. Yes, son of Sigma. What do you require? Die! The nation calls. Hammer of Sigma. Cool, thanks Let for the free experience, bitch! We're at war with them, so they can get fucked. Consider yourself lucky that Is it good to let Gotra and Felix get wounded to get their traits if you have them forever? Um, it doesn't really matter. So that guy's there for a reason, keeping this under control. Uh, then upgrade... Let's upgrade Templehof, because there's another money-making building there. Yeah, just focus on cash. Need to increase my cash. I know we got plenty, but we need more. Always need more. So focus on the money-making buildings first, and then we'll see. That's not urgent. Doesn't need to be done right away. We're pretty, we're pretty good for corruption at the moment. Uh, alright, 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 so... Yeah, let's try to get this developed as quickly as possible. So that's about to finish. Still got some money left over, it might be a good idea to ambassador to the Phoenix King, considering we're probably going to meet them really soon. And it would be good if they don't hate us straight away. Alright, cool. I think we can get some more Battle Priests now. Yeah, look at that, rank 14, that's what we want to see. Good, good, good. Well, we'll worry about that later. I'm not going to recruit them right now. Yeah, we don't want siege equipment there. That's fine. And move on. Why so many warrior priests with girls? Uh, it's just... I don't know. They were just in the area when I was recruiting an army. You said previously that the Staff of Volans is one of the hardest quest battles. What makes it so hard? Uh, the, st the start position in the battle, you get completely fucked by it. You get completely surrounded. 
So a lot of people will have missile-based armies such as Hellstorm rocket batteries, you know, those, those, oh god, that's not good. Yeah, they'll just have those kind of armies and that kind of battle is really bad with that kind of army. Um, really, any quest battle in the game is easy if you know the trick to it. It's just one of those those battles where the player gets fucked up by just positioning. But if you know what you're doing, it's not that difficult. What? Averland just declared war on Karaza Karak. You always have to side with the defender. Okay. Oh my god, we're gonna lose the battle. <laughs> no, no, we're not. Okay. Emergency time. Emergency time. Red alert! Red alert! Shit! Okay. Greetings from Sigma. We have to confederate Averland now. <laughs> we have to confederate Averland now. We, we have an emergency. So what we have to do this turn is not blow up that settlement this turn coming. Because I need, I need, we can confederate him straight away. It doesn't matter if we're at war with him, but it's got to happen now. Yeah, we don't... Yeah, yeah, do that. Because we've got the field here. It's at 10. But... They were just like... Oh, I just destroyed the walls here, too. Um... Hang on. Good thing I've got heroes in the area. Shit. Ready. I will not obey. Who calls? I can only block one of them now. Which one? Marius Leto of Sami is pretty easy. We've got I think we've got Regiment of Renown ready to go. Yeah, so th for this turn, awaiting orders. Just don't hand that back. Like, don't blow it up this turn. Just, just leave it. Send me a champion. Born to die. Uh, Jason Robertson, did I two dollar super chat? What's your top three factions in Legendary Lord? Ikit Claw. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't have that information off the top of my head. But thanks for the super chat. Ika Claw's my favorite. Then maybe Tyrion, then... I don't know. Throt? Yeah, probably Throt. Okay, so let's see here. Even if I block this, he'll probably still be able to hit Schwarzhafen. Whereas if I block that army there, he shouldn't be able to hit Vertbad. Yeah, like that completely depleted his movement. But we have to raise an army here immediately. I refuse. Absolutely not. Seek out the heretics. March on the witches. I'll ignore that. Thing is, if he captured a settlement, I just get it back pretty much straight away. Oh, it's only a tier two settlement there. Carl Franz, got to smash that fucking mad elector count. All right, what do we got? Okay, we should only hire enough stuff that he still actually makes the attack. All right, let's see what's he got. So, in the sky, we should be able to beat his ass. A lot of guns. 
Claw wagons. Okay, we've got six units Someone in here, which are us. shit. I refuse. What do we got? Uh, Knights of Moor actually could be quite Not useful. Uh, no, they'll never catch the Outriders or the Pistoliers. They'll actually be useless. That'd be good. That'd fuck them big time. All right, grab the Black Lions. Yep, grab them. Silver bullets, probably don't need that. But I'll get them. Alright, that then gives us 11 troops versus his Absolutely 11. Not. Yes. I will not obey. Uh, Nelson Brigford did a two pound super chat. You're eating fries. What sauce are you going for? Nah, too controversial, dude. Thanks, super chat. <laughs> sorry, it's not relevant to the game. I'm not going to answer it. Sorry. Protector of the weak. I trust no man. Tools of judgment ready. Die. Show me the accused. All right, there was another they one around here judged. somewhere. I didn't, I didn't see it. No peace, just war. I trust no man. Yeah, truck question. Anything I answer, somebody would be like, What? How can you possibly choose that? It's definitely this. Nah, not interested. Don't ask those kind of questions, please. The instrument of Sigma. You can... Uh, okay, we, we just had a little bit of a stream fart there. Someone gives you money, you just ignore. Rude. No, sorry, look, you're act look, Nelson Brigford, you actually uh, broke the rules of the chat. Like, it actually says, it's, look, you can say I was rude, but if you have a look at the rules, okay, Super Chats, please stay on topic and do not ask anything too personal, okay? Asking what I put on my fries, that's a personal question. I don't have to answer that. It says that in the rules, that's your fault for asking that question and me not answering it. It's not mine, okay? That's in the fucking rules. All right? Yes. Just because you give a super chat does not mean I have to answer it, especially if it's not on topic, okay? And if you don't, uh, if you don't like that, you have a, an option. Just don't super chat then. Fine by me. Dude, lighten up is not a personal question. No, nah, I'm not answering it. Sorry. <laughs> imagine getting, imagine getting your your underpants in a friggin' knot over something like that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna answer that. Sorry. No, nah, it because here's the thing. If I answer that, then we'll get a whole bunch of super chats. It'll be more dumb questions. So if you want to ask that kind of crap, that's fine. But I'm not going to encourage that kind of behavior. I don't want those super chats. Don't do them. Okay? Because otherwise, we'll just get nothing but dumb super chats. Okay? You know, there's a reason why those rules are put in place. It's because we've been doing streaming for a while, and every time somebody does a dumb question and I answer it, then it's followed up by another 10 fucking dumb questions. The only way to stop it is to not answer the initial question. It's the only way. Okay? So, not my fault if you didn't read the fucking rules. Not my fault. It's in the description there for you. <laughs> yeah, because we want to try to encourage him to make the attack on um, Schwarzhafen because otherwise he might go for Fort Obster. I can't recruit another army there. There's... Yeah. You come up this way. 
heretics lurk. So we're not blowing this up this turn, because if we do, then we won't get the Confederation offer, and I need this now, because i, I got to get out of this war. Hail to your emperor, manlings. Yeah, i got to get out of this fucking war right now. We can just resume this afterwards. Alright, you, Volkmar, come I up here. Am Volkmar. And Champion next turn we declare war on them and try to get them out. out the uh, we need to clear out every single hero from the area, because anybody could um, pull us out Judgment of ambush stance. So, gotta get rid of all of them. Shouldn't you spend some prestige to avoid that event? That wasn't an event, dude. That wasn't an event. They just straight up declared war on Karaza Karak. There was nothing I could do to prevent that apart from cancel my alliance, in hindsight. Yeah. Look, just to reiterate one more time, I totally get it why it would seem like it was silly to not answer a question like that. I've been doing this for a really long time. Answering those questions, 100% of the time, backfires. Even though they seem silly. So I absolutely refuse to do it. Uh, grandfather, Grand, sorry, Gandalf Gaving did a 5 pence budget. Hey, I'm new here and also to Total War. What is your favorite Total War out of the three? Well, three. Um, are you looking forward to the update coming for August, Warhammer 3? I, I think you mean which is my favorite of the Total War Warhammers. My favorite one is Warhammer 2. Warhammer 3 isn't quite there yet. Um, am I looking forward to the update coming August? Sure, but I'm not going to hold my breath over it. But thanks to be chat. Uh, Frapper Max did a 5 year super chat. Hey, Legend, what is the most challenging legendary campaign, not including Horde Armies, please? Uh, well, the most challenging campaign is going to be whatever you're bad at. But I would have to say it's probably Norska. Thanks, Super Chat. Uh, Romain Brucker did a five euro Super Chat. Fair enough, you're eating fries on the top of your head. What legendary lord would you choose for new campaign after this one? Um, I don't know what I'm choosing next. I don't I don't think about that in advance, but thanks, Super Chat. Um, Bal Balda did a five dollar Super Chat. Morning from Snow, Mexico. This campaign might be the strongest I've seen you do. Jolly good show. That IA cheese is 11 out of 10. Alright, thanks, I appreciate that. Uh, Gary Coakley did a 25 dollar Super Chat. Hey, Legend of War, I don't support often enough, so here's some money. Would you mind a quick explanation of how your hero success chance is currently so high? Yep, sure, that's a good question, actually. Thanks, Super Chat. So, what are you going to do? Recruit an Arch Lector. Just recruit a new one. Make sure it's at least rank... Ooh. At least rank 2. So you recruit an Arch Lector. Blessed Holy War. Hero action success chance plus 10% for Warrior Priests and Witch Hunters. So you get enough of those and you have a 100% success chance. That's how. Thanks for the chat, dude. Appreciate it. See, I'm more than happy to answer gameplay related questions. Yes. Yeah, I don't have any one else over here. We probably will need to recruit a lord here as well. But it's just not going to be as urgent. Huntsman General, we are born to hunt. It shouldn't come under attack. I am Prince and Emperor. Alright, so hopefully he launches the attack there that I didn't put too much in here. I think he will. Because, yeah, I'm fairly I'm sure I can beat him. Not. Fairly sure. Because, yeah, these Outriders will just get wrecked by the Black Wolves, or whatever it's called. Will. You declared war on Zafbar turn 46 yesterday? I believe you, yep. Hail to your emperor, manlings. Yeah, because it was like turn 53 when we started anyway. Yeah, just leave them without any treaties. Um, hopefully Karaza Karak comes up here and here and deals with this. I can't justify sending any forces over there. Chief Doomclaw. Behold my mighty bulk! No, no, you encounter Sorry, I meant to offer payments. No. 
really surprised at how strong they are. See, if I come over here and block them, it's not going to do anything. I guess I could assassinate them. But I need to be ready to block them for when they jump around over here. May need another one, actually. The nation calls. Because, yeah, I kind of feel like they're going to succeed. But that gives me the opportunity to take Mount Gunbat, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see how we go. Have I appointed all the electors? Uh, yeah. Everything that I can so far. That's right, I switched it. Alright, uh, well, let's see how we go. It's only a matter of time before we'll get that confederation. We just need this to be done with, um... Avalanche. That was complete horseshit what happened there. The Empire. I trust no man. Let us forge our faith. Okay, they got Karaza Karak back. Mr. Person Man became a member for two months. Hey Legend, quick question. What's your preferred Doomstack army setup for the Empire if you have one? I don't have a preferred army setup. Thanks for Super Chat though, appreciate it. Ah, uh, for the membership, I mean. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I just build whatever I need for the situation. And don't worry too much about Doomstacking as the Empire. When did streaming really kick off you as a career? I've only been watching shortly before WM3, never watched streams before yours. Uh, it really kicked off late 2018, early 2019. That's when it really kicked off. Um, so it's been going well for quite a while. Prior to that, it was just kind of a joke. <laughs> It is good to see our allies. Nah. Yeah, I thought there was another hero around there. Seleucid so did a five-dollar super chat. What is the best vampire bloodline lord, and why is it Lamia? Uh, Lamia is actually, in my opinion, the best one. Um, loads of physical resistance. Oh, that actually costs us um, some of this. Yeah, Lamia is the best one. Uh... It actually costs us Imperial Authority in this one. Probably because we actually put them down to zero. Um... I definitely want to go to war with them eventually, just not right now. Because I'm using them for this. It's just, now's not the right time. Hey, we got our first student. Nice. So. Mm, I think we'll be alright. Remember the agent action against Vampire Count Muslim? Yeah. By the comet, those gates will open. Okay, that'll just get rejected straight away because Kislev is dead. God 
track, Okay, we can't blow that up until we've confederated Averland. Huntsman General! What? Speak! The nation calls! Bring me to my men! Good, this is still under siege here. I think we'll need to send Carl friends over to um to go and capture Mount Gunbad. Which is good, it means gold there. But yeah, he'll need to pick up a lot of force. That's okay. Sometimes emergencies happen. Alright, we need to lift this siege. What's the optimal use for prestige? Depending on whatever you need. You know, that's Yeah, you just use it for what you need. There is no optimal use for it. How will we farm Isabella's trait if she becomes a legendary hero? The answer is you won't be able to. My head cannon is that he puts barbecue sauce on his fries and it makes me angry. Yeah, look. I wish people would understand why we can't answer these kind of questions. I, I got... I would have no problem answering it. It's a nothing question, okay? But the problem is, is that when people do this and do like a $2 super chat for a, a nothing question like that, right? What ends up happening is, for one thing, chat gets unruly. It doesn't matter what the question is, chat gets unruly, right? So people start behaving badly, and then we start getting more questions for like $1 super chats that are stupid. I don't want those super chats, so the only way to stop it is to not answer it. It's the only way to not encourage that kind of question. And I get that people would be like, it wouldn't make sense. But the reason that it has to happen is because you guys in the past always go off the rails. Every single time, whenever something stupid gets asked. So it, they cannot be answered at any question, any time. This is why we don't do renames as well. Because if somebody does a one dollar super chat and says, "Could you please rename a unit?" and then I'll get ten more fucking one dollar super chats for rename units. I, I don't want them. Keep your money. I don't want it. It's the same thing with silly personal questions that are trivial like that. Like I don't have any problem answering that, right? But just keep your money and don't ask that shit. Just send me a Discord message. You know. Alright, let's concentrate on the battle here now. We are Sigma's heirs! At speed! To battle! Moving now! Go! Moving faster! Take so since it's gonna be kinda of difficult for us to get rid of the outriders, what I'm trying to do here is get them to chase after me. Take the ground! Just a little bit. Because I can regenerate. Got plenty of missile resistance as well. But if we didn't do this, they would have just kept their outriders close to their forces. What I want to do here, obviously, is get the um, the Black Lions to uh, to shoot their units. We need to do that as early as possible. See how they're splitting their forces up? The army is only as fast as their slowest unit. And now they're getting wrecked by the unit that we recruited specifically to take them out. So now we've lured their outriders over here. Take them out nice and early. And because of that, they've basically just lost the battle. Also, did you notice how they like clumped up their units? They can't fire properly, it's because they were chasing after us in attack mode. 
Okay, Carl Franz's job is to go duel Marius. Just wait for him to land on some infantry. Bad move, Marius. You're about to get fucking wrecked. And then we close him off. And he's not escaping. This is why it's so important to not over-recruit when these sort of situations show up. Give the AI just enough hope that they can think that they can beat you so they don't run away. See, I've seen a lot on like the Reddit where people complain, oh, the AI just avoids my armies. They just keep running away and I keep chasing after them for like 20 turns. Make your armies weak enough that they think that they can attack you. You know, there's power in weakness. Alright, we still gotta go finish off his army. Uh, Balda became a new member. Alright, thanks dude, appreciate the super chat. Does the ESO limit the amount of of steam tanks you can have to eight? Yes, oh, do you mean SFO? <laughs> Elder Scrolls Online? Yeah, I don't think Elder Scrolls, on, on, on Elder Scrolls Online does anything about steam tanks. <laughs> Mount Su approves. <laughs> Mount Su. Nice. There's power and weakness. Yeah. I missed the super chat, did I? Oh, sorry. Um, thanks for the membership, dude. Sorry. If you do a super chat or a membership during battle, I'm not really focusing on it that much. So you want to be doing that kind of stuff when we're on campaign. But yeah, thanks for the um, membership. Remember that video you did with the thumbnail of Emperor Palpatine? I'm too weak. Yeah, we did it the other day with the um, the, the Tomb Kings. Remember how I disbanded like half of the dude's army? And just left the Tomb Scorpions? And uh, we actually managed to win that battle. The other situation was unwinnable. I had a look at it. It was just fucking impossible. Never would have won against it. Uh, take money. Raid Zavastra. God, they asked for some shit uh, thing for the Jade Griffin. Holy crap. I command here. It's not too difficult. I just gotta increase my supply lines to send someone over there. It's such a stupid men. quest. Uh, Yanni did a became a member for 13 months. That's weird. I'm pretty sure that I'm a member for close to a year, but it says one month. It says one month for you, but it says 13 months for me. It does keep track of it. Thanks for the membership, dude. I appreciate you. I always forget to call you Yanni. I always say Jan Jay. But yeah, thanks, dude. It's just a display error. It's all good. Um, What are we doing next? He's nearly maxed out. I don't really care that much about Deadly Onslaught. Hunt them out. They will be judged. Who calls? March on the witches. Okay. Yes. I will listen, but my time is short. He's the attacker in this situation. Getting a peace treaty with him would be fine. But we may mainly need to peace him out quickly. Um. Who calls? Yeah, look, I'll accept Surely this. I'm not interested in wiping him out. Reached, or are we not all Affirmative. Yeah, we don't lose relationship, uh, reliability, if we're not the attacker. Good. 
That means this one here can be disbanded. Cool. Crisis averted. Now Carl Franz makes his way over to uh, Kragmere. He needs to recruit troops to deal with um, Clan Rector's Nest. Inquisitor Chase became a member for six months. I wonder how long I've been a member. Six months, dude. Thanks for Super Chat. Sly became a member for 26 months. Ever think of doing a tier list regiment of an hour? Keep up the great work. Enjoy working while you work from home. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate it. I was actually working on a Regiment of Renown tier list a couple of weeks ago, and I had to scrap the project because it was so fucking monumental in scale that it, it just took me way too fucking long uh, to build the tier list. I was working on it for hours. I just had to scrap the project. It was too big. Um, because there's something like 150 Regiment of Renown in Warhammer 2, and... There was just all kinds of problems with it. So if I'm going to do something like that, I'm going to have to break it up into like... I don't. I just don't know how I'm going to go about it. It's... Yeah, that's... But I was working on something like that. I, but yeah, I, I had to scrap it. It was just too, way too fucking big. Thanks for the chat though. Uh, membership. Appreciate it. I serve Sigma. Yeah, it, the video would have been something like two or three hours... Um, it's too long. So, sending this guy to Zavastra to go and do that. Tools of judgment ready. Good and evil races. Even then, it's still going to take too long. I'm going to have to break it up into at least four different categories. But I'll think about that. And we'll see. I trust no man. Ready, die. Critical success, nice. Seek out the heretics. Yes, blessed is this action. It is good to see fellow sons of the Empire. I am Prince and Emperor. Fight! If you're going to fight. Okay, since... Uh, yeah, we still need to get this confederation now rather than later because otherwise Karaza Karak is going to make their way over here and start conquering them. By Sigma's will, come in peace. So... Yes. Gotrick and Felix will be able to take out a garrison pretty easily. Uh, Mike uh, Bellinger did a $2.79 super chat. How about top 10 good worst regiments? I'll think about all that later. Thanks for the super chat. I'm not worrying about that today. Moving out. Show me the accused. Okay. Long have my people hunted yours for sport. Do you? Okay. So what we want to do here is set up a trap. Hunting. Fury. Back off there. They'll recruit a new lord, but that's it's okay. What's this? No, that's got to go. That has got to go. Because it'll pull us out of ambush dance. Follow me. Okay. Yeah, we just got to lure that down over here to attack us. Chosen of Sigma. Let's get rid of the on Forest while we're waiting. Do you usually do your tier list in one take, or do you do some editing? Uh, usually in one take. Alright, so at Kragmere here, what can we globally recruit quickly? Ugh, nothing. Summon the Elector Counts. Alright, maybe don't even bother about recruiting this time. Right Just get your ass over to uh, Grom Peak and we'll figure it out from there. Okay. If we can block the smaller army so that just t uh, Chief Doomclaw comes over here by himself, that could be good. Are soft. 
But yeah, we don't want this one here in Force March. Oh wait, do we want Force March? Yeah, put him on Force March. They're more likely to attack us. Uh, Gareth Jenkins said, if I don't appreciate, how's Authority Farm working? Do you think turn 100 unification will be possible? At this current rate, it does look like it. The, the Imperial Authority Farm is working out really nicely. Really, really nicely. Um, the Avaland uh, situation was a bit of a hiccup, but uh, I think we can solve it pretty now. quick. Thanks, Super Chat. Appreciate it. The nation calls. So hopefully next turn, the Confederation with Avaland will be offered. I'll also accept Confederation with uh, Sterland. The only only faction that we need to keep active at the moment is Hockland. We can confederate everyone else. Uh, except for um, Midland. We need both of them. All right, let's see what to construct. Okay, at Karag Dramar, we should build walls. Same thing over here, because the greenskins might jump over here soon. Shouldn't even need that. Just leave it empty. Shouldn't need to build walls here. Let's go with growth. Yeah, that was definitely a big surprise, but we're okay. Right, let's see if we can get out of some of these walls. Not that one. You called? Not since the coming of... Uh, Grandalf Gaming did a £5 super chat. As someone who is playing Warhammer 3 as their first game, would you recommend I switch to Warhammer 2 or should I wait for the update in August, in your honest opinion? You should definitely switch to Warhammer 2. Yeah, you're wasting your time playing Warhammer 3 right now. Um, Warhammer 2's gameplay is far superior to Warhammer 3. Realm of Chaos. Far superior. Um, honestly, if you've been playing Warhammer 3 and you're enjoying it, you're in for a treat if you pl if you play Warhammer 2. Problem is though, uh, like you can get the Vortex campaign. Like the Vortex campaign is better than Warhammer 3's Realm of Chaos campaign, right? But if you've already got Warhammer 3 and it's your only Total War game, right? And you go and get Warhammer 1 and Warhammer 2, get the Mortal Empires campaign for Warhammer 2 for the, you know, month or two or whatever until Immortal Empires because if you get that then you get Immortal Empires for Warhammer 3 so you, you gotta get it eventually because yeah Realm of Chaos is complete and utter trash it's probably gonna be abandoned where um, it's complete garbage um, but if you're enjoying Warhammer 3 you're in for a treat with Warhammer 2 uh, Will did a 5 super chat what is the best Chaos Dwarf Doom stack? <laughs> okay thanks super chat dude appreciate it alright just save up the rest of this money Yeah, um, if you go to Instant Gaming, you might be able to find it cheap to get Warhammer 1 or 2. It's, it depends on stock. Uh, or there's various other ones if you don't want to go to Instant Gaming. Um, don't pay full price for, you know, old games. There's there's deals all over the place, so yeah, don't, pl don't pay like 80 bucks for it. But yeah, I would not... Yeah. Warhammer 3 is... Realm of... I should say, Realm of Chaos is just garbage. It's just complete garbage. I'm confident that Warhammer 3 will eventually be good. But I'm not confident that the Realm of Chaos will ever be fixed. Not confident about that. 
You just miss your Steam sale. Then go to third party websites. There's, there's, let me just go and have a quick look for you. I'll just see if I can find anything. If you just look, you can find deals, especially with old games like this. I'll just see what's available. You know, just while the end turns going on. Okay. Uh, let's have a look. What's there? Alright, well, there's... This is what's available for me at the moment on Instant Gaming. Um, this is based on my region, which is Australia. These are the DLC that are available. But the, the base game is not on sale at the moment. They, they, they must just be out of stock. So you'll have to, if you want the actual games, you'll have to go elsewhere. <laughs> you got fucked! <laughs> Mission, great success. Nice. Okay, here's the event. The, uh, the spy guild. Okay, the one that you want is the trade guild. It provides campaign movement range, income from trade, additional tradable resources. But the main thing that you want there is the campaign movement range. You will only ever get this opportunity once, so you gotta choose wisely. Imperial Authority plus four, I think, is the most short-sighted. Oh, do nothing is the worst one. Uh, spy guild is definitely good. But I think established trade guild is what we want. So that event will only happen once. Okay. Just keep that under siege. DLC that cheap? Instant gaming is like ridiculously cheap. Ridiculously cheap. Um, I believe what they do is they buy their DLC, uh, buy their keys in bulk somewhere and then you know when the steam sale is over then they post it on their website which you know makes a lot of sense total war Warhammer one is 60 dollars on steam in the us right now what the fuck yeah no that is no don't don't do not purchase warhammer one for 60 dollars absolutely not okay it's essentially a dlc for warhammer two and three um Find find a better deal. Ever vigilant. Uh, hang on. I'll see Let if the instrument of Sigmar's Balthazar. Will. Yeah, no. Uh, who needs the experience more? Ah, uh, yeah, Balthazar Gale. Let's see if you can just do it by yourself. By the comet. No, I'll have to send in another army. Ravenous Moose did a ten dollar super chat. Is there a time in the late campaign when upgrading econ building isn't worth it? For some races, the return investment can be fifty plus turns, or do you value the incremental gold per turn? Well, if something is like fifty turns return on investment, then yeah, don't bother with that. But um, it's never too late to build up more economy. Ah uh, shit! Thanks super chat, dude. Appreciate it. Okay, I need to block this army. Report. True servant of Sigma. I will go. Ready. Moving out. No peace. Oh no. Oh, it's probably because they're just damaged. Oh, what a Volkmar was. I don't, I don't want to fight this manually. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, let me try Volkmar's army first. Sometimes the order that they go in makes a big difference. Take him out of the army. Pick up the pace. 
Oh wow, that actually improved our auto resolve chances. I don't want to fight this battle manually. <laughs> Here to serve. What do you require? So? I'll scout the area for the air. Damn it, this fucking guy here. If it wasn't the disciplined one, I might accept it. Hammer. Okay, what if I transferred you no, into a different army? Sigma lightens my steps. Okay, nobody gets wiped out there. There we go. There we go. <laughs> There's always a way. Fuck fighting wood elves manually. There we go. Cool. Yeah, we don't want this guy coming down here and disrupting this. Now. Cool. Ooh, we get Laurelon Forest thing here. Diplomatic relations with Wood Elves. I forgot about that. Plus 15 probably isn't going to help much. Um, yeah, I got trade agreements. I'll repair that. Cool. Forgot about that. Uh, Grandalf Gaming did a £20 super chat. Laugh my ass off. I found a copy for £9.70 in the UK on Instant Gaming. Thanks for the shout. And yes, I was enjoying Warhammer 3, but got stagnant after finishing it twice. and feels clunky. Thanks again. Excited now. What race would you recommend? All right. Thanks, dude. Thanks, super chat. If you're playing Warhammer 2, my... Go to race t for the first r time would be download Nagarith. It's FLC. Play Alithanar as your f as your first campaign for uh, Warhammer Two. Okay, on yeah, Alithanar. His me his mechanics are really good. It's a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, glad that you managed to get it relatively cheap. I'll take the twenty pounds of commission. I don't get commission from Instant Gaming. They pay me a retainer, so I, I wouldn't have gotten any money on that. It doesn't matter. I don't care. I just want you guys to get a good deal. Um, uh, yeah, I'd recommend Alithanar. It's FLC. Really good um, yes. FLC. Or you could download Rapunzel's campaign. Rapunzel's campaign is really good. Cool. Also FLC, so it's free. Okay, the now... What? Yeah, you can stay here. Get some replenishment. Awaiting and now we don't need... Arch -lector. Uh, you come in there. Shield of faith. Mm -hmm. Take him back out. Oh, that won't work. For Sigma. And now you can go. Thank you very much. Sigmarite Arch Lector. Do you have a talisman? Yep. Do you have a talisman? Volkmar the Grim. Cool. Very well. I will okay, let's do use this. some finagling. All right. <laughs> well, <laughs> more more. This. I don't know if it's a good idea to do that. Um, no, just leave them with Volkmar because we need siege attackers. And keep that one. No, the life wizard should go with them. My that looks better. That looks better. Yeah. Okay, that looks better. 
Alright, let's have a look here. So, he's already got his lightning strike. That's good. Grand Hammer of Sigma. Cool. Alright. Grab that. And that. And that. Good. Good, good, good. Blessings of Sigma upon you. Is your last live stream with Tehenwin still viable? And would your what would your advice be playing in now? Um, I guess it's still viable. I'm not sure. I don't know. It, was, it must have been a while ago. I don't think the game's changed much since then. Uh, Dum Dum did a five dollar super chat. Um, how do you know when to stop building trade resource building? Like, how do you know when your trade partners don't need a resource anymore? All right, thanks, Super Chat. If you just have a look over here, do you see how it says exporting 100%? That means we're not selling all of our goods. So, sorry, that means we're selling all of our goods. When it's under 100%, okay, that means some of your goods aren't being sold. So, making more of them isn't necessarily going to provide you with any more money. Um, in this current case here, I'm selling everything. But yeah, if it's like 95%, building more of a resource won't provide you any benefit unless it's extra base income or providing some other benefit. So just check that stuff out in the trade section. Look at the growth here as well. Oh, not as high as I thought it would be. Sigma, grant me strength. Oof, there's not much replenishment. Grand Theogenist. Okay, that helped. Cool. And... Yep. Alright, so hopefully over the next turn, we'll get the confederation with Averland. Hopefully. So... Have I heard of a date for IE? Yep, apparently it's sometime in August. Okay, get back to uh, Grom Peak. And we want to block this one. Actually, no, just assassinate the heroes. Critical success, nice. Yep, just to stay there. Don't need to recruit in an emergency situation that yet, but just um, bring them over here. Of course, if the dwarves go and uh, stop them, great. But I need to be prepared for the them failing. Show me the accused. Yeah, we, we've got to confederate Averland before we uh, do anything else. Okay, over here. We don't want any of these armies marching down on Kislev. Oh, and um, Ostermark, I mean. What have you to say? So block where we need to just make sure that the nation our guys are going to be okay a silver hammer yes my order agrees all right cool let's have a look what else we can do good drakenhof is ready to be upgraded let's see if there's any noble there's regal there that's good Think about that. Okay, grab. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to put two here, but that'll um, shave off a couple of turns off that. Cool, and then just get rid of him. Avalind is at nine fields. Oh, fuck. You're right. Why did... Oh, our relationship dropped. Only Sigmar's god Ulrich can judge it worthy or no. Sigmar's will. I gotta get that relationship back up. How's, how's influence coming in? Need that to reset. Approach us, friend, and make your on it. 
Alright, well then I'll need to blow this up again. And just wait for that to get to 10. It shouldn't be too long. Shouldn't be too long. Um... But yeah, do this again. Um, Hockland should immediately just come over here and ruin dwell that again. Thanks for reminding me, dude. Yeah, because we want to make sure we're always getting an Imperial Authority, uh, some sort of event going on. That's really important. Okay, what else is going on? Alright, let's finally get this built. Cool. Yeah, I don't have anything else to build there. Uh, would you send Volkmar to purge Throt and get his trait? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Volkmar the Grim. Maybe. Um... Oh, I should switch that out. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um Blessings of Sigma. Okay. Why don't you work on Whistling? I thought the landmark in Nolan is really good. Um I'm just a bit stretched thin at the moment. Um I definitely want to do something with Whistling. I'm just I can't do everything all at once, so we'll we'll worry about that in a bit. The landmark at Whistling is really good, but as I've said before, focusing on landmarks entirely, you can actually screw yourself up by doing that. It's not that important. But we'll figure something out for Whistling for sure. I'm just not entirely sure what it is. Thy Sigma's will come in peace. Yeah, we need to start thinking about Whistling. What so what are we gonna do about that? Um, again, worry about that later. It, it's, it's not time. We've still got 35 turns to confederate everyone, or conquer them. So I reckon we're going to conquer, uh, Hockland. Confederate Middenland. Probably have to conquer Wissenland. I don't know how we're going to possibly get that done in time. Uh, confederate... Confederate Sterling. Confederate Averland. Confederate... Talabakland. Confederate Beckerfen, Confederate Ostland, Confederate Nordland. Conquer them. Alright, let's move on. Still undefeated? Yep, still undefeated. If I buy from Instant Gaming, can I play it on Steam? If you buy a Steam key, it's possible for you to buy an Epic store. Okay, look, look, look. I, I, I'll bring this back up. You need to make sure that you choose... Uh, Steam, uh, where is it? Shit. Yeah, cho make sure you pick Steam, okay? Okay, because you can select Epic Games. Luckily, they don't have anything in Epic Games, but yeah, Total War Warhammer is slowly being um, activated on Steam. So just make sure your search is as accurate as possible. <laughs> More Imperial Authority and we, here we come. Yeah, that was pretty silly of this army here because it can launch an ambush. Um, it's probably going to get killed because I know Throt's not too far off. Uh, they took it. Yeah, demand Middenland's return. It's fine. Yeah, it's still at, um... It is good to see fellow sons of the Empire this day. Very well. Yeah, dwarfs are probably not going to be too happy about that. Greetings, honorable... Oh, they don't really care. 
All right, so now I expect um Well, let's just let's just see what happens. We've got plenty of regiment of renown here, ready to go at a moment's notice. So let's seem weak and then just as soon as they jump over here, we'll just hit them really hard. Okay, so that's not at 10 yet. So just blow it up again. <laughs> and that'll get this to 10. Mm, I might have to actually hold off on that because uh, that'll queue up mid inland first. I don't want to wait 20 turns to confederate him. I want it done. As soon as I've got the Imperial Authority. So we'll just keep that going a bit longer. Alright. Fucking Toddy's back. That will work. The instrument of Sigmar's will. Alright, send Balthazar to go and besiege it. Uh, if they sally out, we'll fight it manually, but I don't imagine we'd have too much trouble. The righteous hammer of Sigmar. So where are we sending Volkmar? Forward. You know what, I'm actually sending Volkmar back to Altdorf. Uh, hang on. We're gonna have to fight, um, Hockland soon as well, aren't we? Maybe I should just, yeah, yeah, go back to Altdorf and we'll fix up his Warrior Priest Doomstack, fix it up properly. And then, and then we'll come back. So I don't think we're going to need any of these units here. I am the Supreme Patriarch. Yeah, get rid of these. Never. I really only need one mortar for the siege attacker. That's it, because we don't have a siege attacker in here otherwise. Unless we got a beast wizard. That'd be interesting. We get a beast wizard and put it on a griffin, that'll be our siege attacker. Or we can just recruit a steam tank. Yeah, get rid of these. I'll, I'll recruit a steam tank. In fact, why don't we get him down here recruiting steam tanks in order to transfer them over to Volkmar, uh, to Balthazar Gilt? Yeah, yeah, that's that's a much better idea. Let us forge our faith. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think that'll work for us. Ogres could be siege attacker. Yeah, oh, yuck. I'm not putting ogres in my army. <laughs> yuck. One. Now, you want something more permanent. It is time. Ogres are just for emergencies. Alright, 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 alright. So... Look, as long as dwarfs aren't coming over here to attack... Yeah, as long as the dwarves aren't coming over here to attack them, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, they're not at war with Clan Angrind. I am Belligar, okay. King. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, we've got to try to block these armies I over here, comet. so they don't attack Ostermark. Wait, what was that? Kislevite Kossar plus seven percent. Bring me to my men. I think this is the first one I've got of that. Oh, we, we don't need extra money here. Give me that Kislevite Kossar. Oh, that's attached to a character. There it is. Shit, that's a lot of extra campaign movement range. No peace, just war. Ulrich's will. Volkmar. Good money coming in at the moment, which is nice.
Yeah, we'll get the, um, the warrior priest stack going. Send that in to go and fight Throt. Like, sending a warrior priest army in to fight Hell Pit, I don't think we'd do too badly there, because we could just pop uh, Soulfire down on the gate. <laughs> well, as long as we've got it. Need to level up a bit on the way. Also, it doesn't really that mu matter that much if we get ambushed. Yeah. Um, probably want to tag out this Light Wizard eventually. He doesn't need to be in Gelt's army. But we'll just see how we go first. Cool. Alright, let's do some construction and move on. That's the face you got no way. Yeah, I, well, first I've gotten in this campaign, I mean. I'm pretty sure you have to do agent actions or level up within Kislevite territory, which I just haven't been here yet. Yeah, we need to wall these areas up because of the possible green screen. What do you require? Argolon, get fucked. Of well, if they keep coming over here it with this, at least it gives me an opportunity to gain um, levels Friends up on these guys. What's the Fane Chantress doing? She probably is not going to cancel that stuff right now. Also, I forgot to do this last turn. You gotta get moving to go meet Marcus Wolfheart. Have we met them? No. So... If we meet with... With him, we should be able to trade with him right away. If you have a look at it, it's a complete... Nullified. At zero neutral, we should be able to get a trade agreement. Neutral, they'll trade with you. They just won't get non-aggression. I trust no man. What? That's Nordland. Get rid of the Middenland heroes. Heretic. Okay, there's a noticeable death wizard here. Don't don't read the spam wizards just yet. Matthew Brooks did a five dollar wizard. Have you tried unifying the empire by blood? Do you just get screwed on imperial authority? Um, you can do it. I just don't think that's a good way of doing it. Um, so that's why I don't do it. But thanks for super chat, appreciate it. Is warrior priest the best agent for combat? Wizards are, but in terms of melee combat, yeah, I'd say that um, warrior priests are the best melee combatant for the empire. I trust no man. Alright. So Throt will probably declare war on me soon, so we need to hurry up and get ready as quickly as we can. Meh. Full extra defenses there. Alright, use up all my money. Just got some of this stuff to do here. Alright, so. To get all the Imperial Authority that we need, we should only need about 25. 25 or 26. But we also need to start screwing over, um... Wissenland, because I gotta go fight them. You need to plunder this region near Kislev for Volkmar? No, I, I've already done that stuff. Can you use Prestige to boost Avalon Fealty, or are you waiting for it to get automatic boost in the event, Friars? Um, I already used imp um, Prestige to do that. But then the event just didn't show up because too many other things were queued up. And now, I think if I... Um... Hmm. Look, Confederating Avalon right now is not as urgent as it was a few times ago. You'll also get extra authority from events, so you can be one or two down and be fine. 
that's a big maybe. We, you can go 30 turns and not get that event show up. So, that's a big maybe. I don't know what they're doing there. Like, what happens if you're two Imperial Authority short, and then you just never have a random event show up? Then you're screwed. Especially considering we only take, like, two turns to do this. To get it, you know, that much higher. Okay, we have Middenheim at 10. So we can end the Imperial Authority cheese soon. But there's no sense in doing that just yet. No peace. Okay, I'm just going to back off for a moment and assassinate some heroes. Uh, Drazja, become a new member. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Show me the accused. Judgment is death. The nation calls. You are judged. Ulrich's will. Cool. It's about 21. This is definitely the fastest I've ever gotten this much Imperial Authority. Without a doubt. Alright, you come down here. And if we start recruiting steam tanks, which they're now available. You know, we can start getting a few over to um to Balthazar Gelt. You know, while we're while we're waiting around, not doing anything. What are our current wars at the moment? Yeah, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Yeah, we don't have any really urgent wars going on. Okay, we got this back up to 10. However, if I stopped doing this, it'll probably offer Middenland. But if I reject Middenland, then I have to wait 20 turns. I don't want to wait 20 turns. So let's just wait a few turns and then we'll just confederate everyone. Averland is not under any real threat right now. So as long as they don't declare war on Karak here, we should be okay. <laughs> they might do that. Where heretics lurk. The Empire. Tools of judgment ready. Let's have to wait and see. RTI did a two Euro Super Chat saying test. Okay, thanks, dude. Thanks, Super Chat. Where'd that other army go? Seek out the heretic. Pick up the pace. Not enough war. Alright, this is fine. If they just bring one army down here, I don't have a problem with that. They could be heading over to Nashrak's Lair. If they do, fine by me. Okay, so Carl Franz here, what are we doing? Yeah, just recruit some garbage to begin with. We can always just replace them with Regiment of Renown. Special Air Services today, $2 super chat. Southland Thunderdome sounds more fun or painful. Seems fine to me. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. Thanks for the chat. Appreciate it. There is power within Good. We're getting the recruit rank up a bit. bit. What do you require? I am Volkmar. Okay. What? Uh, well, not losing a battle does seem to help the Imperial Authority. Uh, losing battles does not make any difference on Imperial Authority whatsoever. But yeah, currently we have not suffered a single defeat. That's not the objective of the campaign. That's just been a lucky coincidence. Just no defeat so far. So. What do you require? Thy Sigma's will come in peace. When it comes to Wissenland, I think we're going to have to go to war with them because I can't see any way of confederating them within 30 odd turns yes, son of Sigma. so what we need to do Our is lives. get them to hate us which is pretty all easy right. to do all we got to do is make your offer. cancel treaties <laughs> and then just wait for the event to happen after we've done with all this stuff so yeah if we have a look at that now oh my god their fealty is gonna oh it is yeah, it's going to tank big time. Um, special Air Services did a $2 Super Chat. Now $2 Super Chat. Greater than £2 Super Chat. Mm, no, £2 is actually higher than $2, but thanks Super Chat. William did a $5 Super Chat. Love to stream. Playing as Cathay and have 400% research rate at turn 66 because of the Scrivener follower you get from Hero Actions. Cool. Sounds good, dude. Thanks Super Chat. Appreciate that. 
Uh, okay. Okay, yeah, you just keep that going. And we do this again. Oh, that's so good. This is the this is the definite like imperial authority cheese that I'll do from now on. It's so good, and I think Middenland is the right one to do it with because you start automatically with pretty low fealty with them. It's just a matter of how early you want to do it. Could have done it a bit earlier. Just had to think of it. All right, minus nine public order here. No, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, we don't have much money. Alright, that's fine. Sound of Gurney. Uh, special air services in Chilos I meant Euro, mixed up symbols. Uh, okay, cool. Alright, thanks for the chat. Cool. All good. <laughs> All good. Alright. It'd be good if they could finish off um, the Skaven down that way. Oh, do you know what we should do? Assassinate... Oh no, we'll assassinate the hero after they've... Oh, there's two of them. Yeah, let's just wait and see what happens here. Let's just wait and see. Alright, what are we doing? Alright, nothing else to do this turn. What is... what are they doing? Are oh, they gonna go fight Norska? Okay, that's fine. Actually, that'll be good if their armies are away. <laughs> While, uh, when the Civil War eventually happens. All good. All good. All good. This is growing pretty quickly. Cool. Uh, I think I'm gonna get rid of this and start building walls here, because this area is starting to make me a little bit nervous. <laughs> uh, just a bit. Oh, I'm out of money. Okay, and let's move on. Good stream today, and hope to see it going strong tomorrow. Have a good day, man. Alright, thanks, dude. Yeah, it's pretty much guaranteed we'll do it tomorrow. Yeah, we'll continue this tomorrow. I'm loving the campaign. We're doing good stuff. And the support has been good. The drop-off rate is not that high, which is good. So, maintaining. You know, I'm happy to continue it into next week as well, but it's likely we will reach turn 100. Oh, did I forget to block them? Eh, it's okay, at least they beat it. Oh god, look at Grimgore. Holy shit. Will Vampire be weak in Wormuth 3? I think so. Um, maybe. Don't know. But there is a possibility. Will you give us a save point after you finish the campaign, please? Be at peace, for that is all I ever want. Yeah, it doesn't matter. They can't declare war. Um... I usually don't like giving you guys save files, unless it's like, if the campaign's been running for a really long time, like what we did with the High Elf campaign, so I, I'll think about it, but I'm not, I don't really like doing that. What's the most fun Warhammer 2 campaign in your opinion? Nakai. <laughs> Is it worth it to prevent Kathea or wipe them out? It's up to you. There's no right or wrong answer there. Depends on what you're playing, depends on what you're doing in your campaign. There's no right or wrong answer.
Please tell me that this stops doesn't stop a Imperial Authority event from showing up. Okay, good, it doesn't. <laughs> oh my god, this... This cheese is so good, holy crap. <laughs> oh my god, I love this cheese so much. Ready. Oh yeah, look at that Imperial Authority. Ah, uh, fealty, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Orders heated. Deliver your missive and then get from my presence. Ah, it's a shame because they got it to tier five, which means I'll get it at tier four when I conquer it. What are you gonna do? Um, I'll need to make sure I've got defenses here because they likely have another army, so I'll need to get rid of this. Public order will be fine. Um, hang on, let me just make sure of that. Six. Yeah, it'll be fine. Um, special air services did a two-dollar super chat. Who is your first IE campaign, and why is it Imric? Okay, thank you, super chat, dude. I've been ans asked that too many times at this point. I'm just not even going to entertain it anymore. But thanks for the chat. Okay, if I'm standing right there, he can come out of that stance and maybe go into stalk stance, so... Um... Just carefully... We'll use up about 50% movement. Go to about here. Or, or, <laughs> I'd like to see you catch me now, bitch. Okay, I want this guy to keep up with us. I'm going to get Mount Gunbad for myself. Cool. Uh, can we get a noble up in here? I need to build that quicker. Okay, it's a turn. Remember walls of Bretonia? Alright, thanks dude, yeah. Let us forge Hammer of Sigma! Bathe in soul fire. I tell you what, using agent actions is a lot more satisfying sure. when it can't fail. Ninety-five <laughs> percent success. Critical fail! Yes, son of Sigma. Good growth coming in nice and quick here. Cool. All right. Yeah, he's stuck there recruiting for a bit. Disciplined Empire Captain. Uh, yeah, but I don't, don't usually put them in my armies. Alright, I need to increase my capacity for Warrior Priests, which means we need to recruit another Arch Lector. Arch -lector. Let us forge our fate. By the comet. All right, we need to do a little bit of maths here. I got to figure out exactly how much I need in terms of imperial authority. So we need three, yes. two. So, no, 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 no. We'll need three because they'll have zero. Yeah, yeah. So three, three. They're all going to require three. So. Yes, I know I can trade with them, but I might declare war on them soon. And we're trading off all of our goods anyway. Um, so that means I need 27, which means five more t turns. Make it uh, 28. Six more turns. We also need to start figuring out how we're going to fix up um, Ostermark. Because they're... 
What we can do is abandon Karak Raziak and Essen and give it back to them. Unfortunately, that'll mean that these settlements get destroyed, which sucks. Because, yeah, this settlement here can be returned to Ostermark. Unfortunately, we're just not getting those random events pop up for them. It hasn't happened at all for them. Is it time? By the I think I saw... The hammer, yes. it shall yeah, be Throt done. came over here. By the comet. It shall be done. Volkmar doesn't need extra replenishment points from Priest because of special skill 20% replenishment. Yeah, I know, I just do it anyway. It's it's not a big deal. They will be judged. Just to force a habit, it's not, not that big of a deal. The main skill that they need is Soulfire. Alright, we've still got 10 grand to spend, let's see what we got. Uh, there's no more economical builds buildings here, but that yeah, focus on money buildings first. Nothing else is really needed right now. Yep, that's good. Build the money buildings. Need cash. You have a single general at Griffin's Wood who does nothing? Oh! I forgot I was supposed to send him to Zavastra. Thanks, dude. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, because I've got a quest battle that I need to do. Thanks for that. I just totally forgot about him. Shit, how long has he been sitting there? It would have been a couple of turns now. What is it? I am a warden, not a In my father's name. In okay, being uh, trading with these characters here. Ooh, Tyrion's up this way. Okay, I can see that Krace is actually at war with Tyrion. So I don't want to make Krace. Yes. Pick up the pace. Yes. Blessed is this action. But yeah, this trade agreement was worth. Let your words be true. 700. And your time here. But it mostly just shifted things around a little bit. Cool. They're unlikely to ever declare war on me. Because we can't get any more great power penalty. Alright, just save up the rest of that money. And... Let's move on. Would you consider Wolfheart's campaign fixed if Elizabeth attacks stop entirely after Elizabeth factions have wiped out? I, I think it should be more a case of when there's no Elizabeth presence in Lustria. It it's kind of weird if you wipe out all the lizards in Lustria, right? And you're like, or you migrate to the Empire and it still has Elizabeth armies spawning. So. I feel like it, they shouldn't spawn lizards if either you or the lizards have no presence in Lustria. That's what I feel like. Because, like, wiping out every single lizard faction, that means... Like, lizards are all over the place. That means taking out... Um, uh, Last Defenders, Pahwax, you know, it just takes ages. Uh, Max Kessberg did a two-year super chat. Who will definitely not be a first IEM campaign? I definitely will not be playing as Thankwall in as my first Immortal Empires campaign. Or Nagash. Thanks for Super Chat. We found Avalon as well? Oh, okay. I'll look into them. Friends of the Empire, 
No. Randolph gave me the two pants of shit. Any mods you suggest, or do you play vanilla? I mostly play vanilla, but probably the most, uh, the most frequently used mod is the one button respec mod. It's really good. Thanks, super chat. Yeah, look, you can barely even move. Bring me to my men. And I get Mount Gun Bad. Do I... I'll probably have to fight that manually, but that should be easy. I trust no man. Keep him blocked. Oh, shit. I wasn't expecting... Okay, cool. That's fine. I'll take it. And we got a student, nice. Get rid of that, don't need it. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so this guy here. God damn it. Of the faith. I wish I realized that was going on earlier. Sigma lightens my steps. I will go going forward. Warrior of Sigma. What do you require? The enemy will falter. Okay. Cool. So yeah, still recruiting steam tanks over here. Uh, if I change the edict to this one, I can recruit them a bit faster. The righteous hammer of Forgot to do that on the approach. Just keep that going. All right, we're at twenty-three. Got to keep doing it. We're not done yet. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna chuckle every single time. I think when we're done here, I'll send them over to Massive for Carl. Step to it. What? Never. No. Never. Ready. To to grow the province. Yep, yeah, wall up over here. Um, demolish that. Sigma be praised. Yeah, I need to get to rank to fifteen with that. See, so yeah, I reckon we'll recruit another batch of steam tanks and send them up that way, but yeah, uh, I mean... Oh, what the hell? Why'd the fealty go up? Ah, uh, Oh, technology, right, of course. Yeah, that, that's fine. That's fine. We'll, we'll figure something out there. Alright, and then... Uh, firing drills, only one more turn left on that. Good, so now we just need four with that. The Empire. Okay, keep Throt perpetually blocked. Tools of judgment ready. Speed. Show me the acute. Yes. Gotta find where their armies are and just keep blocking them. Alright, I think we can send so, some more of the... the Witch hunters. Yeah, don't go meet Norska. We haven't met them yet. I trust no man. What one witch hunter's enough over here? So we met Avalon, did we? Have you come to help? We did too. And we've met Atain. I will hear your words, but I cool. no promises of aid. Oh, he's at war with Avalon. That's interesting. Understood. Couldn't have traded with Avalon anyway. Cool. Well that's fine. Just uh, leave that under control. And next stop, Temple of Kara, which is right over here. Onwards. I will turn my gaze on you. Can't you declare war on them by proxy? Wissen land. My hand hovers close to my blade. Utter your demand. Uh, yeah, but mind. okay, okay. If I do that, I'll lose shitloads of imperial authority for war declarations against elect accounts. So if if they declare war on me, then we don't lose anywhere near as much. Imperial authority. So, if I declare war on them, I'll need to get more imperial authority, which means just doing this a little bit longer. I guess we could. Who calls? Yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. 
you know what's funny? Might just automatically meet Marcus Wolfheart next turn. Alright, with this last point, people do like Deadly Onslaught, but I think it's one of the most overrated skills in the game. I think I'd much rather get um, Hold the Line. I am Prince and Emperor. Okay, looking at this now, they've only got one settlement left. Okay. Yeah, I'll recruit a few more archers. I think with the army that we've got there, we should be able to handle Chief Doomclaw. Yeah, we need this province here to grow quickly. Wrong one. Cool. Plus, we can assassinate some of these heroes. I thought it bypasses the penalty. Um, I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but we can check next turn. Uh, actually, why don't we check right now? I'm, I'm pretty sure it doesn't, so I just save the game right there. That way we'll load. I'm, I'm fairly sure, this is just a test, I'm fairly sure this won't work. If we talk to Clan Spittle... Join war against Wissenland. Yeah, we just lost four Imperial Authority for that. So it does not bypass it. So that means in order to... If we declare war on... On Wissenland, that means we need six Imperial Authority to compensate for that. So obviously it would be a lot cheaper if they declare war on us. Could you raid to lower fealty? Um, you can, but that would increase supply lines. So an, an easier way is to do hero actions. Uh, raiding doesn't uh, reduce fealty on itself. It's um, uh, low relations that does it. So you just want to do like hero yes, actions. Son of Sigma. So what we want to do is get our heroes down here. Let us forge our faith. Actually, yeah, this is a good way. Just realize this would be a good way of leveling up all of our bloody characters here. <laughs> to get them to be able to get the um, soul storm shit while uh, Volkmar is recruiting. Because Wissenland isn't going to be able to declare war on us. Should you go down there as well? Nah. Yeah, we'll send all these guys down here to um, do hero actions, make Wissenland absolutely hate us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also saves a bit of money. Okay, that's all good. I saw there's a discipline one there, don't need it. Champion of the faith. We have any character to sell some mint. Tools of judgment ready. Forward. Not doing that right now. That is not an important battle at all. Alright, cool. Uh do some construction and move on to the next turn. Can you use prestige to lower relations? Yep, yep, but it's cheaper to use hero. Well, it's not, yeah, I guess we could. Hang on, let me have a look. Yeah. I'll do it, do it in a bit. Wait, yeah. I, I will do that, just not yet. Then again, I need to improve other relations, so let's just see how we go. But yes, you can do that. Alright, let's have a look here. Uh, Schwarzhafen... Yeah, probably best go growth. And Fort Obestire. Need extra global recruit slots. And we'll need a... Oh, I just got rid of a freaking thing here, didn't I? Now you gotta get all the way back over here. Okay, let's move on. If I sank a settlement, can the AI really take it? I want to use it as a sack settlement. The AI can take it, yeah. The re um, a uh, sorry, a corruption-based rebellion won't be able to blow it up. 
So if you sack a settlement and then it gets a rebellion that's a Skaven, a Chaos, or a Vampire Account Rebellion, that's like high, high Chaos Corruption, high Skaven Corruption, high Vampire Account Corruption, Rebellion, they will not be able to blow up the settlement. But yeah, any faction can still occupy one of your cities. What do you say to the new Grumbrindle start? I don't know. I don't care. Alright, it looks like... Um, Karak Kadrin sorted out um, Chief Doomclaw. Uh, re sorry, are really wood elves that passive that you can be at war with them and not be at risk? Kudos to Aslan. Yes, um, except for Talson. Talson's the only one that has a chance of coming out and getting at you. But everyone else is passive. At least until Archeon shows up, but that's turn 150. Nice. Nice, yeah, just keep them smashed. In what cases Rebellion could take the city? If it's not one of those types of corruptions. Alright, let's see who we've discovered. Yes. Well, I'd say it seems pretty likely that he'll declare war on us. He is at war with a thousand wars though, so that's good. That is good. He's allied to Hagrief. Um, he discovered Clan Scryer. Pretty likely they'll declare war on us as well. They've got six settlements. So what's that? One, two, three, four, five. I think they own this one as well. Let me just check. Yeah, they own Sartosa. It's just low in public order for him. Um... So we're strength ranking 12. Let's just see if there's other people out there. Oh, we've met all the Norskins now. Uh... A challenge? Yeah, they'll probably declare war on us soon. Alright, we still don't have enough Imperial Authority, but we're almost there. Oh, this cheese is so good. Yeah, that looks like he took him out. Cool. Show me the accused. I am Prince and Emperor. Alright, if this army does come up this way, we'll be able to block it, so I'm fairly sure we can justify disbanding Karl Franz again and sending him somewhere else. Cool, which saves shitloads of money. Uh, did we get that mission sorted? Oh, move a character to... Oh my god, how many fucking missions do you want me to do? Jesus Christ. Eastern Sylvania, right. Finally, the Jade Griffin battle. Alright, we'll do that, you know, soon. So, these steam tanks are going to be delivered over to um, Balthazar Gelt, you know, soon. Now, what we want to do here is do so many hero actions <laughs> that Wizardland just fucking hates us. Oh, yeah, here we go. Let us forge our faith. They will know who they face. Oh shit, that was pretty expensive. Yes, son of Sigma. The enemy will falter. I will invoke Sigma's wrath. 
Yes, son of Sigma. Plus, this is a decent way of leveling them up a bit. These characters. Ugh. Good thing we got loads of money. They will know who they face. Onward. Fuck it. Onward. <laughs> Whatever. Let us forge. The Our enemy fate. will falter. Ship and moving flag. Corrupt. What do you require? Fear us. There is power. Yeah, a lot of money is being spent on that, but. Um, uh, yeah, that dropped his relation by about a hundred. So for every hundred that we drop it down, it should drop down his fealty by one. Would gifts raise fealty? Uh, gifts increase relationship. It is good to see fellow sons of the... Okay. The Empire. Keep... Rot blocked. Report. Tools of judgment ready. Yes. So we just got another Kislevite Kossar. Yes. So didn't we just get another student? How many students did we get? Looks like it was just the one. Yeah, it's just the one. Uh, Kislevite Kossar. Let's pop that down on Volkmar. I can find it. Is damage building useless, or am I missing something? Oh no, it's totally de uh, useless. I'm just doing it as hero actions. That's it. Show me the accused. They will be judged. Approach as friend and make your. Oh, good. He actually likes the hero actions against Wissenland. so it's, it's increasing our relationship with Avaland as well. Nice. They will be judged. So yeah, when the time comes, we want to make sure these armies are blocked, and we just conquer them outright really quickly. I can't believe this has remained a ruin all this time. Good amount of money coming through. Alright, what can we construct? Yep, that's fine. Okay, that's good. It should be the end of Clan Richter's Nest fairly soon. So that's good. Seek out the heretics. Show me the accused. Yep, just keep an eye on this Is area here. All good. Lurk? All good. It Oof, got fun. a fair few levels up to do. There is power within prayer. Alright, so we just finished researching firing drills, so extra ammunition for artillery units would be good. Missile resistance for uh, steam tanks would also be good, so let's do that. Was, that one's fine. We got 170% research rate, which is okay. Should be a bit higher, but we're okay. Grant me his strength. Alright, if we're gonna do his quest battles soon, then we need to. Uh, make sure that he's ready, he needs those levels up. Um, yep, yeah, that's fine. Oh, I'm pretty much out of money there anyway. Um, yep, yeah, grab that. Well, 
at least uh, doing these hero actions is serving a dual purpose, because we need these characters leveled up. Especially try to get them to rank 15 so that we can use this, uh, the soul fire. That's so important. If we're going to use it as a doom snack. Alright, cool. Moving on to the next turn. So, based on this, I think we should do it four more times. Get to 28 Imperial Authority, so that means turn 74, we stop doing this. Yeah, we stop doing this turn 74. Isn't the staff of Volans good? Yep, it totally is good. We're just not ready to do that battle right now. I forgot to move him. Isn't there a follower cheese to get the research rate up for Empire? Yeah, yeah, the uh, student, yeah. Just joining, did the authority farming trick work? Yep, it worked. Okay, well, at least I'm not at war with Clan Eshin, so hopefully they leave me alone. <laughs> hopefully. But let's be real here. Um, the dwarves are going to get declared war on by them soon enough. Which will drag me in. Is Illyrian Archer Doomstack good? Eh. It's not terrible. Of Sigma. Move three heroes to three regions owned by the Empire. What is with Volkmar's freaking missions? <laughs> 31 <laughs> uh, ensure that the Temple of Sigma has been built alright that definitely has <laughs> research clergy of Sigma oh fuck off god damn it staff of command is good uh, yeah let's let's move towards doing that god damn Volkmar's missions are so fucking annoying Tools of judgment ready. Speak. Seek out the heretics. Speak. Tools of judgment ready. Receive. What? Fear us. What do you require? Rout. Cleanse the empire. They yeah, it costs us a bit to do this, face. but if we have a look, the relationship is tanking so quickly. Face. His fealty is going to be pretty much zero what do you require? when we're done they with, um, know who they face. The enemy will falter. thingy. The enemy will falter. Fear us! Yes, son of Sigma. Rout! Fuck Cleanse enough. the Empire. Thousand a pop. Holy oh, shit. Rout! Let us forge our Fear faith. us. Now, they will know who they face. The enemy will... Good thing I got the money. <laughs> Jeez. Good thing I got the money. I trust no man. Seek out the heretics. Yeah, probably would be good if we can get rid of any uh, assassins or whatever that we can uh, see. Uh, what was it? This guy was going to move over this way. Now. All right, so we're at 25 fealty, uh, 25 imperial authority. We're almost done. Averland's still at 10. Wissenland is, you know, tanking big time. How long have I been recruiting steam tanks for Volkmar? Uh, four turns, because we recruited that three turns, and then this group is coming in. It's been recruiting for one turn. Sigma be praised. All right, let's see what we can build. Just leave that for now. Primarily just focusing on money buildings because we got some big expenses coming up. Yep, upgrade that. 
get the gold. Public order's fine. Yep. Um, global recruit slots are really good. Yep, because I expect we're going to come under attack at some point by Bastogne. Yep. Yep. Oh, shit, I ran out of money. Are we selling off all the wood? Mm, probably best to upgrade the wood building then. It is time. Yeah, I don't want to trade with Marienburg because I'm going to cancel all those treaties real soon. We need to conquer them. Because we've got 29 turns left to confederate and conquer everyone. So we've got a lot of work to do in a very short amount of time. But, like I said, three more turns of this, we're done. We'll instantly confederate... Okay, Nordland doesn't want to confederate straight away. But we'll instantly confederate most of these elector counts because it's been about 20 turns since they last offered. Um... We sh it shouldn't take us too long to get Ostermark, because all I gotta do is abandon Essen and Karak Raziak. That'll sort that out. Um, Avalon's still ready to go. Gotta fight them. Gotta fight Hockland. Ready to go. Ready to go. And then it should be pretty quick for us to conquer um, Marienburg. So yeah, all of this territory is just going to be like, gobbled up really quickly. As soon as we get this done. What happens at 28 authority? At 28 authority, I should have all the authority I need to confederate and conquer every elect account and still have positive authority. Because, uh, you know, you don't want to lose this buff. You don't, you don't want to be in this stuff here. It's, it's crap. Alright, looking at... Now, yeah, we're already done there. Oh, God, these levels up a bit of a pain. By the comet. Shit, I think I forgot to. What do you require? Orders he did. What? Yes. Who calls? Don't think we'll do all the hero actions every single turn, but it's really important to get soul fire. That's what makes the uh, the warrior priest doom stack good. So, since I can't recruit them at that Who rank. Calls? The Empire. Okay. Cleanse the Empire. It's good to get it. Uh, William Webb did a $5 super chat. Hey, Legion, just moved from Arizona. Sorry, to Arizona from Illinois. Here at the ASU West Campus. Going to try and earn Master's Degree in English. Much love and kind regards. No worries, dude. Um, good luck with it. Thanks for super chat. Appreciate it. Good luck. The righteous all, right, all good. And let's move on. Does Marcus have a normal confederation where? Yeah, you just diplomatically confederate him. Is there a law reason why Marienburg isn't considered part of the Empire? Yeah, Marienburg ceded from the Empire right before Karl Franz became the Emperor. So it's... It was part of the Empire, but... They paid, like, a huge amount of money to the Emperor and became their own country. Yeah, so we need 27 Imperial Authority. That's why we're going for 28. Right? That way, we spend 27 and we'll still have one. Uh, Nordland declared one World Walkers. Okay, that's fine.
All right, two more turns to go. Oh my god, I'm never gonna get tired of this. <laughs> oh yeah, I keep forgetting to uh, screw around Throt. The nation calls. What? What have you to say? They will be heretics. Uh, he'll declare war on us eventually, but Show me the they've got to go through the electric counts. All right, how are we going here? Yeah, this one's I heading over that way as well. Man. So it just needs to be done. Actually, next time we blow this up, it will be the last time. So I just need to blow it up one more time. And looking at this, the time with petty talk. minus 249. Good. Just checking real quick to see if Marcus Wolfhard is still alive. He probably is, but let me just check. Yeah, he is. He's still there. Ready? Sometimes he migrates up north, but, you know, we'll find out. Did you tank your relationship with Midland, but also by agent actions to get him to declare war on you? Yep. That's what we did. Yeah, I, I did a whole bunch of hero actions on Karaberg and Wismund, and then they hated me, and then I then they declared war on me, so that way I didn't lose Imperial Authority. It's just quicker. Even if it is more expensive in terms of money, it's quicker in terms of turns. Come then. Only Sigma's god, Ulrich, can judge it worthy or no. Yeah, we'll sort them out. How are we going with this? Yeah, no point doing it right now. Ready! I wish it didn't cost a thousand. Oh, that explained why. Um, Who calls? So don't have to do it every single turn. Who calls? Report. Uh, do you have a toll keeper on you Where while you're you here? You must. Oh yeah, you do. You. Might as well make more money. Knowledge. The Empire. They will be cool. Judged. So yeah, put a Witch Hunter at both of these spots here. That way, if any enemy armies come up this way, we just block them. Okay, Grumpeak shouldn't need the walls anymore. No, I'll just leave it. Uh, there's nothing else to build there. I am Volkmar. I guess Volkmar could do his quest battles with the steam tanks. Don't see any reason why not. It is time. What was the other quest battles? Uh, the Jade Griffin. Uh, re oh, that's right. Research clergy of Sigma. Actually, let me let me try this. I'll see if we can get some more um, students. Yes, son of Sigma. Route. Is it time? They will know who they face. Fear us. The enemy will falter. They will know who they face. Fear us. Right, that'll do. My hand Good, look at that. Minus 329. So when it gets to that point, that should be two other fealty dropped. We don't need to get it down to absolute zero. I think it just needs to get down to one. So far, that's what we want. What do you require? Let us forge our faith. Good, a whole bunch of them are getting it. Yes. That's going to make his army a lot better. There is power within prayer. What? Rout. Oh, good. We did actually get a student. <laughs> Right, cool. So, now we're at 190%. Cool, getting there, getting there. Why doesn't the AI use agents like Legend? Uh, that would... I don't think it'd be very fun to deal with that kind of shit. 
Like, the AI will use agents against you, but not, not to that extent. Alright, doesn't look like I have any economic buildings that we need to build. Oh, here's something. Okay. So yeah, next turn, this will be done. We can switch that back to making taxes. Actually, probably should just leave it for one more turn. I'm pretty sure it would switch, but just, just leave it anyway, just in case. And then... Yeah, we'll attach all of these heroes into the army and teleport to this battle here for the Jade Griffin. Yep. Okay. We haven't fought any battles in a while. By the comet. Tools of judgment ready. Show me the accused. Yeah, so we just need to do that, uh, like two more turns, we're almost done. Yes. We met Oxy? Uh, I don't know, I don't think so, I didn't see him in my list. I can go and have a look. You said some things time ago, it's best to total in Warhammer 2 in the beginning. Did your strategy change because the game got easier? Because you got better on either. Uh... Uh, oh, I, I, if I said that ages ago, I don't know, man. <laughs> Always take the newest information as, as like, what I actually believe. Um, I change my opinion on things all the time. I don't think the game necessarily got easier, but I do think I'm much better at it than I was, like, a year ago. Well, that is all I... No. I'll cancel that defensive alliance real soon. Have I lost the battle in the campaign? Nope. No battles lost so far. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. So we've got... 27. We do this one more time. So next turn, it'll um do it for the last time. Hand it back to Midland. Yeah. And then, okay, then we start mass confederations as of turn 75. Just keep this under siege just a tiny little bit longer. Yep, they'll start taking massive attrition soon. Alright. We've got all those steam tanks. So, time to do a quest battle. That's for, um... Thingy. Could spend a bit more time recruiting even more. Let me have a look. Hang on, is that actually too much? Just thinking in terms of, um... Balthazar Gelt, we'll basically switch armies. Balthazar Gelt needs a warrior priest, a fire... There's too many. There's too many. Yeah, you need a warrior priest, a fire wizard, and a life wizard. So, just missing two of those. Okay. Yeah, might as well just finish that off. It's not urgent to go do the Jade Griffin right now. And then we can switch that back, because we don't need that extra recruit slot now. All right, start making your way back up over here. So, by the comet. So, looking at Wissen Land, minus 337. Was there... Oh, they're still at three. Hmm. 
Will military allies give access to Thorax artifacts in this settlement? Uh, shit, I have no idea. <laughs> I think so, but I'm not sure. You'd assume so. I'm fairly sure it does. But it's been a while since I've played a Thorax Ironbrow campaign. Alright, that's enough. I don't want to spend too much money on this. Now. Yes, son of Sigma. No, 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 no. The Empire. Yes, son of Sigma. The nation calls. This guy has to stay in this region here to provide heaps of untainted or else the vampiric corruption creeps back. Cool, alright, let's see what we can construct. Yeah, most of these turns are just waiting, but it's getting done. We're almost there. that. Don't think we need that there anymore. Uh, nothing's really needed there. Won't need growth. Okay, so after that's done, uh, so next turn we'll actually peace out with Middenland, but where are we sending, we'll just send Gelt back over here next turn, I'll, be, I'll disband this entire army. But the Hellstorm Rocket, actually no, I won't disband the Hellstorm Rocket batteries, I'll keep, because Carl Franz will be coming back, we'll give him a proper army out of some of these. Um... Yeah, a bit of a bit of a shake up is needed in our military, but we'll have three really good armies fairly soon. So yeah, you can't move any further. Okay, moving on. Would it be a good thing if range units only replenish their ammo over end turn? Uh, no, I would not approve of that at all. <laughs> I think I forgot to do hero actions on Clan Mulder, but that's okay. You need to cancel one more steam tank? No. No, he'll have 18 and he's just missing two heroes. Remember you saying that some disaster video that a third death wizard would be optimal for a steam tank doomsday because of minus lit leadership? Um, in that particular battle where he got attacked by four armies, yeah. But the thing is, I'm never going to get attacked by four armies of Voice of Chaos because that was the uh, situation to get yourself into. <laughs> so in that particular scenario, it would have been good. But normally, don't bother with death wizards. Okay, this is the last time. And with that, you may keep Middenstag. Yep, you may keep Middenstag. And we will back off now. And peace out with Boris. My hand hovers close to my blade. Utter your demand before I raise it. Don't, don't bother getting a trade agreement. It's not going to matter.
Yeah, <laughs> give me money. Give me money. Shit. Give me all the money. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, it's fine. On it. All right, cool. Out of that war. Mid legend, you didn't get mid legend. We'll confederate them. Okay, so Hockland might do its war declaration really soon. So it might be a good idea for us to send a dude back over here and actually start blocking some of these guys. Show me the accused. Uh, don't block him here. Yeah, we got 28. We've got all the Imperial Authority that we need. Um, I'm just not sure if the Confederation offers are going to come first or the War Declarations are going to come first. It's going to be one or the other, but I'm not sure which. So it might be a good idea for Gelt to stay here. Step to it. Just in case. Wind of Shaman, I will. Seek out the heretics. To get the jump on him. What have you to say? Tools of judgment ready. Now, report. Because we're not sure what order things are going to come in. It's just anyone's guess. They will be judged. What do you require? All right, steam tanks will still be two turns yes. away. Are you forgetting the Lord? What am I forgetting? Can Skaven get hero level increases? Uh, yes, through various landmarks. Forgetting the Lord. What, in this? V v no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. Trust me, guys. This is the right number, okay? This is the right number. Oh my god. No, it's 17 without the Lord! <laughs> you just switch out Volkmar for Balthazar Gels. Is it time? So these guys here, they're just um, increasing growth in this province. Um, which they're almost finished, and then they'll move into Massive Hokal. You said 18 steam tanks and 2 heroes. No, 18 steam Last tanks and 3 heroes. Is. It's That's not 18 steam tanks. Uh, just Look, just forget it. It's the right number, okay? It's it's the right number. That's actually, uh, that's actually 16 doom stacks. Uh, 16 steam tanks. Okay, it's the right number of them. There are two heroes missing, and those heroes are right here. No. Yeah. Trust me, guys. It's the right number. <laughs> Just for, um... You build these up because it provides you with global recruits. Uh, might be a good idea to build walls at Wis Wiesmund because if we're going to go to war with Marienburg, they might send armies this way. Seek out the heretics. The nation calls. Yeah, don't bother about giving them immortality. Oh, yeah, who, who cares? It's Whatever, it doesn't matter. Alright. How's the relationship going here? You dare come at me making demands. How did that not go down even further? Do not waste my time with petty talk. Make your offer and be done. Do I still need to keep doing that a bit more? Gotta go down more than than uh, three. Fear us. It's gotta be at least two. Fear us. 
The Empire. They will know who they face. The enemy will. It's going down to minus 400 there. There is power within. Anyway, it's not like it's bad to get um, the levels up on these guys. It's just expensive. That's all. Ready. I don't think I've got really anything left to construct at the moment. We need new territory. We obviously haven't been expanding much because we're finishing up what we're doing. We're almost done with this. How many defeats do I have? None. We haven't suffered a single defeat yet. I can show you. 90 battles, no, no defeats. So far. Things are going to get crazy with these confederations because it's going to happen one after another. They've basically just been sitting in a, a um, queue, waiting to go. And then as soon as we start going, it's just going to be like, Norska, Throt, you know, as we start getting all these, it's going to go crazy. How should we proceed? Ready? Hunt them out. Hunt's Marshall Expedition. On the hunt. Greetings, friend. What news? Seven regions. So yeah, he's been busy. The niche. What matters do you Can't get a trade agreement with him though. Can't. Won't he call me? How no. dare you? Now I don't think we can use this. Sorry, not that one. This with Marcus Wolfhart, can we? No, we can't use it on Marcus Wolfhart. Um Wolfhart! Does he need some money? If we are not enemies. There's no reason we can't do business. Giving him some money could be good, just so that he can recruit more armies to keep fucking things up over here. Too much. I definitely don't want to go to war with any of these guys. Very well. Just give him a couple of gifts. All right. Because we sh it shouldn't be too difficult to Agreed. get that uh, agreement with him. All right, cool. Just save up that money. The nation calls. Get ready to strike. So okay, here we go. So this turn, we're not going to get the Imperial Authority. Um, My axe is for limbs. We'll just see what happens. Here we go. Start using the Prestige on Ostermark? Not right now. Not right now. There's going to be a whole bunch of other things that will happen first. Yeah, if I spend Prestige on it right now, it's not going to be enough to get him to 10. It's, it's just not going to mean anything, so we've just got to wait. Not yet. Just soon, but not yet. Still got time. If you're attacking two electors, don't you need 30 IA? Two times four plus. No, no, no. If they declare war on me, then it will only cost us two or three Imperial Authority, depending if they're at zero, which Auckland is. We shouldn't actually lose any Imperial Authority for Wissenland declaring war on us. Ooh, that's not good. Can I revive Krokgar in any settlement in his initial province, or it has to be his Temple of Skulls? It should be any region, but I'm not 100% sure. Alright, that's it. Run back. Run back, you stooge. Good. Alright, let's see which confederation happens first. Might want to kill the Clan Molder Plague Priest. Where, where was it? You're absolutely right, where is it? I didn't see it. Oh, the Pestilence game, yep. 
Yeah, we'll definitely want to assassinate that for sure. All right, what's going to be first? Everland. Cool. One confederation. Cool. Grandalf gave me the two pants superchat ready to play. You said Elithanar, right? Yeah, Elithanar. That's the one I would recommend first. Thanks, Superchat, dude. Appreciate it. Alright. You know what? I approve of this army. Come sit over at Fyldorf and get ready to. to smash. Why are they still at three fealty? The Grand Theogenists should declare you traitors. Hmm. Alright, we've got to get rid of some of these armies. There's no need for them. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Um, yeah, you can stay. Just, uh, just uh, come down here. What's this? I think I left this guy here. Come down here. Actually, go over to Clan Spittle. Probably deal with them. You are determined to be fired. Uh, we don't have a full stack, so let's just transfer some units over there. What does the Emperor bid? The nation calls. Okay, we need to get walls up in here built straight away, just in case the greenskins attack. I trust no man. Yes. Report. They already hate me, so it's not going to matter. Okay, we also have an elect account. Averland gets growth all provinces, casualty replenishment rates. Okay, I'll just give that to um, Marius Leitdorf. Fine. Why not? Uh, yuck. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll keep that. Ah, uh, they didn't get to tier 5. Which Dari faction is strongest in your opinion? Thorek Ironbrow's faction. Okay, should be another confederation happen pretty much every single turn. I trust no man. Is that where heretics lurk? Step to it! Alright, just keep blocking the Hockland armies. Speak. That way, we, if they uh, declare war on us, we uh, they won't get the jump on us. We'll have time to react. Okay, Balthazar Gilt needs to head back to here to pick up his steam tanks. It is best to move. Keep up! Uh, actually, you can just stay there. Nah, no, come back. Go sit at Beastman. Yeah, I'm surprised that the fealty hasn't gone in any further. We're at minus 257 relation. I don't know why it's not going down any further. Might have to wait for a political event to happen and, you know, us screw them over. Heretics. Still got 25 turns left. <laughs> Report. Cleanse the right, I don't particularly want to do any more of those agent actions. Pick up the pace. Okay, get My ready for Volkmar's now. stack. Moving off. What do you oh, I need to recruit another life wizard. Onwards. What do you require? I don't agree. The nation calls. The Empire. Come on. Come then, forward. On march. All right, we need to recruit another uh, life wizard. All right, get rid of, get rid of this one here. What is your wish? Don't want heavens, and get rid of that Jade one. Wizard. 
So it shouldn't take too long before a life wizard shows yes. up. He's got one at the moment, but they both need so. one. Is there any faction with good cav except Bretonia? Northland is nine fealty. Okay, thanks, dude. Um, not really. I mean, there's faction with good cavalry that don't really need to recruit them. All right, let's let's do some fealty tidying up. All right, let's start with Nordland. Let's get them up to about a hundred. Yep, that should be fine. And then with Wissenland, maybe we'll drop it down further. The others are pretty much at 10, except for Ostermark. In 10 turns, we'll have 15 turns remaining. Now let's um let's fix up Ostermark as well. Okay. Now in order to get Ostermark to confederate, I have to abandon Karak Raziak. And Essen. Not wrong one. Just leave a lord here. No, not Carl Franz. So you might be wondering, what are we doing here? We give them back to Ostermark. They'll give us um, fealty. Approach us, friend, and make your offer. Fine. Affirmative. As you say, sir. Very well. All right. Raid Wissenland, get fealty low. No. The, that's not, it's actually not that efficient. We tried that with uh, Middenland, it wasn't good. It better to use hero actions, which is what we've been doing. Raiding is not good for dropping down fealty. Plus, you gotta pay for a supply line. Fuck that. Oh, maybe I'll get Marius Leetdorf to do it since we're just waiting with him, but he doesn't have enough movement for that right now. Okay, I need more cash. Yeah, give me that cash. Might need walls here. Instrument of Sigmar's will. Yes, son of Sigmar. Sick, get that soul fire going. Cleanse the Empire. Show me the accused. Tools the pain for hero actions is fine, just kidding. Well, it was leveling up our characters as well, so there was a double benefit to it. Like, you're not wrong, it's not ideal. It'd be great if I could just push a button and hit low fealty, but... What does the we'll see how we go. Alright, need clergy of Sigma to get this Staff of Command. Alright, let's see what we get this next turn. Oh, we forgot to put an Edict down here. And here, yep, go with growth. Alright, um, we've got a Barracks here. Get rid of the Public Order, don't need that. And then over here, I don't really know what to do with this guy. Just, um, just hang out over here and just keep an eye on him. Approach and state your affairs. Think again. Okay. Anyway, giving him more money will help to finance his wars, which is benefit us in the long run, even if he doesn't use it efficiently. All right, cool. I think we're done with the turn, and let's see who gets confederated next. But we're down to eight elect accounts that need to be dealt with. So it could be a war declaration, it could be um, could be a confederation. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. Disband some artillery from Gelt since you go full tank. Yeah, I should have done that. I'll do that next turn. Get the Plague Priest hero? I forgot. Oh, I don't even know where it is. It'd be at their capital. 
Right, so that means he'd be heading down this way now. Okay, I'll try to intercept him next turn. I'll be the first thing I, I do. I should be able to catch him next turn. But yeah, I forgot about it. Why don't you have Carl Franz out? Carl Franz was doing some minor odds and ends. Um... And then I just disbanded him because his army was just mix and match crap. It just wasn't serving any purpose right now. It went to Prague. Okay, if it went to Prague, I'll see if I can get it. I can't believe they're even still alive. Okay, that's fine. Alright, what are we getting? Mid and land. Okay. Fucking Toddy, here he is. This will bolster the nation. Does he have bad defeat traits from all the... <laughs> Cursed? <laughs> Sorry. It's good to know the AI gets bad traits as well. Alright, before I forget... Show me the accused. Good. March on the witches. Are you sure it went to Prague? They will be judged. Forward. Oh, uh, they already popped it down. It's too late, it's Yeah, they already popped it down. Um Oh shit, I should have blocked Throt. I am Throt! Hang on, let me just see if I can do this. Moving up. No, oh, there's no way to hang on. No, I need two heroes to block that off. Yeah, I need two. Forward. Twist bender. By the comet. Speak. They will be judged. All right, keep blocking these guys here. Ready. What have you to say? Seek out the heretic report. Let us forge our faith. Noble, okay. Um Yeah, get your ass down here. Keep moving of him. Praise Sigma. Yes. All right, Death Wizard, fleet-footed. Bye bye. Out of here. Shadow Wizard, Regal. Out of here. Captain, just out of here. Uh, what happened to my money? Oh, right, Steam Tank. <laughs> Seventeen thousand. It's very, ine very inefficient. This army. Uh, but we should be able to do his quest battle with it. This time, I am in ascent. Okay, so first thing, bring Gelt down Maybe here. Else. Disband all the units that... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, okay. Let's make some transfers. Alright, you get all of these. And you get all of these. And take that with you. There we go. Perfect. Alright, I might as well teleport to that. Okay, time to do the battle for, um... I am the supreme stuff of Volans. My knowledge is yours. Yeah, let's do it. The funny thing is, right after this, he has to go back to Altdorf. So, this actually works out just fine. Does Toddy have a unique skill tree? Nah, this is generic Empire Captain, uh, Empire Lord, but he has one extra skill.
Is this overkill? Oh yeah, for sure. But it's a, it's a doom stack. Can take what is rightfully mine, then he is very much mistaken. I will be supreme patriarch. Is this a speech one? No, he had already done that when we confederated him. The wind of Shaman will rise and blast any who get in my way. Now is the time for the gold order, and I will brook no interference. Any who get in my way will see their armor run into lead goblets, their blades melt, and their bones turn to gold. Now, men, fight! Bring me victory! The Emperor needs me, not some pathetic pyromancer or insipid white wizard. For the good of the Empire, I will rise to the highest magical office in the land, and this fool will not stop me! Hate this battle? Yeah, but it's easy if you know what to do. As I've said many times before, CA sets you up to fail. So all you're gonna do is just not do what CA expects you to do. They set you up on this hill here like, Hey, hey character, player, why don't you set up on this hill? Thanks Creative Assembly, thanks for giving me this cool defensive position. And then you're fighting this and then immediately this fucking army comes in here and hits you in the rear. So whatever Creative Assembly tells you to do, don't do it. Good lesson in life in general. <laughs> Don't do whatever Creative Assembly tells you to do. Do whatever Legend tells you to do. I have your best interests at heart. That way, you basically can't get flanked from here. We have got this to boost them if we need to. Yeah, Demigriff Knights get wrecked by a mass steam tanker tank. So good. Don't need these arcane corners if we're sitting at 30 wins of magic or whatever. Good. Oh, this is going so well here. Yeah, 
They're trying to get rid of my fire wizard. Sorry, Chris said. Yeah, it's fine. Will he give Carl Franz a demi Griff Knight stack? Uh, no. Why would I do that? That's garbage. I've tried a demi Griff Knight stack before, it's awful. Getting a few demi Griff Knights is fine, but a full demi Griff Knight army, one of the worst Doom stacks you can build in the game. Absolutely terrible. Hey, hang fire. How's it going, dude? Would you do a quest battle for Volkmar? Yeah, we're doing that next. Yeah, yeah. Get his Jade Griffin going. Which will give him ridiculous amounts of regeneration because he got Isabella's trait as well. And that stacks. Alright, this battle's over. Didn't realize you could retreat from this battle. Yeah, you pull back to this position, it's way easier. Because the trees just give the enemy reinforcements loads of cover. So if you come over here, they have no cover. And you have plenty of time to get there, especially if you use steam tanks. If you use Hellstorm rocket batteries, it's a bit trickier. Cool. Staff of Volans. Nice. I don't think that got equipped. Yeah, I don't know why, but it doesn't automatically equip that particular item. Don't know why. Mm, armor of Meteoric. Let me have a look. Let me pop that down. Okay. So that's all of uh, Balthazar Gelt's quest battles. So next, we need to transfer these units over to Carl Franz. Yeah, let's get Carl Franz back over here. Bring me to my men. Blessings of Sigmar upon you. Funny thing is, is, this is actually his original army. Um, I 
I go. What are we gonna do for Volkmar in terms of siege attacker? Because I want to get rid of. Oh, yeah. I'm still trying to figure that out. Maybe a beast wizard. The instrument of Sigmar's will. Oh, great knowledge will shoot up there. Okay. Um, Defender of the faith. Well, get rid of these. Do I need the siege attackers for the coming fight? What? All right. I'm gonna need this guy, the life wizard, in this coming fight. All right, is that a movement? The righteous hammer. Pull him out there. Sigmar guides my steps. Praise Sigmar. Moving out. Yes, son of Sigmar. A time to heal. Sigmar heals us. Shield of faith. Healing. Let us forge our Shield faith. of faith. Following Sigmar's path. Sigmar heals us. Healing. There is power. A time breath. to heal. Cleanse the empire. A time to heal. Shield of faith. What do you require? Sigma heals us. All right. So we didn't quite get him a full stack. Blessings of Sigma upon you. I'll be able to recruit him at much higher rank from here, I think. Uh, well, once we've oh, he didn't build the right buildings. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. But yeah, this one here. Here, recruit rank plus six for warrior priests. So you build that, plus build this one here, plus the technology. You can build them really high rank. Cut. Uh, he... Yeah, so he goes... Oh, that's right, because he's been in the province this entire time, right. Um... Well, that, hang on, hang on, hang on. If I look over All here, right. then... If he if he comes over this way, we'll recruit them at like rank thirteen. And he's got all the nobles. Right. Do not waste my potential. Alright, I guess we're not doing his quest battle this turn. Okay, I didn't give me Oh what the hell. Just start making your way up here. Setting forth. Okay, uh, Karl Franz needs to recruit more armies. Okay, so let's have a look here. We need a new life wizard. And I think I'll get a new beast wizard as well. I'll accept a disciplined one. This is to go into Volkmar's army for Siege Attacker. Because it's the other one that can get a griffin mount. Don't forget Midland office. Yep, good idea. Alright, Midland's office, the electric cannon Midland will give... Uh, nothing particularly interesting. Might as well give it to Boris Toddbringer. Affirmative. Law friendly. Okay, I am done with Marienburg. It is good to see fellow sons of the. Oh no! Okay, no, I can figure this out. I can figure figure this out. If I speak to them, you're no better offer to break defensive alliance with Marienburg. There we go. Done. My hand hovers close to my Okay, then I have to offer to break military access. Do you not understand that I am your superior wretch? Oh. Nah, don't worry about it. I was just I was just thinking I could do it infinitely to make them hate me. Nah, don't worry about it. Taking command. Okay, no further treaties with Marienburg. They might declare war on me. They might. We will see. I'm walled up over here. They won't be able to reach Karaburg. They are not that strong right now. They do have some military presence there. To strengthen the Empire. Out the Hang on, before we get rid of this, I might need another witch hunter. What's... Oh shit, I'm at my limit. 
How dare you? Oh, right. That's why we got so many supply lines. Right. I was wondering what was going on with my money. Oh, good. That's at eight already. Just one more to go. Okay, just need that to get up to like a hundred. It's relatively cheap. Here you go. I will. Is he tired? Okay, Felix, could you just go out over here and do a little bit of scouting? I want to keep an eye on Marienburg. They're probably going to declare war on me. Who calls? All right, with Carl Franz, let's get. Four Hellblaster Volley Guns. And a Handgunner. Cool. You summon me. Balthazar Geltz, what are we going to do with you? You're going to help out against Marienburg as well. Assuming they attack us, but let's just go to Karaburg and we'll see. Um, as for Boris, why don't you just stay in here for the moment and act as extra defenses. Um, these guys here, they can't get to us. What do you require? I trust no man. Right, and I was going to recruit a new arch lector. Arch lector. Mm hmm Okay. Yep. Yes. And then this one comes over here and raid. <laughs> raid them. Right. Show me the accused. You have a discipline fire wizard you can recruit? I don't want discipline fire wizard though. Yeah, I don't really care that much about disciplined trait for uh, the Empire. Unless it's in a like a uh, warrior priest doom stack. Uh, Parasitic. Parasitic did a 5 dollars chat. Free for me, so it's free for you. Thanks for the content. Alright, dude. Appreciate that. Thanks for the chat. The Empire. My orders are to move. Oh, he won't come in there. going to get a witch hunter here. Yeah, get that noble one. That's good. Oh, shit. I might send him back up that way. Yes, for now. To reduce the construction time on specific buildings. All right, cool. All right, all right. What are we doing next with guilt? Extra missile damage for steam tanks. Cool. Do that. Pretty funny if they came down here with a siege attacker, launched the attack, and we lost the battle. <laughs> I'd take the city back immediately, but it'd be our first defeat. All I had to do was wait one more turn to go and sit there. But we'll see. You know, sometimes, sometimes these things happen. Um, actually, get another witch hunter here. Oh, I'm out of God damn it, out of capacity again. Wasn't meant to get that one. My bad. 
Must be getting tired. So yeah, sending him over here to block her, block their armies. Did you get rid of the knowledgeable death wizard yet? Uh, yeah, did I ever have one? I don't think I had one. I think you're mistaken, dude. Alright, Grenstad needs walls. Oh yeah, you need to block they this will shit. Be Speak. Seek out the heretics. Heretics! Yeah, I got a feeling that uh, these guys are going to be coming around over here really fucking soon. Yeah, I'd definitely like it if the dwarves would sort of take that out. But, oh yeah, look at the border princes are getting fucked. Tools of judgment ready. Okay. Alright, we've got, still got a bit of money. Let's see what we can construct. Alright, at Avraland, what do we need? Don't have anything there, that's fine. Wasn't there one in the pool? Hmm. I already did the recruiting and disbanding this. Oh, it was it was the Shadow Wizard, right? Sorry, yeah, you're right, Shadow Wizard. Wasn't death. Yeah, thanks for that. All right, and let's move on to the next turn. Oh, commandment available. That would be in mid and land. Uh, just go with taxes since it's tier five. Cool. All right, uh, I think Teller Backland will be the next one to trigger a confederation. I think. I'm not sure. How's this going here? Welcome, yeah, that's heading up. It's heading up. Yes, my lord. All right, look, they're not going to attack mid and Uh Move over to, to here a little bit. Should I recruit anything here? Mm, no, just just wait Ready. there, Toddy. Just wait there. On march. Okay, moving on. <coughs> okay, cool. Oh, I should have blocked them. Come on. Win, Ostermark. Win. Ah, damn it. I could have prevented that. Oh, no. They're wounding my fucking dudes. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, shit. Yeah, I kind of figured that they were going to do that. It's okay, they're both blocked. Alright. So yeah, we just went to war with Grimgore's Ard Boys. Shouldn't need to send any forces at them immediately, but it's definitely something that we'll need to worry about. Why I keep Boris? He is increasing supply line scanning for using heroes instead. I, well, I don't have heroes there. I, I don't know what to do with him at this stage. It's going to be very turbulent for the next few turns. I will hear your petition. All right, what's coming in this turn? Yep, I was right, Telebackland. All right, accept Confederation. Yep, 
Yeah, raiding is not making any difference here. And the relationship is still going down, but it doesn't seem like it would go down any further. Ogres, my lord. Okay. We still need nine turns to declare war on them. Oh, they're defensive allies with Corona. I can bypass that, but... We just need to be ready just in case they attack. I trust no man. Yes. Oh yeah, come over to here. On march. And you come over Tools to here. Judgment ready. All right, that means good. That's getting being uh, that's being built in one turn. Because if we get up to here in three turns, we can increase our recruit rank. Same thing when Volkmar comes up this way. Let us forge our faith. Uh, I won't make it there. Show me the accused. Godtrek, How many supplies we have? Oh yeah, that's because of Talvakland, right? We gotta clean this up. Alright, so what this army here, Emperor anything be? interesting in it? Oh uh, yeah, you can keep that. Okay, get rid of this. Alright, you, anything interesting? Noble. Yeah, okay, I'll keep that. Oh, come over here. Moving up. Yeah. Warrior of Sigma. Good, got done in one turn. Nice. Praise be to Sigma. Your orders? Get off that horse. Okay, this guy actually has to stay here over the end turn, in case these guys come over here and attack us. Uh, oh, wait, no, that wouldn't happen immediately. Because, yeah, I expect to be going to war with them real soon, just as soon as the queue reaches them. Alright, Krugenheim is safe. We can get rid of that. Kappelberg, yeah, that's fine. Kemperbad is safe. Get rid of that. Might as well keep those ones. Um, get rid of that. And this army here. Okay, actually, other way around. Get rid of this army. Get rid of this army. And I'll force march this army over here to protect against this border, just for now. It is good to see fellow sons of the Empire this day. Very well. What? Seek out the heretics. Let the council's voice. They will be judged. Uh, I'm not sure what happened to Throt's army. It might be in ambush dance. I serve Sigma. Wait, what? Shouldn't that be at nine? Come then. Uh -oh. Only Sigma's. Did I not get another one from giving the settlement? Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, okay. Because, yeah, we didn't seem to increase the fealty from... I'll just have to wait and see here. I may need to like really rock it up that relationship to get that to a uh, to ten. Yeah, here you go. Right. Like I might need to get it up to three hundred. Yes. Step to it. Okay, we're pretty safe over here. To strengthen the empire. Just checking. All right, get rid of Toddy for now. I, I just need the money for other things. Warrior of Sigma. Just for now. Sit a while and listen. The nation calls to the next episode. Cause yeah, we gotta keep an eye on um, Marienburg. Do you wish the lady's favor? I <laughs> could end up going to war with Corona as well. 
I think we should get another witch hunter and send it in. Nice. Okay. The nation calls. Yes, blessed is this action. Okay, we need to block is it time? both of these armies. Report. What? Speak. And block these Ready? two armies here. Three armies, sorry. Show me the accused. What have you to say? Who calls? Report. Hey, you have confer duration every turn. There was a whole bunch queued up because they were delayed because of the uh, the midden stag um, cheese that we were doing. Yeah. Summon the elector counts. All right, I'll. I would have accepted a disciplined um, one of those, but I'll accept this. Uh, one thing I could do to just get a quick increase of recruit rank is if I just switch him back in here real quick. I can recruit at rank fifteen. So that's going to be attached to Volkmar's army. So we need to get to rank 22 to get the Imperial Griffin, which that'll take a little while, but that's okay. Okay, Volkmar, just head over to Middenstag for the time being. Yes, General. Off we go. What? Onwards. That guy will transfer over here in a minute. Right All right, if you have a look at this, arms. yeah, we can recruit them at rank 12, but if we just wait a little bit longer, I think we can get them at rank 16 to make them super strong. Aye. What are we doing with Gotrick? To stay put. All right. Guilt needs to force march over to Isleheart. Pick up the pace. Shit, I was just thinking. Um... Recruit and disband the life wizard here. So because we still need a life wizard for for Gelt. We have yeah, light wizard for you, that's fine. And Carl Franz will be missing one unit, which needs to be a warrior priest. Which I will recruit from here and transfer it into um to his army. Yeah. Trust no man. What okay, keep blocking say? these armies here. Tools of judgment rest. Speak. If they decide they want to come in through this way, we need to stop them. Let's see if we can get these dwarves here to go to war with Grimgore's Art Boys. Nah, they won't do it. Um, might as well get trade with them. I have no intention of breaking that treaty anytime soon. Clan Angrand, yep, I have no intention of fighting you. Could you go to war with Grimgore? No. Uh, Karak Kedrin. Greetings. You know, Delta yeah, I'm not going to be going to war with you anytime soon. Yes. No. If we are not enemies, here we go. There's no reason we can't do business. Okay. Cool. Get my money back from them eventually. All right. Cool. Well, that made a big difference there. Do you remember how you almost won a whole Tyrion undefeated campaign just to get defeated by Wood Elves? Yep, I remember. That was uh, very embarrassing, but oh well. These things happen. Volkmar the Grim. Seek out the heretics. And? I command here. What does the Emperor bid? I will marshal the men. The problem here as well is I'm not going to be able to just outright declare war on them. If the fealty doesn't go down lower, I don't know what we're going to do about this. 
Okay, we might need to send Marius back around over this way, now that I think about it. These guys here are blocked. If they go to Fyldorf, they'll we'll be able to react to them in time. Also, I don't think that they're going to do the thing just yet. I think we've got time here. As long as I keep blocking them every turn, it'll be fine. They just won't be able to do anything. Bring me to my men. I've hit tier 5 here, but I don't have enough money, so let's just move these into here to start growing this. Yes, son of Sigma. Let us forge our faith. Wait, the two noble... Oh, we can just move them back over here when we are ready to construct it. It's not urgent. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, and block this army here. I trust no man. Speak. Uh, throw enemy thing. Now we're going to need to send somebody over here. To do, oh god, look at this. Holy shit. I feel like I need to send another witch hunter up north. Yeah, don't have any more available. I'm wrong. Servant of the faith. Kind of looks like Ostermark is going to lose Kislev, which sucks because they got that up to tier 4. Are you at war with Thross? No. You assassinate instead of blocking army and dotting back? Are you sure? The Empire. Okay. Not according to that, it says I blocked them. The nation calls. Tools of judgment ready. All right, that's me done for the turn. That'll do for now. Let's move on to the next turn. Uh, commandment. Uh, yeah, Talabakland. Okay, so it's... Oh, they didn't get it to tier 5. Uh, get the growth going then. Okay. Blessings of Sigmar upon you. Okay, moving on. Okay, maybe I saw badly. I let myself out. You better... Get, get the fuck out of here. Nah, it's all good, dude. Tell them why I'm office. Oh, right. Yeah, I always forget about that. I'll do that beginning next turn. Have you ever confederated everyone in a single campaign before? Yeah. Yeah, I've done that before. It's not that hard. It's just time-consuming. How did the authority cheese go? Did it work? It did work. We got all the authority that we needed. Now we're doing mass confederations. We've had three confederations over three turns. Just on Talabakland, Middenland, and Averland. And we might get one this turn as well. Oh no. Come on, dwarfs. I actually need you to fight back against them a bit. <laughs> Greenskins are very strong. No, this is useless. <laughs> I don't need this. Ugh, you only get one event pop up. Oh well. 
God, I got a lot of money sitting here waiting for shit to happen. I I'm waiting for these damn events. Okay, cool. It's at 9. That's what we're waiting for there. Did it get to 150? No. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, I'm glad that you didn't get wiped out. That sort of indicates to me that maybe this army here isn't... Throt. Yeah, we can't declare war outright. That isn't going to work. Okay, you come... So, hang on, have a look here. What? Alright, so this one here, one turn to build. So that gives... If you have a look, hero recruit rank is at 12, so they get to 14, and then next turn after that, be rank. Um, another knowledgeable one here. Um, Who disturbs me? Okay, whatever. I am ready. Are you? So, yeah, let's block these guys here. Stop them. Show me the accused. Report. Kind of annoyed these guys here didn't lose more fealty. Speak. Yes, my lord. <sighs> Such a garbage army. I will marshal the men. Yes. Do you have Lightning Strike? No. Right, I might actually switch him out. Oh, hang on. We forgot. We gotta do Taylor Backland. Let's see. This one provides... A little bit. That's actually not too bad. So, with Taylor Backland, let's put in Helmet, because that's... As you say, sir. That's his... That's where he came from. I think he's still here, right? To yeah, he's still there. Okay, so Marius is making a rush to get over here as quickly as possible. To fight against green skins. Show me the accused. What have you to say? So, heretics. Ugh, okay. Uh, let's see. Let me see with the Skaven. See if any of them want to go to war with. What about you? Want to go to war with Grimgor? Bring me untold pleasure. You dare. Okay, what if. What if I offered to go to war with. Clan Rictus. No. <laughs> Go to war with somebody that's just not going to send forces at us. See if any of these are high. No, he doesn't. He doesn't care. All right. My knowledge is yours. Right, switch to Rooney. And move this guy back down. Healing the instrument of Sigmar's will. All right, we're ready to fight them as soon as. Um, let's see how long. Eight turns, or they declare war on us. If you have a look at that, they probably hate our guts still. Uh, it is improving. The Grand Theogenist should declare you traitors. Hmm. Don't have to wait the full eight turns, but I do have to wait a little bit of time. If we lose all of our reliability, that'll be really bad. Really, really bad. We'll just hit straight at Marienburg. Okay, Carl Franz has got 19 units. Where should we send him? Uh, Caduce. Nah, don't worry about that. That quest battle sucks. Alright. Sir? Where'd this guy come from? What? Oh, I should have used up all my money. Now. Okay, they must have blown it up and colonized it on the same turn. Could send Carl Franz over here to help. Because Volkmar should be able to handle all of this with the assistance of this guy. Balthazar Gelt should be able to handle all this. 
I don't know what we're doing with Godric. Just keeping an eye on stuff. Who calls by the silver hammer? By the comet. No. Alright. Maybe if I go into ambush stance here, it'll make it seem like we're vulnerable. And they might make the attack. Warrior of Sigma. Tools of judgment ready. Yeah, we want them to declare war on us, because that, that way we can bypass reliability. Alright, so I think I think Balthazar Gelt can handle all of this on his own. I am Prince and Emperor. Why don't we send Carl Franz to go and help out against this? Because the greenskins can just be blocked constantly. Yeah, although we could use one more unit. The nation calls. Nah, I don't have any capacity for that. Grand Theogenist. Guess I can give him this one. Just go up ahead. Onward. And that'll be waiting for you, Carl Franz, when you get there. I so yeah, Carl Franz is going to go kill some rats. Make haste, men. Uh, we should be able to take out Hill Pit with this. Yeah, it's rat killing time. Where's Gilt's Life Wizard? I'm still waiting for it to show up. Oh, I put it in, um, I put it I over here because I feel like this was needing it a bit more. He, like, he'll be fine for now. It is time. Alright, well, we're out of money. That's interesting. <laughs> uh, okay, let's move on. See what happens. Uh, that is, okay, well, we'll just have to wait and see. Is Gelt's hero on a horse? Yeah, but it's fine. Why would you need artillery to kill rats? We've well, got to siege their settlements. You need the artillery for that. When using Plague Priests in Weapons Team Armies, should you get the Bell Mount, or is that pointless since they'll be so small? For siege battles, get the Bell Mount. For field battles, stay unmounted. What about the Jade Bird? His army's not ready yet. Did you get Boris Toddbringer? Yep. I had to disband him because it was costing too much money, but we'll bring him back at some point. Come on, declare war on me. It doesn't look like they're going to. Maybe we need to just piss them off a bit more. Actual turn number 78. So yeah, if it's turn 78 or 79, that means we've got 21 or 22 turns left to get the entirety of the Empire, which is still a lot to do. Okay, we finally got that done. <laughs> uh, they still won anyway. We dropped their fealty. But we didn't get a conf- Awww. Why you did me dirty that way? Will they attack if you raid them? I was raiding them and they didn't attack. What? I will stop Just gotta wait. By the comics, I oh, okay, so that time I did actually hit assassination. <laughs> it's now, all right. What have you to say? The 
Oh, fucking plague everywhere. It's only gonna last another four turns. According to that, at least. Oh, I really don't want to get plagued after this recruiting this nice fresh army. So, a way to avoid that is to stay out of the regions that have the plague. So, go to Krugenheim next. This guy will just have to catch up. Fight, then right. Oh, good, they just lost their war. Good. I trust no man. Speak. They will be judged. All right, so we just wait for them to occupy um, Akendorf, and then we'll hit them. Cool. Uh, how strong is Grimgore? Uh, he's a little bit stronger than us. We're strength ranking four now. Oh, rank 17. Oh, right, because we just researched Sigma clergy. That means we're going to recruit them at rank 19 once we... Oh, shit, I need some money. Uh, Karaberg safe for now. I need, I need to build this. Yeah, because I'm not rolling around in cash at the moment. Oh, yeah, and I forgot about this. It needs to be... It's not urgent, though. Um... It is time. What have you to say? Yeah, absolutely need to stop this. Oh, okay, need to. I'm, I think it's time for so, people to pay up. What time to give me some money. Give me money. I suppose. <laughs> honor to your ancestors. Never. I. The By Sigma's will. Come Fine. <laughs> Welcome, men of the Empire. Nope. <laughs> I am Iron Fist. Some cold found. Yes? Welcome, my countrymen. No, sir. King, let the supplicant come for a good plan. Okay. It is good to see fellow sons of the... I will not obey. I'm no statesman. The yes. Uh, In these dark times, we should stand fine. Here. What brings... What? I am ready to parlay. I hope you're sick miles. Okay, cool. Is Vorak got blown up again? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's fine. Bring me to my men. So yeah, looking at Ostermark in terms of when we're going to confederate them. Friend and make your offer. Yeah, I may need to throw a bit more influence their way. Okay, but we've got to keep blocking these armies. The oh, there's Throt. Okay, I didn't see him. We've got another one of those uh, followers. Uh, I think Balthazar Gelt doesn't have one. You don't need that. Cool. Yeah, I gotta wait quite a few more turns before I can launch the attack, but once we do, we'll beat the shit out of them, I'm fairly sure. I know where all their armies are. Now, is that where heretics lurk? By the silver hammer! Yeah, keep their armies all the way back there, that'd be good. Ooh, he is not fond of us doing that. I hope you bring glad Oh well. I'm playing two fronts with vampires. Who should I focus on? Norsk or Bretonia? Uh, 
don't know. Declare war on a third party and go for that. I don't know. Uh, probably Bretonia. Richer lands. They will be judged. Either go for the richer one or go for the easier one. If it's easy to take out uh, Norsko, do that first. If it's easy to take out Bretonia, do that first. Generally speaking, if you're on a war with multiple fronts, take out the easy one first. I trust no man. Tools of judgment ready. By the comet. Volkmar. That's supply lines. Okay. So just waiting for that to go off. Yes. The Empire. Must have confederated that dude. Okay, moving on to the next turn soon. Oh, immortality for you, yep. Alright, research. So we just finished Clergy of Sigma, Manoralism. Probably don't really need that right now. Don't need that. Uh, that is good. But so would be Ordnance Canisters. Let's grab that. Cool. And... I'm oh constantly levels up to do. I'm mostly just waiting for Imperial Authority events to kick off. What does Laurelon Forest Landmark do? Improves my relationship with Wood Elves. So, stops them from declaring war on me, basically. Why doesn't Legend upgrade his growth buildings? I do. Um, it's not worth doing it right now, though. You know, if I had shitloads of money, I'd do it. But when I don't, which I don't right now, it's one of the least important buildings to build. Uh, up to tier 3. Build it up to tier 1, maybe to tier 2, but don't go tier 3. Alright, at least by blocking them, we're severely delaying... Oh yeah, he that was definitely not the army that he had before. Yeah, at tier 3 the growth building is really not good value because you only get 10 extra growth and it usually costs 2 or 3000 to build it. It's very bad value. Friend. Actually, that might be a good idea right now because we're at war with everyone they're at war with anyway. And if Throt declares war on me, this will hopefully act as a bit of a deterrence. Yeah. Alright, looks like they're getting ready to launch that attack. Alright. Wait for them to ruin Dweller, and then we attack it. You could ally Bretonia and have them deal with Norska, and then you can fight the Greenskins. Okay. I'm... Okay. Why do Rift Armies literally cross provinces to attack me? Rift Armies is happily attacking Kairos, but when my Greasus teleports in, immediately must attack the player. Yeah, anti-player bias. It just happens. Yeah, that's fine. This one destroyed. It's fine by me. A Throt or Ikaclaw a better fighter? Assume both are mounts. Throt is a better fighter. I will hear what you have to say. Uh, I could I could use the extra money. <laughs> Shit's coming. Shit's coming. Bar fails. Cool. This one destroyed. Fine by me. Oh, no Imperial Authority event this turn. Hmm, interesting. I guess it just hasn't been 20 turns since they offered a confederation. Approach us, friend, close. and make your offer. Alright, I think this is a good place here to call it a day. So we're at turn 80, we've got 20 turns left. 
Tomorrow is going to be pretty damn turbulent as we fight on pretty much all fronts. We're fighting greenskins. Yes. Oh, that is a Let tough army. I don't know if Mario's now. army will be able to handle that many so bloody Arachnoroks. I'm not sure. Yeah, not sure. Yeah, we'll be fighting greenskins. We'll be fighting... Marienburg will happen soon, because I'll be able to declare war on them soon. Um, Hockland, whenever. Uh, Throt, over here. Yeah, a lot of war declarations are about to happen. Maybe Wissenland, which right now we have no armies ready to deal with it. <laughs> Fields, oh, the fealty just went up. I might have to actually outright declare war on them. The positive Imperial Authority just gave them an extra point. Because, yeah, we're running out of time. If we want to get it done by turn 100, we're running out of time. But if we have a look, what's left, in terms of elector counts, there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 elector counts left. Um, pretty much all of the elector counts, apart from Hockland and Wissenland, are confederation worthy. The other one, other two. So that means four confederations, two war declarations, uh, three war declarations if you include this one here. We currently have absolutely no defeats there was no particularly difficult battles today today was really just about messing around with um uh with uh Midland and getting all that imperial authority which we've now got anyway let's go chuck a host over to somebody and we'll call it a day so really appreciate all the support with this campaign so far uh it's been a lot of fun who should we oh, sorry excuse me uh, let me chuck a host over to someone, see who's streaming. Uh, we'll chuck it over to Dame Offensive. She's playing a Thorek. <laughs> Thorek Love and Thunderdome. So she must be playing Warhammer 2, because she doesn't have access to Warhammer 3. Yeah. Alright, uh, chuck the host over to Dame Offensive, go and show her some support. Only 20 turns to get all of them. Yeah, but it only takes one turn to offer all of these confederations. Well, four turns, I suppose. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. It's gonna it's gonna be tight. It's gonna be really tight. But we've got the we've got the imperial authority that we need. Uh, we might have to actually go into the negative um, if I have to outright declare war on Wissenland because I don't know if they're going to secede. Anyway, that's the end of uh, today's stream. I'm going to go get some rest. Go check out Dame Offensive. I'm going to go get some sleep. Appreciate you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.